Are we back? Are we back? Let me know. Let me know if we're back. I can't tell. Am I still gone? Let me add this real quick. Right there. I'm making. I'm also making the the thing that we back. Already. Why did you start stream so late today? What the fuck? Oh yeah, that my bad, guys. Yeah, that was my bad. I started freaking 25 minutes late. That's insane. That's insane. That's crazy. No new stream. Who this? New stream. Who this? Um. Let me add. Uh. Do, 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 do. All right. Shoot. You gotta let me know where you want to go. That's great. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm making myself freaking too small. Super late stream. I know, and I didn't even tell anybody. That's insane. But that thing that sucks though is now you guys are gonna get freaking ads again. <laughs> you want it on the forehead? Okay. Is that okay? Is that okay that I put right there? Cover up my forehead a little bit. Uh like right there. Yeah. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that means you've done the wheel. You've also done the sticky note. Perfect, perfect. I know, you know what? I gotta cover up that forehead anyway because my hair is parted on the freaking sides. I gotta cover that shit up. So you're doing me a favor. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, that one, I was just like, I'm gonna leave that up there, but I don't know what's actually gonna happen. I was like, it's not gonna land on there. It's, that's what I said about grass. The one time that it was like, what am I gonna have for dinner? And someone said grass, and I put it on the wheel, and it landed on it. I was like, uh, okay. Um, let me start that back up. Uh, I'm glad I was able to catch such a legendary stream. A lot of stuff happened. Yeah, we did so much stuff. We're, we did so much stuff. Imagine if I posted that to YouTube and I was like, here's my VOD for my 30 minute stream. <laughs> Everyone would be like, what the fuck? Uh, ever since then, anytime you ask if I went to eat, I always say grass. 30 people gone. Yeah, that's whatever. Look, and that's a and that's another thing, too. Right. Um, I personally I personally don't care too much about like the people the the number i guess i would say i don't care too much about like the number but i will say though there have been recently and it's not like from the community per se but it's just i feel like it's a lot from like the mutuals too mutuals and people that i thought were friends but people bringing up like numbers and stuff like and trying to draw my attention to it uh has been weighing on me mentally i'm not gonna lie because i am a hobby streamer um and i don't really think about like numbers too much because i have like my followers turned off i have like the viewers turned off i have all of that turned off and especially with like this anniversary like there have even been comments not from like you guys but like there have been comments where people are like oh you're not hitting your goals or oh you don't have a lot of people in your streams anymore like all of this stuff they only like come for a certain game, blah, 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 like all of that. And like, I usually brush it off, but like a lot of times too, like it's just, it does kind of, it gets kind of shitty, but, um, um, I mean, I know you didn't mean it as like a bad thing, but like, even just saying that like 40 people are gone, like it's just, it's still bringing up like numbers and like, I don't want to have to talk about numbers at all. Like if people are gone because we restart a stream, like we restart a stream, it's, it is what it is. And the people that like are that know and want to be here will be here and they'll come back. So it's, it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, I feel like it's just been recently, it's been a lot of it though um from just random people but also people from like the community and my mutuals and some people that i had called friends too um and like you just want to like stream and have fun and play games but when people keep bringing up like numbers and stuff and like why i'm not meeting certain goals it's just like okay i wasn't thinking about it but now i'm thinking about it because you brought it up type of thing and so I'm not saying it's like you specifically, it's just saying recently I have taken note that this has been a thing and I don't know why. Maybe it's just like, it's just all happening at the same time. I don't know. But, uh, we just have a good time here. Numbers don't mean shit if you're miserable. I thought I already had a deep love for Doro. I 
I mean, it depends, maybe. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, then that's why, like, even, even with, like, this, like, celebration that I did for, like, the two-year anniversary, and even for, like, things like my birthday or stuff like that, like, I don't do celebrations because, like, I don't want to have to reach a level of, like, disappointment, which is why I don't, which is why I usually don't do celebrations and stuff. I just kind of continue doing what it is that I was doing. And I know that's like really like poopy to say, but like in the reality, it's just like I don't want to have to get reminded that like not a lot of people showed up and it's just like, oh, OK. So like I said, I it usually isn't that bad, but for some reason it's just been like recently like I've it just for some reason there's just been like a lot of comments about it. And I'm just like, but why? Like, why now? Like, why? <laughs> this wasn't a problem before, but I was like, why now? <laughs> do they know that it affects you i mean your friends but i think people and here's the thing i know that people think that they're trying to be encouraging but it's not like trying to say that like i am not having the same numbers that i was before they think that like that's a way to encourage me to like work harder but it's not it's like it's you're doing the opposite like you making those comments isn't making me want to like work harder it's just making me overthink things <laughs> um they come back now and then i won't mention numbers anymore yeah it's it's all good it's all good and that's why yeah i th I know a lot of streamers will mention not to mention numbers because like it's just it's just something that we like we want to stream and have fun and if we have a lot of people we have a lot of people if we don't we don't um but yeah i don't know what's in the water or what's in the air where like recently it was just like damn that's just oh, so many people are making comments about it I'm like why <laughs> um they, it feels like it pops up more now because september or some shit i guess so i don't know and like i said i think it was also because i have like this anniversary of like Emotional celebrating damage. like my two years and like People were like, oh, you didn't have, like, a lot of people like you normally do. Like, I thought, like, for a celebration, like, you would have had more people. And it was like, I guess so. But, like, I wasn't really thinking about it. But, like I said, now I am because you kind of brought it to my attention. So, um, but, yeah. So, regardless, right, regardless, um, I do appreciate you guys that do come in and just like hang out no matter what it is that I do. And like, don't get me wrong. I know people only want to come for specific games. And I'm that's like, that's very valid because sometimes I do that too when I watch like people that are streaming games. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what's in the air that has been like a lot of it lately, but hi, Joe, how you doing? Hi, Joel. Uh, viewership is very random anyway. Yeah. And like I said, a lot of it too is just like, I don't really think about it too much, but when it's there's a lot of it and it gets brought to my attention, now I'm just like, oh fuck. Now I'm like starting to think about it too much. And I'm like, oh man. Um Hi Mikey. Oh, thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. Do, do, do. Thank you. Um here for quality, not quantity. Russian, thank you so much for the follow. And also for uh Yaksha too. I'm sorry I didn't say thank you earlier for your follow. I prefer smaller chats and channels than a sea of viewers personally. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't I don't want to be like uh like shy lily numbers where like the chat's just scrolling so freaking fast because at that point like I can't even read chat. I can't even keep up in chats like that to begin with. I'm like, dude, how do you even read anything? <laughs> um like that is I mean, that's just years and years of like a lot of hard work and growth and commitment and building a, a, a community to that level. But I feel like I wouldn't be able to read anything that you guys put out there because I'd be like, what is happening? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so even like, I know that we had a huge spike because of like Nike and stuff. And anytime I do chapter, like story chapters, like we'll see like a, a spike. <clears throat> And it doesn't help that Twitch fucking sends out your stream summary at the end of stream. And it was like, look at how bad you did. It was like, Twitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, smaller communities like this are, are pretty comfy, not going to lie. Yeah. I do think the main issue as well as comparing to everyone that just having 50 plus is already in the top 1%. Numbers are one thing. But like you said, it's nice when it's comfy. Yeah. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. Thank you. 
a struggle's already never mind more bro dude i can't i, I was like i can barely read and then you want more people <laughs> Uh, your friends should understand you though, but, uh, you hobby streamer, so it's more important to enjoy streaming, yeah? No, I agree, I agree, but I think a lot of the times people miss, either miss that or they forget. Because they think that I'm a partner, a Twitch partner, that I should now be held to a standard of, like, I need to have a lot of viewers. That, for some reason, I don't know why people think that, but that's not... That that's not the case. Like I'm not expected to sit at a hundred plus viewers every stream. Like I said, we got. I think we did an amazing job getting to partner, and it really helped that I played a game like Nike that helped me get there. But me having a purple badge doesn't change anything. Like I just happen to get a different status on Twitch, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> I feel more encouraged to chat too for some reason. Yeah, like I definitely want people to chat. I don't, I mean, if you're lurking, that's one thing, right? I'm not gonna force lurkers to chat. But if you definitely wanna chat and you wanna like comment, you wanna do all this stuff, like I, I encourage that 100%. But yeah, I could see how it would be a little daunting if chat was going so fast and you'd be like, that she's not even gonna read that shit. Um, can't always catch every stream, but when I can, I enjoy my time here. Yeah, and I always appreciate that. I really do. Even the people that just like pop in and say hi because they're super busy, you still took time out of your day to come in and say hi. Like that means a lot. It really does. It's more likely to forget because of the partner badge. It's just the result of the rise in grind meta oh, mentality. Yeah. All the badge really means is I've done this consistently enough to be entertaining to certain people's tastes. Yeah, that is true. Maybe... Oh, maybe you are iconic. I'm not iconic. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude, I'm far from iconic. I just like having my little space in the streaming corner. I just like having that there. I just like I have a place I can come hang out and relax. Yeah, absolutely. And that's like anytime that people just like, you know, if you have a bad day, you had an exhausting day, you just want some place to kind of unwind and watch some crazy shit happen on stream. Like, I want to create that space for you guys, you know, and it, it like. I don't expect anything, right? I don't expect you guys to be here, right? Because uh, you don't owe me your time, right? You, but you guys being here on your own is just like, it's it's good enough, right? It's good enough. That's why I said I appreciate you guys all being here. Punk, oh my God, Maury, can you time them out real quick? Um, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you, Pog. Uh, yeah, partner means is that at one point in time, you've had a, an average CC of 75. Yeah, that, that's literally it. And I get more emote slots and that's it. <laughs> yeah, Mori. <laughs> Mori was like, wait, this is too fucking easy. This is too easy. Not gonna lie, I forgot you were a partner till now. Hi, Deed, how you doing? Yeah, dude, that's another thing too. Half the time, like, I don't even, I don't even realize that I have a purple badge. And I'm just like, I just stream. I just stream. <gasps> Frontier, wait, 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 thank you so much for the five gifted. Uh, thank you. Somehow my backwards sleep schedule allowed me to hop on at all times. It's 4 a.m. Troll, wait, you gotta get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Dean? Oh, Dean, uh, you're here and I have to ask you, wait. Um, wait, I put your name down for something. Oh yeah, a sticky note. Uh, you need to give me a color that you like, that you would like to put on for uh, donating 15, at least $15. So let me know a color that you would like for, for a sticky note. Um, uh, let's see, also funny if a combo's happen here, it's heckin' entertaining. I try, I try, but a lot of times, like it's just playing off of like what happens like in the game and also like what you guys say too. So it's like really, really easy. Hi, Grandpa, how you doing? Um, sometimes it's a place to hang out. Sometimes I just really like to have the noise in the background it makes me feel less alone. Aw, especially at four in the morning. Yo, Frontier, thank you so much for the five gifted again. Thank you, thank you. all If you guys caught us up, please say thank you. Thank you to the gifter. The funniest part is I'm uh, streaming my browser and Discord so Pong gets to see me type that shit out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Um, I always watch you. Yes, at 2 and 3 a.m. What the fuck? That's crazy. You guys are like like messing up your sleep schedules. Um, reverse sleep. Uh, the Southeast Asia gang for real. 
The Sea Gang, let's go! I know, it's crazy that there's people from all over the world, too, that, like, watch these streams or, like, watch VODs and stuff, too, and I'm like, holy shit. Um, I like red with red stripes. Okay, I will make a red one. It's very, very, it's very, very generic, but I will make a red one for you. Um, let me open that real quick and then delete that. I am actually, I actually think it's amazing you juggle corpo pole dancing and streaming. I have difficulty just in corpo. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. It's, it's definitely take, it's definitely taken some time. Uh, it's taken some time and finagling of like working out schedules and like how things are going to work. Um, but I've tried, I've tried to make it work. It's somehow worked. I know that recently I've had to uh, kind of reduce the time a little bit of my streaming um, because of IRL stuff, but I still try to stream as much as I can. Let me export as a pinch for Dean. Save. Oh, let me add there. All right, Dean, where would you like to go? Oh shit, it always gets so big. You let me know where you want to get your sticky note placed. And I will I will put you on there. What's the command to donate? Ah, dono. Exclamation dono. Um Let me see. I'm actually thinking this is a mate. Oh wait, hold on, I read that. It's PDT, so I'm fine. Funny enough, the past couple of streams just happened to line up with Nikkei's daily reset. That's what yeah, all of my streams uh usually line up right when reset happens, so. Um Face palming chat with sticky note. I really am. Now Dean jump scare. <laughs> I know. I was just like, but left booba need to hide that. You want to hide my booba? How dare. Left booba like right there. Oh, wait. Now you're on my hair. Oh, no. How do I get it? Ooh, wait, I got to do it so that my hair is out of the way. Ah, I can't do this. Hold on. <gasps> hmm. How do I do it so I don't get it stuck on my hair? Huh. No? Da, 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 da. Maybe like that? Is that okay? Does that work? Or do you want me, do you want a little bit higher? Uh, not that, oh, Punk! Uh, wait, thank you so much for the freaking dono! Thank you! Wait, uh, now I gotta get you a sticky note too. Deed speed running the Amish <laughs> It's good. Okay. I'll leave you there. Punk. Um, wait, what color sticky note do you want? Da -da. Let me add that on there too. And let me know what color so I can make you a sticky note as well. And don't worry, I'll readjust myself too. But I was trying to see if I could get on the booba. What <gasps> wait, shoot! Hold on, wait! Uh, who led Punk out of the basement? Probably Mori. Wait, shoot, wait, thank you so much for the dono! Oh shit, that already put us past the 600 mark. I was never in there. Fuck! Shoot gets another- another 100? That's insane! Wait, Shoot really wants to go for that top supporter spot to get all the merch stuff. Yo, can we get W's in chat for a freaking uh, for freaking Shoot for that though? That's insane. Yeah, we got the rap cover. Remember, the rap cover is going to be like an official like music video. So I'm going to have to commission someone to do the mixing, audio mixing, and also creating um, a music video for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing that for the uwu, uwu rap cover. Um, but yeah, some of the other streams uh, that I had for like the incentives, like the cursed food ones, like the variation ones, like that one will be done at a different time, probably uh, after after TwitchCon, uh, cause I'm not gonna have time this weekend or next week since I'll be gone. Um, but I do have, I have to sing an entire song, but only use the word Doro. I can do that now. If you guys let me know what, what song you want me to do. But I would have to sing the only lyrics, the only words I can say is Doro. And I would have to sing a song, uh, and just Doro. And I will not be doing Rap God. No, I can't do Rap God. I don't even know the tempo of Rap God. Like, I have no idea how to even freaking rap that. I tried doing it for karaoke one time, and it was like the biggest fail ever. Um, oh, Shikanoko. 
Oh, I probably, well, see, I only know like the lyrics. Good God, Sullivan. Oh, Jesus Christ. In the end, Linkin Park, you could do what we believe in you. I don't, uh, I mean, I can try. If not, we're gonna have to pick a different song. Hold on. I gotta get the lyrics. The, the Caramel Dancing? Or Fly Me to the Moon? <laughs> Let me look at the, that's a long ass song, dude. That's like a freaking novel. I forgot how long Rap God was. Holy shit. Godzilla is faster than Rap God? Honestly, I don't know Godzilla. I don't know Godzilla. It's Deer. Um, uh, back in black, what ACDC, all genres off limits or does it have to be a popular one? It's not off limits. The only thing though is like, if I don't know the song, it kind of defeats the purpose of me doing the entire song. So it's hard because not everyone knows like what I listen to, even though I do listen to a lot of things, but um if it if it is a popular one it might be easier but like lincoln park i could do like bohemian rhapsody i could do back in black i could probably do um but yeah the thing is is that a lot of the stuff that i listen to like either don't have lyrics or you can't understand the lyrics and i'm just like ah <laughs> um but yeah a boomsday that requires me to rap. <laughs> Boomsday is also rapping too. We can Rickroll chat. Hmm. Do you want me to do Rickroll? Do you want me to do Linkin Park? I can start making a poll for this. Uh, um. Let me do a new poll. Which song for the... Doro song. I'll do the Lincoln Park. Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll do uh Rick Bull. Do we have I think those are the only three that I could possibly do. All right, poll created. All right, poll is up. Poll is up. Brandon, but do you ever get like a military cadence music earworm? Military cadence music earworm? Like if I pick up on military cadences like in songs or like I randomly just start like humming like military cadences? I guess I don't understand the uh, the question for that one. But da but da. What have we got so far? Rick roll? Oh shit. No, just randomly can't get it out of your head. Oh. Um Surprisingly no. Not as often that I could think of. Um Yeah, probably not. I would probably, I would say no. I would say my answer would be no. All right, we got one more minute and it looks like it's gonna be, <laughs> it might be Rick Astley. Oh no. Um, let me see. Hopefully I don't get bonked for this because I know Twitch has been really, really stupid about like, ah, oh, you can't do the thing because it's karaoke and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay. Karaoke, let me see if I can find that. Okay. Okay, I might bring it up on, did it win though? I wanna make sure that like it officially won. Oh, we got two seconds left, okay. All right, it looks like we have the Rick Roll one. Oh my God, okay. Let me pause Spotify. The poll is usually on top of chat. Um, yeah, if you look at the top of chat, it's usually, it's usually there. Okay, 
Let me pull this up. Hopefully the small window won't get me freaking banned because I'm doing karaoke and it's against TOS. And uh, let me do this. I'm going to forget so bad that I have to say everything in Doro. Okay, I'm going to come here. Da, 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 da. If I can make this. Okay, oops. All right, and I'll move myself like right there. Okay. And then Chrome window. Is karaoke not allowed on Twitch anymore? It's not. That's the thing. It's not. Um, I might. Uh, I don't even know if you guys would be able to clip it just because of the uh, the copyright stuff. Sometimes if it's like music from a copywritten song, you won't even be able to clip it. But what I'll do is I'll make it into a highlight and then I'll hopefully be able to clip it from that. Actually, I'm going to do a screen record. I'll do that instead. I'll do a screen record so that it should still be able to do it, even though I have to separate the music out from my stream because I know that they're going to bonk me for it. Okay. Let me do my screen recording real quick. Screen record. Okay. Let me know if you guys can't hear that. Doro 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 ro, doro 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 o, doro 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 o, doro 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 o, doro 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 doro, doro 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 a doro 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 doro
Dora, Dora, Doru, Dora, 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 Doru, Doro, Doru, Doro, and Doro. Yay! We did it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yo, that's insane, dude. That's insane. I can't believe we did that. I can't believe it. We've done it. Oh, now there's a streamception. You can see yourself. Let's go. Oh my God. I I couldn't like for a second. I was like, I just I have I have to remember to say all Doro, but I kept looking at the lyrics on the screen. I was like, don't say the words. Don't say the words. I have to say Doro. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I dude. I was <laughs> trying to say Doro. I was just like Doro. I sounded like one of those huskies like you see on TikTok or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm so glad uh, all of chat spam Doros. My partner came in and distracted me. Did my donut go through? Oh, let me check because I let me see. Da, 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 da. Because I was too busy singing Doro. Um, oh, I did. I did. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right. So I'm adding you. You have. Oh yeah. Thank you for the twenty. Thank you. Thank you. Which means I gotta get you a sticky note. Um, and then I also had to get Ponk a sticky note, which I forget. You said light blue, right? Um, that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something. That was something. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. It looks like I only have one shade of blue, which is really, really disappointing, but I will, I will still give you the blue. Um, the blue. And let me add that. Oh yeah, and static, let me know what color you would like for your uh, sticky note as well. And then I can uh, make that for you. But I do have a light blue tape, so I will give you the light blue tape. And then I'll do this and I'll change it to, do you want it as spawn or do you want it as punk? How do you want to be addressed on your sticky note? <laughs> That's uh, one way to bring all of the doors to the yard. Uh, either is fine. Okay. Um, I'll just do punk. I'll do that. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. Hello. Save me. Punk. Save. And then I add you to the ding ding. And then where would you like to go? Where would you like to be placed? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi, Frank Dad. How you doing? Jesus Christ. Why? I don't know why it gets so big every single time. Uh, you said earlier you have rainbow sticky. I do. I do have a rainbow sticky. I can add rainbow sticky. Uh, front and center of the screen is fine. No, I'm not putting you front and center on the screen. I'll put you. I'll put you on the other boob. How about that? Is that okay? I'll put you on the other boob. Honk in chat's face. Hmm. Ain't on each other for now that song is gonna be stuck in my head. Fuck. Okay, we're fine. Um <laughs> no. Doro 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 Doro. Um I'm so glad I got that screen recorded because I know it was gonna be stupid with Twitch and they're gonna be like, you can't do this. And I'm like, okay. Oh shit. Uh input tape can go up there. Hi, Dual Knight. Congrats on your anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just wear punk as an eye patch. I'm not only surrounded by boobs, I'm surrounded by cool people. Yes. Boobs and cool people. I'd laugh if Artie does walk around singing the song that it's all Doro. It's probably going to happen. I'm not going to lie. Subconsciously, it's probably going to happen. And I'm going to be like, hmm, did I, did I want to have that stuck in my head? No. Is it stuck in my head? Yes. All right, and we got static on here. And let me export that real quick as a pinge. Da, 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 da. Fuck, D, look, I'm just like, now I'm just humming it. No. This <laughs> I got to get it out of my head. This is bad, guys. This is bad. No, I don't put that there. All right, static, where would you like to go? Um, All of them are going to start really, really big. I played yourself. I love. Yeah, I really did. Uh, the right ear. So like an earring. Wait, like right here. 
Uh, if it'll stick to my ear, hold on. Oh, that's too small. Oh, here, where'd you go? Like that? Uh, I mean, it's kind of on my face, but... Hmm. That's okay. It's close enough. It's close enough. Let's go! Okay. Oh, shit. There's something in my eye. Uh, I'm gonna play at the grocery store subconsciously. You'll sing Doro now. Fuck. Wow, is this true? I catch the start of the stream? You did! You did! It is start at the very, uh, very beginning of the stream. Alright, I got you... Your guys' the sticky notes. Nice. I think the only person that I'm missing for sticky notes is... No, I got Dean theirs. Da, 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 da. Uh, Tails. Tails is the only one that I'm... Oh, and Nova. Nova, I'm missing for sticky note. Ba, ba, ba. All right, cool. But thank you again so much for the donos, guys. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. What's with the notes? Uh, it is celebrating my two-year anniversary, and people that donate $15 will get a sticky note put wherever they would like all over me. Um... So yeah, uh, if you see in like the top left corner, we have like goals that we're trying to reach and a timer um, and people that donate are able to put themselves on a sticky note. But, yeah. Um, all right. So we at least completed, I think, a majority of the stuff that I needed to complete for that. So um, dip, dip, dip. I guess the clip option in the donor window is uh, not in use then. The clip, the clip option? In the dono window? What do you mean clip option? Oh yeah, thank you for the hydrate that I don't have any fucking water for. Hold on. Actually, let me check to see if my... F oh, thank God. Okay, I ordered food and I was really worried that my Uber driver was going to come in during the Doro singing and uh, that they were probably going to hear all of that and they were probably going to be like, what the... F Fuck is going on in there but they're not here yet my food is almost here so <laughs> i'm trying not to make the same mistake i did yesterday where i didn't eat uh for nine hours i was like oh i didn't have to have dinner and i just had like a bag of doritos and i was like that's that's fine um it let you put a, a link to a video i saw a stream that used that a while back and it played the video as part of stream um i don't think i have that i don't think i have that command uh, the driver would have been blessed with the gracious lyrics of Doro. <gasps> tank dot dot. Wow. Ta ta tank dog. <laughs> I can't talk because Doro's on the brain. Um, but thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Teach them about the ways of Doro. Bro, Doro is literally on the mind because, like, I feel bad. Uh, tank dog came in. And I was like, tank dag da dag dog do do what? I'm like... <laughs> I can't even speak. Um, okay. Let, uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I just got freaking turned around with everything. Let's go ahead and switch over to the game. Uh, in the future, we need to be moderated to make sure people don't abuse it. Basically, people submit links, etc., and just play the video for however long they donated. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean now. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that being a problem. But I, I understand, I understand what you mean. Wait. Are we? Wait, how are we already at the 800 mark? Wait, what just happened? Did I miss a, did I miss a thing? I did miss it. <gasps> Wait, shoot, what the fuck? Wait, 150? Wait, holy shit. I was like, wait, why did the timer just jump up to 10 hours? I was like, there's no way. Oh my god. Oh no. We we're actually really, really close to getting the freaking stretch tat or stretch tattoo. Fuck. The stretch goals for the tattoo. That's the first time I think someone uh kind of messed up my name. Dude, I apologize because I had to just sing a song and only say the word Doro the entire time. And it's completely screwed up my brain. <laughs> So now reading is even is even a lot harder than before. Um, I got to change the game audio. Hold on. I got to switch it to Nikkei because it was on Space Marines yesterday. 
There we go. Okay. Um, shoot, really? You shooting for the top spot? No, yeah, for real, though. Holy shit. Good luck getting the Dora tattoo, y'all. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Well, thank you for getting us to freaking 800. Holy shit. Dora mind switch in 4K. Not for real. The Dora really, really screwed up my brain. Can't wait for that tattoo, honestly. So what I was gonna get, and I'll probably ask you guys too, because I always ask, that's what I did with my last tattoo, is if you want Arturo and only Arturo, or if you want to have it so that, um, you know how uh, during the April Fool's event, there was like three, it was, um, what is it, Matisse, um, where there was like three of them, that I would get like, Doro, I would get Arturo, and then I would get like another one where they're all running type of thing. Um, but I would have to, we had to figure that out. Um, shoot, gotta get a commemorative statue. Which version of Dora are you getting for the tattoo? Uh, it's definitely Arturo. Um, but then I'm like, do I want to get Arturo and Doro and another one? And make it so that there's like the three of them that are running? Or if I just get the one? I don't know yet. That's something that we can discuss in the Discord. We can we can take a vote for it. Um, Arturo and Doro in a fist fight. What the fuck type of fist fight? But yeah, a Mustang Doro. <gasps> Do it. Wait, I'm sure there is a Mustang Doro someplace. I would have to get the uh the PNG for it or something. Is if there is a Mustang Doro, dude, I might get that. I might get I get I might get Doro and then myself in the middle and then Mustang Doro as like the last one and have all three of them as a tattoo. Oh shit. Yeah, we might do that. We'll take a vote. Well I'll put that let me do Doro Mustang. I'm gonna write that down just in case I forget too. A Mustoro. Shame, but I gotta go now. Have a wonderful rest of your stream. All good and thank you so much for all of your support too and all of the freaking donos. You're insane. Tattoo artist gonna question this, I bet. Not, look, my tattoo artist, her and our, like, we're tight. And so, she has had, she's tattooed a lot of weird shit. This is gonna be very tame. Let me tell you, it's, this is gonna be very, very tame. <laughs> um, yeah, she's like, I've seen some shit, and you know what, I don't question it. <laughs> she's like, this is, I, I guarantee you she'll be fine with it. Um, let me do this real quick. And grab all of that stuff. Oh yeah, we got the solo raid, uh, the ranking stuff. I got, um, I got a frame because I made like top 20%. Look at that. I think last time I was only like top 25, 26 or something. Um, and I don't remember what the cutoff was. Oh, season, reward of it. Let's see. It's, uh, oh, 30%. Yeah, so last time I was 26%. Uh, now I'm below, below top 20%. So I finally got, I got my baby frame. We gotta shoot for that 10% though. So then I can get a frame too. That'd be really, really cool. I'm not a vet. <laughs> Where is it going to be? Oh, it's gonna be on my forearm along with the other tattoos that I got from my, my last subathon. My last subathon, I got Rimuru and Pumpkin Bulbasaur together. Uh, so I would put the, the Doros on that same forearm. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can keep, during these solo raids, we can keep cracking at it and I can keep dropping down. For a second, I thought you said forehead. No, what the fuck? Forehead is insane. I really got scared when you said forehead and I thought you were going to slap the tattoo for it. <laughs> so, no way. <laughs> Hi, Karthus! How you doing? Um, should I start with hard mode ending and then go into some of the side quests? Or just, should I save that for last? Forehead Dora sounds banging. I was thinking, like, maybe... I was thinking. Because I've always wanted to get something, like, behind the ear, like, on my neck. But I was like, what would I get there? And honestly, I was, oh, wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. You know how I have all of the different types of Doros? I have the Doro bikini. I have the Doro where it's like the normal one. And then I have the Doro where it's like the dancing one. Should I just get different versions of Arturo? Or should I stick with the with the Doro Arturo and the Mustang Doro? Ooh, ooh, we're gonna we're gonna have to have a vote. We're gonna have to have a vote uh, of that in the in the Discord. Yes, an Arturo line. It would have to be an Arturo line. Oh my God. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to brainstorm. We're gonna have to brainstorm and pick which ones we want to get for that. An Arturo anklet. Nah, it's gotta go on my forearm. I gotta fill my forearm. My forearm is still a little bit blank. I gotta fill that. Really cursed Arturo or like a limb band. So I have space of where like on my forearm I could just do an entire line. So I would put a line, but I just need, I need to fill that. So I don't know what I would want to put in there just yet. <clears throat> Bikini Arturo posing. Oh yeah, I, I would 100% do that. <clears throat> All right, let's check out challenge real quick. Ah, the new one is out, or the last one is out. Am I gonna get my ass kicked? I might. I just soloed the co-op with Anise while the entire city group sat back and did nothing. But did you win? I'm assuming you won. I think I have it on auto, do I not? Oh, I do have it on auto. Fuck. Dude, this UI is messing me up because I don't know what's on auto. Fuck. Did I just turn it back on? Oh, there's a there's a lot of health bars on this one. Holy shit. Maybe Alice is not a good one for this. Hello? What the fuck is this? I need a shotgun for this one. Oh my god. Okay, I might need to switch Alice out for that. Hold on. Um there we dude, I had two health bars left. Should I should I switch out like maybe Summer Anise for for Alice? To get more to get more shotgun um stuff for this one. They got my challenge team is all shotgun. Hi Lokage, how you doing? Uh, Marciana is good as well. Uh, but I already have Naga, though. I was thinking of replacing my burst three, so replacing Alice with Summer Anise. And then hopefully we could, like, take out those circles. But I don't know. We could try it. I'm gonna try it. I just got sugar, but I don't have I don't have anything on her. Also, I probably should have put crown in the first spot, but I didn't. Dude, this sound only like UI makes me think that um, they're all fucking stunned. Oh no. Uh, 
Just kill it! Just kill it! Just kill it! Oh my god! Dude, I can't tell with the UI, like, half the stuff that's going on. I'm like, are they safe? Are they not safe? Are they stunned? Oh my god, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's fine. Um, I haven't seen you in a very long time. I know! How's it been? Got head to bed? All good. Not gonna lie, I prefer that version of the QTE. I like that one because it actually, I can use my, my shotguns for that, but. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, this is the event. Dude, I was looking at all of the stuff that was over here and I was like, what am I looking at? I'm like, oh, it's just the one that's in the red, okay. Um, but the but um, I think we should be good with the teams. Unless we did. Yeah. Okay. I think we should be okay. Yeah. Our our, our power level is good. You love that UI for hard mode. Dude, I was so confused. Actually, I could maybe put them on auto. Yeah, I could probably do that. Imagine if those were all stages. Bro, that's why I was like, there's no way hard mode has that many stages. Like, I know it's a collab, but I was like, that's insane. All right, yeah, we'll be able to we'll be able to just breeze through this so we can get to the end. Um, I'm willing to bet they dropped some Red Hood info today. Are they supposed to? Like announcement wise? I know we got to keep an eye out on Twitter because that's where they drop everything. I hope they let us know about the costume and if there's a possibility that she might come out with the costume because guess who what? I'm gonna be fucked. Oh, stage. And I bought all of this stuff to kind of keep going through all of the stages. <clears throat> Sometimes they... Usually around five, seven hours from now. Sometimes they drop info on Saturday or Sunday. That's true. I want to say the last time we got information, like even on this collab, it was during a Saturday stream. I do believe. Also, I don't know if Mori or if one of the mods is still around. Uh, in the Discord, can you in the Donathon channel just update to where we are for our goals? Just so that people know that aren't in the stream. <clears throat> Just so they have an idea. I appreciate you. Nikkei, breaking news. You know what I need to do, though? Well, okay. I would like to, because I know on Twitter, you can, like, subscribe and, like, get notifications turned on for certain pages on Twitter. The only thing, though, is, like, I only want to subscribe when it's actual news and not every single post. Because then sometimes, like, the Twitter feed or my, my notifications will start blowing up because it's like, Oh, you turned on notifications? Here's everything that they did. And I'm like, <laughs> I only want to know just, like, announcements, not every single post. I know that people want Red with her costume, but right before Annie, that sounds painful. I, I mean, that would be pretty diabolical. I'm not gonna lie. Would it be helpful? Absolutely, because then I can add her to my team and start building her. But um, financially, I, I don't think it would be very helpful at all. I'd go broke. I'd be a broke strimmer. 
Because I definitely would like to splurge on whoever's gonna come out for the anniversary, but then also... I want red! I want- I want the cheat codes for this game! I want red! That concludes today's lesson. Shift up to just retweeting everything. Sometimes they do. They like sometimes they retweet like art and stuff like that, but I'm just like, I can't have all of that. <gasps> Hi Reza, how you doing? Alright, while they're going, I'm gonna check to see if my food is here. Initiating engagement sequence. With all this modern technology, reloading seems so obsolete. Alright, I got halal food. So I got like Euro falafel stuff with some veggies and hi Doge! You smell the food? You smell the food that's not for you. Hi baby. Hello, my sweet boy. How you doing? Well, you want a piece of chicken? Oh, happy day, or do you want a do you want a euro? Do you want a piece of a euro? Yeah, they got this really really like hot sauce too that I can only put a little bit on because that shit fucks me up. You want a little piece of uh of chicken? Oh my God, sorry for all the bag ASMR. Shit. Where's the hot sauce? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Well, that was easy. I'm so glad that we're doing this on hard mode because I don't have to worry about reading and I don't have to worry about engaging the enemy. They could just auto this stuff. Good job, team. Good job. Hey, hey. Uh, let me get you your piece. You're so nosy. I will get you your piece, but let me open it up first. You'll take some chicken. Okay, I got you. I got you. Does anyone else want a piece of this? I'll give you like a bite of the uh, the euro or something, or the pita bread if you want pita bread. All right, you want the little piece of euro? All right, I gotta make sure it doesn't have any onion on it though. There you go. There you go. All right. Oh, you want some? All right, I got you. I got you. Get that out. Reload, reload, reload. <laughs> that, that's me chewing. <laughs> Alright, bye buddy. He literally came out of the freaking the dark closet because he likes sleeping in there to get some food and then his ass just went straight back. Straight back into the closet. And he doesn't even like pay rent or anything. Freaking freeloader, man. No, 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 Ryoku. I will always take French toast. At this point, French toast is gonna be dessert, and I gotta make the dessert stomach. And then I will have the French toast. Mm. Eat and sleep. Little gremlin. Yeah, he is my he is my little gremlin. I love him though. He's my old man. Boss egg room, hello! Which by the way, if you want me to do a Nikkei uh, cosplay, I think that is the thousand dollar stretch goal. But we still got time. We still got freaking almost less than 10 hours on this timer. Oh wait, what the fuck? Wait, can I- can they do him on auto? Is there a Nikkei Crunch Dono goal? Wait, what do you mean by crunch? What a life. Eat, play, sleep, and repeat. Do you mean the crunch as in the, um... Uh, like the bone crunching thing? 
The crunch or the Oh, um I I'm getting all of the MP4s together because people have requested it, and so I'm gonna make it. There's no goal for it, it's just gonna happen. But I have to make it first. That's why I should have seen you're gonna love it. <laughs> MP4, that's me! <laughs> And people are like, wait a minute, that's me! Yeah, I will... Yeah, once we hit that goal, I will do a Nikkei cosplay. Um, and I want to get, like, good pictures. Um, so maybe, like, hire a photographer to, like, take some pictures of it. And then we gotta figure out who I gotta cosplay. I was thinking of uh, Moran, because I 100% look just like her. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Right, shut up! All right, well done, everyone. A thoroughly successful offensive operation. Hmm. Don't forget that this was all possible thanks to Missile's technology. Bitch. Please, it's clear that the girls who came from another world did most of the heavy lifting. What? We're the ones who made the darn particle cannon. You seem to have forgotten that Elysian has helped build that contraption. Ha. Huh. I knew we shouldn't have collaborated with them. Accentuating circumstances be damned. Everyone contributed and went above and beyond. And with no small amount of help from those ladies from another world, we were able to merge victorious even though it was a close call. It wasn't all entirely possible due to one single person or organization. That's right. We protected the Ark from the massive object, but only by the skin of our teeth. In the event there should be another crisis like this, the Ark's offensive and defensive measures are barely adequate. Therefore, we need to buckle down. We need to be able to respond more quickly against unknown threats and employ additional defense measures to protect the Ark. Okay. Yes, absolument. I was planning on doing that anyway. Anyway, good job, everyone. Please convey our gratitude to all the Nikkeis who participated in the offensive. That's all for today's meeting. After the operator- Dude, I was about to be pissed if that was the only thing that they were putting in hard mode. I visit the MMR vocational school to see the uh, school circle squad and Marciana. Much to my surprise, I see no students in the hallways. Are they in class, maybe? I peek inside class piece homeroom. Hmm, strange. No one is there. I peer into the other classrooms, but there are no signs of either the school circle squad or any other students. Where did they all go? Commander? Marciana! What are you doing here? You must be here to see the school circle squad, yes? Yeah, how have you been? I've been well. And you? I'm doing well, feeling good. It's been great, I'm glad of that. Is something wrong? How come there's no one at school? Today is a school holiday. Oh, what's the occasion? Since quite a few of the students, including the school circle squad, participated in the offensive, the school board decided they all deserved a week off to rest. Of course, it's also to demolish the tunnels connecting the school to the emergency response headquarters. Oh, I see. So should I head to the dorms if I want to see them? No. Reyes, Vi, and Ayn are here at the school. They are? Would you like to go see them? What are they doing? I thought they are supposed to be resting. In the hallway in front of the school simulation room. What are we doing here? They're inside. I thought you said today was a holiday. It is, but they volunteered to come in and train. It seems meeting the nerve members has also made them grow quite a bit. They realize now that they're not just Nikkeis undergoing military training, but a defensive force meant to protect all of mankind, or humankind, I should say. They wanted to be able to hold their own as individual Nikkeis, without having to rely on any external forces. If another threat appears... I see. I peek through the window into the simulation room. Although I can't hear what they're saying, I and Spy and Ray are intensely focused as they fight the simulated raptures. Very impressive. Every last one of them. Would you like to go in? No, I think I'll head back. I can see that they're doing well and that's enough for me. But you came all the way out here. I don't want to disturb them. I don't want to disturb their focus. If you insist. In that case, let me walk you to the entrance. Thanks. I'd like that. 
As I quietly walk out of the school, I keep thinking of the faces of each school circle member and how much more mature they all seem. Aw, they're growing. They're all grown up. They all grown up. Um, this is the one where I can get, yeah, max. Give me all the red boxes. This battle's finished. Moving on. And then I should be, uh, do they not give us a title for this one? I'm all of that. Cause you know how like some of the other events they like give us like these little titles. Do they not give us one? Let me go into the shop real quick. Wish. Oh, they don't. Hmm. Sag. Um, we still got a lot of the the shinies that we gotta find too. Shinies over here. Um, by the way, the field changed. Uh, Ray praised today's lunch. Lunch. Wait, where is she? Ah, she's over there. Moving out. Also, even Naruarize first is not allowed. Oh, there's a shiny there. Oh, there's another shiny there. Uh, two more. Two more. Oh, they're both over here. Perfect. Looks like for collabs, they don't. I think that would have been cool if we got a, a title for that, though. Right, I think that's all of the shinies. And now we got co-op stuff. Last co-op. Maybe they'll get one for a Reds event. I would hope so. I would hope for that event that they would do that. Um, if anyone is wanting to do co-op stuff, I'll just create a party and you guys are more than welcome to join. I'm gonna take a couple bites of food. Hello? Confirm. I'm gonna take a couple bites of food if anyone wants to join. If not, I'm just gonna breeze through these so we can go straight to our side quest stuff. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry. I already gave you a piece. You can't have any more. I already mixed all of the food. You can't have onions, bro. I'm sorry. Your dinner is in like 30 minutes anyway. I'm about to feed you. They better rerun her because of the free outfit. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they do. I am very, very curious to see if they do. Because that's that's a lot that's happening before anniversary. Also, we got ads popping up, so I apologize. I thought with Modernia's outfit it was free, but they didn't do a rerun with her. I thought that was different. Where's my mouse? Oh my god. They did a rerun after? Hmm, okay. How long after did they do that? What the fuck? I don't remember. It's been 84 years. Hi, Lolin. It's been 84 years. <laughs> uh, Moderna got a rerun on New Year's. Okay, so she was the New Year's, the New Year's rerun. Yeah, wasn't there like, uh, wasn't there a a free skin, but then like her rerun was later or something? Eighty four years is probably how long Red was asleep too. Now you right, you right. Why does it say? Why 
Her didn't even get a rerun for half Annie, so I'm doubtful. Were people expecting a a rerun of Doro for half anniversary? Jeffrey yeah, Skin's wearing his commander shirt. Yeah. Under the light of the kingdom. Oh, Not at all. Sorry to break it to you, but this hmm, okay. Because I was assuming that like the main event for for the anniversaries, whether it was half or full, was that you get new characters, right? Scarlet, no! Sorry to break it to you. Oh my god. PTSD again. First time we got a rerun was Moderna, I believe. Don't forget her holding the first ever plush too. Ah, yeah, that's right. Under the light of the kingdom, oh, Let's keep the momentum going. Uh, if if anything, if Black Shadow gets a rerun on New Year's and not Red, it's the previous New Year's unit and not popularity. Hmm. Okay. Got 30 seconds. Under the light of the kingdom, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully we'll find out soon. I would like to know if I need to start putting away some funds for uh, for, for red and for for the anniversary. Um. Or if it's one of those things red comes out later and we just get the event and the skin. Did you see? Your king has won another victory. Uh, if anyone else wants to join, you can. Uh, if not, we can keep the same people and we can just keep this thing rolling. Mm -hmm. Saving all gold tickets for red. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. Maybe I use my gold tickets if red comes out. So that saves me from having to use my gems and, um, uh, like my tickets for anniversary. Hmm. Hopefully. I think I might do that. I hope I hope we can get red though. I think red would help me a lot for the story. Um clown. I'm go clown again. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this shit's so good. Feels like more like they do Cinderella for the anime. Why would they have Cinderella? She hasn't been relevant since, um, fucking from the archived event. Under the light of the kingdom, all shall move. Oh, are we already at the thing? I will read it. Yeah, we're not doing uh, global versus NA for the collab one, but if it's the normal co-op though, um, if it's the normal co-op, we'll do global versus NA. But for... Because it's related to a collab or an event, I usually don't do it then. <clears throat> because sometimes the QTEs can get a little weird. 
Instead of just doing a lot of damage, we gotta like worry about that stuff. Mm -mm. Uh, I think I'm next. Damn it, how do I eat and keep pressing the button on my mouse? I can't eat left handed. I forgot I said anything. We're doing NA right now. Chapter 32 spoilers? Why are we talking about spoilers in chat? Uh, Annie's going to be insane regardless. Just hoping the Annie unit is a water code. I officially met Crow and you hate her already. Welcome to the club! But yeah, this is what I was talking about in the Discord too, is that people like in the YouTube comments too are, they're spoiling stuff that hasn't even, like I'm not even in these chapters yet. And we're, we're talking about things that, one, these banners aren't even out or confirmed, but we're theorizing on characters that I haven't even met yet. And now it's just like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to look forward to seeing that person in the story whenever they show up, because my assumption was that they are dead. only belong on the back of overpriced voice card i mean it's one of those things that like i know for some other games especially for like final fantasy i've had my mods go in and add like words that can't be used on stream but like they shouldn't have to do that they shouldn't have to add keywords that can't be said on stream because we can't just not talk about it mm. And that's why we have a spoiler section in the Discord. If you want to theorize on things, if you want to speculate on what things are, but you know where I am in the story and that I might not have met somebody, go talk about it in there because I have those channels blocked off and muted. I don't go into those channels. Mm -hmm. Tathania, thank you so much for your sub. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's all still speculation. Right. But the fact that they even mentioned the name is telling me that... Because when have they ever put a banner up for a dead Nikkei? And the last time that I ever encountered that person was they are no longer alive. So you can speculate about a banner, but if it's something in a story that I haven't reached yet, I don't know why we're talking about it. Go speculate someplace else. There's a code for, uh, we got one more spot. Unless, uh, Tefani wanted to rejoin. That's what I'm saying. If you want to speculate and theorize, we have places for that. Just not on stream or in my YouTube comments or in like the normal Nikkei channels. Right, 
We're going to crown. I mean, at least people realize that they, they made the mistake. Unlike in the YouTube comments where people were trying to fight me and say, oh, well, it's not spoilers because I didn't say anything else. And I'm like, you just confirmed. You don't have to say anything else. Like, you've already confirmed it. <laughs> you've already confirmed said spoiler. And they're like, but I didn't say anything more. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. You already said, like, what are you missing? Like, you already said it. I'm like, why are you fighting me on this? <laughs> You already spoiled. <laughs> like, are, are we are we missing that completely? Well, that's what I said. Like here, at least we we acknowledge that it was a mistake. But at least in some of the comments on YouTube, though, they're like, "I didn't do anything." I'm like, "Yes, you did." <laughs> and then they tried to delete their comment as if it was gonna make it better. I'm like, dude, you are. It's already done. You already did the thing. There's no going back. Oh, that was me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude. We've okay, we're gonna redo this one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Read we're gonna redo this one. Dude, I was trying to freaking take a bite out of food. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm hungry! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just unsee the spoiler already. Clearly the commenter isn't at fault. I, yeah, you're right. You know what? You're right. I'm just gonna gaslight myself and be like, mm -hmm. Not my fault at all. Alright, this time, I'm not gonna freaking shoot through like I did. <laughs> yup, it's my fault for having eyes. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Yeah, the memory base room. Mm -hmm. These are all good suggestions. Oh, I should have. Oh, damn. I should have foreseen. Oh, we're at that level now. Oh, God. Okay. Clearly, I am not omnipotent enough. I need to get better. Okay. Don't do the thing. Let's go! <clears throat> the mirror is really innocent, just don't use eyes. Yeah, you're right. We all need to come together and get one of those men in black uh, neuralizers. <sighs> Look, if that was a real thing, I would have used it so many times by now. <laughs> and I'm not just talking from streaming, I'm just talking about life in general. <laughs> Under the light of the kingdom, that I would have needed to use the... Uh, the freaking mind eraser thing. Because holy shit. The voice ability not unlocked yet for me. Soon. Soon, soon. Oh, speaking of wanting to erase things that I saw. So when I was coming up with the wheel of punishment, like things to look at. I made the mistake of Googling ideas for it. Um, let's just say I ran across a punishment wheel that I absolutely want to burn out of my memory, out of fucking existence. And let me tell you, some of my mods were like, what the fuck? Oh my god. May I post the comment I said about it? Yes, you may. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's just- yes. There- that was- I- I- I wish I had never read that. I wish I had never read what I saw on that punishment wheel because holy shit. I am not going to read it on stream because 100% I am going to get banned for it. But, 
but <clears throat> I might post the link if people are curious in the NSFW channel. And if you guys don't know about the NSFW channel, then that's a personal problem. <laughs> Uh, because I don't want that to see the light of day in the normal channels. But holy shit. I was like, I, I've made a mistake looking for punishments um, for the punishment wheel by clicking on that link and reading. Because I was like, oh, that doesn't seem, oh my god. I was like, <laughs> I was like, my eyes, my eyes. Oh no! The Forbidden Wheel. What Axel put isn't even like 100% the worst thing on there either. It's got some wild shit. Yeah, it really, really does. Yeah, it was... Mm. I feel like I need to cleanse my history too because that shit fucking was insane. Someone wanted that? That's crazy. <clears throat> I was like, rest in peace to the person who has to spin this wheel. Wait, what are what are we talking about now? I just saw chat. Was this some of it illegal? No, I wouldn't say illegal, but it was just damn near like, how do you even think of this stuff type of thing? Um, yeah. Um. Axel, wait, uh, wait, I'm caught. I need to catch up on chat. Hold on. How many stream uh, time to maybe say like who in the fuck does that looking it up put you on some list? No, 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 no. That, that won't put me on a list. It was just a joke of that like I'm gonna have to be on a watch list after that because holy shit. Very questionable I say is the best way to describe it as in who and why the fuck would actually do this. Yeah. The algorithm has already said it's too late. Fuck, we're fucked guys. We're so fucked. Um, no, 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 it's not anything illegal, but it's more of like, I never thought that this was a thing, and now I know it's a thing, and I wish I didn't know it was a thing. It's It was one of those types of stuff. Um, so yeah, it wasn't anything, like, bad in a sense where, like, I am going to be put on a list, but it was just like, uh, yeah, I wish I didn't know that people probably do this. But now I know, what so I wish I didn't know. <laughs> um, okay, let me grab this real quick. I am all... Oh, uh, there we go, we got the frame for that. Uh, Shady, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank y'all. Uh, I don't want to traumatize myself any more than I already have. Um... Oh yeah, so I was looking for ideas for a punishment wheel, and the one that I clicked on has some very, very questionable things that I wish I didn't see. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Money Alice reduced my use damage by about uh, 10 minutes to give me more ammo. Oh, what the fuck? If it's uh, that bad, then that I won't look. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll think about if I wanna if I wanna post it. But <clears throat> um. All right. So we got through a lot to get through reptilian. I'm wondering now if I can just start doing all of them, or if there's certain ones that you guys recommend that I just do now. And then we can do some of the other ones like at a later time or um mm -mm -mm. i'm trying to find the wheel but it isn't easy yeah just fucked up people but people that also have very interesting kinks too which i usually i don't kink shame but this was a little bit, this was, this, this kind of made me a little squeamish. That's why I was like, I, ugh. I was like, this is a very interesting, very interesting punishment wheel that they have, but I king shame, shut, grandpa, I already know you king shame. Um, the only one I can remember that's a must play would be the one for the end of chapter 26. I don't know what it's called. 
That's not the reptilian one, right? That's different? Um, kink shaming is my kink. <laughs> that is my kink. Uh, Pira, 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 Pira. This one? Okay, hold on. Oh my god, I have to sneeze again. Hold on. Uh, maybe? <coughs> Fuck. Had you had my curiosity, now you have my interest. Mm, I might not be among sister side quests are incredibly piled up. Yeah. I, well... It's kind of allergies, but at the same time, people aren't supposed to smoke in this building. And when I have my uh, patio door open to let in fresh air, people will smoke off of their patio and it comes into my apartment. And so I'm allergic to that type of stuff. I'm allergic to like smoke. I'm allergic to anything like that. So that stuff fuck messes me up. Um, <clears throat> fresh air ain't fresh air. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yuri, thank you so much for 13 months. What is time? Dude, I don't even know. What is time? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. How you been? Um, oh, you found it. Did you do the, you found it through the Google search? Oh my god, my nose is now, ugh. Hold on, I think I have to sneeze again. Wait. Fucking hell. Someone almost started a fire in my apartment because they left a lit bud in the grass. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, that's insane. I don't know why people are like that. Oh my god. See, now I'm not gonna be able to stop sneezing. Oh no. Okay. Pira, Commander, it's Rappi. What? I'm sending you this message because I have a personal- Oh, I have to sneeze again. It's like right- It's right on my nose. I'm sending you the- It's like tickling my nose. You know when you try to hold back a sneeze and it starts like burning your nose? I'm sending you this message because I have a personal request. How come you- Wait, how did you come up with this username? Oh, this? Well, I can hardly use the same username for my other account. If you're not a fan of it- oh my god. <sighs> okay, do I need to sneeze again? I don't know. Alright. If you're not a fan of it, I can use my original ID. Oh, now it's really burning. Fuck. No, it's okay. Um, back to what I was saying. Oh no. Even read. <laughs> um, thank you, Tomo. Well, I'm tired as fuck though. Currently on day 20 of what should have been a 10 day shift. Wait, a 10 day shift? How are you on day 20? That's like double that. Oh my god. I pray for everyone to have short term memory loss for a bit so they can forget about whatever the wheel had. No, this is seared into my brain. I'm sorry. This is not something that is going to be able to get to get out of my brain. But thank you for the biddies, though. I don't sneeze often, but I do sneeze like five to seven times. It's insane. Sometimes it's just once and I'm fine. But, dude, this I think it's really the smoke is like messing me up. Um, when you have time, I was hoping I could go somewhere. Is this on the surface? Yes. Just, just the two of us. Yes. It won't be dangerous, not as long as I'm there to protect you. That's reassuring. Jesus Christ. Have the Doros always been that big? Have they always been that big? Wait, I thought they were a lot smaller. Ow! <laughs> Jesus, they fucking yeeted you. I know. <laughs> Dude, they're aggressive. <laughs> they're massive. There's this image I saw that forever be burned in my mind. The Doros are evolving. I guess so. I don't remember them being that big. Um... Holy shit. Ow. Call me whenever you're available. It doesn't matter when. <clears throat> okay, I'll wait for your call. Oh, chapter 26. Is that the one that you were talking about, Static? Pira's, uh, Pira's side thing. Um, I guess it is. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Um, wait. 
I can just take this thing, right? I'll follow you closely, teacher. Uh, nice. Okay. Wait, am I gonna get fucked up? Oh no! These side quest EPs are gonna be a lot. Uh. <clears throat> Ah, fuck. Okay. Hi, Blue. How you doing? This will be finished soon. I'm not this one. Oh, my God. And it's the worst one, too. Actually, wait. Oh, they're on auto, too. Go, 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 go. Where are the... Oh my god, I'm fucking up, Alice. I'm so sorry! Oh, we're stunned! <clears throat> oh, we missed our burst because freaking Scarlet was stunned! Oh my god. <laughs> I Did you see? I don't know how we did that either. Dude, we don't ask any questions. Dude, we don't ask any questions. <clears throat> we don't ask any questions. No, don't ask a question. <laughs> we don't ask any questions. <laughs> we don't ask any questions. It, it just happened. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're fine. Mm -mm. Oh shit. Can we burst when nothing is there? Fuck. Alright, I think we're fine with this one. This one is so much better than the other one. Holy shit. I just got reminded of my flight time on Wednesday, 6 a.m., so I gotta leave here at 2 a.m. Ew! <clears throat> Why? Why you do this to yourself? Alright, last one. Is it gonna be the same type of... I hope it's not. Aw, oh, man. Hello? Dude, I'm fucking up Alice so bad. <clears throat> Was that first one so hard and then these one oh shit and then all the other all the other ones have been super easy <clears throat> it was the cheapest flight uh to not have us spend hundreds oh that's fair it's unfortunate that it's like that though earlier flights might be cheaper but you're like damn i'm gonna lose all of my sleep is this the place you were talking about yes rapi looks around the area without saying a word why come here? I'm not sure, but I somehow felt I had to come here at least once. Could this be traces of Red Hood? No, it can't be that. Red Hood is gone, forever. If I were to guess, I'd say this was something that was saved in my subconscious when I was entwined with Red Hood. But there's nothing here. That's because so much time has passed. 
There's no way of knowing what this place used to be. Not anymore, at least. However, I feel a strong sense of longing here. What kind of place was this to Red Hood? I'm not sure. It might have been a place where she had fun with her friends. It could have been a secret place where she spent a lot of time alone. Perhaps somewhere where she spent time with someone special. Whatever it is, I'm certain this place had a special place in her heart. I'm sure she'd be glad we made it out here. Yeah. Rappi stands there silently, although this is her first time at this place, and there's a noticeable sense of longing riddled on her face. <clears throat> she seems to be simultaneously smiling and on the verge of tears. After about 10 minutes, Rappi looks at me with a smile. Thank you for coming here with me. Let's head back. They, I mean, they didn't go into, like, detail about where it was. Could it have been where, um... Where Red met up with the, uh, the people that were going towards the Ark? Where she was with Oswald? And she saved, like, the little girl? Could that possibly have been that place, maybe? Or... I'll follow you closely, teacher. That's all just me speculating. Could be. Now do Twinkle if it's there. Alright, we'll give it a look. <clears throat> Grab the gift. Jams! Oh, I got a tactical... Tactical? What? I got something that just popped up. Thank you again for accompanying me. I'll be available whenever you need me. Rappy? Yes, Commander? I'm really happy that you're back. Me too. I'm glad to be back. That makes two of us. <laughs> I won't be deleting this ID. Would it be okay if I use it to ask you for personal favors from time to time? Of course. Thank you. I hope you get some good rest. Um, oh, we got the uh, tactical tit. Yeah, we got the, we got another one from tactical tit. Um. Do we want to do that one? Do we want to do the tactical tit? Crappy giggling. I know, remember we saw like the level of confidence like even at the end of the chapter two where she was like, don't put your hand on her. Grab my hand, you're holding my hand. And I was like, okay, Rappy. Like, okay, I see this. Uh, we definitely can. Okay. Tactical tit, where do you go? All right. Are you the commander that I've been hearing about? I have a favor to ask of you. I hope you'll be receptive to it. Uh, Ingrid? Who is that? Can't you see my username? If you're making assumptions based on the word tactical being in there, then you're sorely mistaken. Anyways, let's just act as we don't know each other. <laughs> a mass-produced Nike that was maintained by Elysian has escaped. She was recently deployed on a mission up to the surface, but upon the issuance of a return order, she apparently went AWOL. Ooh. Would she have been... Oh, would she... Would she have a compelling reason to do so? Um, I have my own suspicions, but I cannot say anything with certainty. She was always proactive in the field and never had any real complaints. Does this happen often? Not often, but it does occur on occasion. And usually only shortly after someone has become a Nike. Typically as a result of feelings to spare alienation and more derived from their recent transformation. But this time, it's different. Despite being a mass-produced Nikkei, she has successfully returned from five separate missions on the surface. This is an astonishing high survival rate, and indicates that she is exceptionally skilled for a mass-produced model. She has also demonstrated remarkable initiative in the field, to the extent that she was scheduled to receive dedicated armament soon. Ooh. She is a highly tactical soldier, and I am at a loss as to why she would go AWOL. I would chase after her myself, but as you know, the Ark can't afford to be deploying troops outside the city. Uh, only a special detached unit such as yourselves would be able to pursue. Okay, we'll do what we can. We're still picking up her ID signal. That tells us that she's still alive. I'll give you the coordinates shortly. Thank you for doing this. Ah, chapter 25. Okay. Oh, that's not too far. <clears throat> Yay, I'm above CP on this one. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, ma'am. 
I thought we were gonna go straight into fighting. I just took a bite out of food. Um. Okay. If we bring her back, what happens then? Nothing, I guess. Yeah, nothing will happen to her. What makes you so sure? Instructors appear- wait, instructor appears to have a high pl- Wow, I cannot fucking read. Instructor appears to place a high value on that Nikkei. If they were even planning on providing dedicated armaments, they clearly considered her an invaluable asset. If anything, she'll get a slap on the wrist and nothing more. Keep in mind though, we're talking about Ingrid here. A light slap on the wrist could end up being an hour long hiding or more. Really? Really. Fine, let's track this Nikkei down. There's nothing worse than oh, taking someone back and throwing them to the lions. I'm telling you, nothing bad is going to happen to her. Okay, I trust you. Now I fight. I should fight. I'm like AFK getting pings I'm being at. What are these gold? Wait, what? What are you getting pinged for? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, it was probably from the Battle Royale. <clears throat> the gold can be used to customize your little avatar if you want to. Now, if you win the Battle Royale, basically you beat everyone in chat, so you're the winner. <clears throat> it means you are... Yeah, your avatar was the best out of the best. I wonder if I could just let them auto. Even though we're on chapter 25. This will be finished soon. Oh no, I don't know if I can let them auto on this one. Wait, wait! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This life will keep me going. Win! Win! Go! No! Don't go to Get out of here! Yeah! Dude, I'm telling you, those are the Doros? I feel like they got bigger. You're getting quite EP. Bro, get some sleep. I wonder if it was because of, um... Oh, you think the song made them big? They're evolving too fast? I wonder if it was because I, uh, I had to switch to my gremlin yesterday and, like, it might have adjusted the size. Doros probably consumed some of Artie's uh, another dimension and gained in their strength. No, that's not allowed. Shit. Damn. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they're huge! More like corrected? They grew in response to more Doro emotes being added. Ah, you know what? That probably is it. Yeah, we do have more Doro emotes. In case you guys didn't see. Caught you. Bah. Be cooperative and come quietly. The boss is looking for you. Instructor? Yes, she's been worried sick about you. And so much of that she's personally asked us to track you down. Right, so let's go back. Hmm. If you have any grievances or any sort of demands, let us know. I'm sure the instructor will hear you out. I shouldn't have to tell you this, considering you're from Elysian. But you're probably in for a serious reprimand when you get back. You still trust Ingrid? Huh? 
like Nani? I don't. Not anymore, at least. For what reason? She puts on a commendable act, pretending to treat us all humanely. But in the end, we're just pawns to her. So please, just let me go. Plumes of smoke suddenly burst out from underneath us. A smoke grenade? Everyone, be careful. She's coming. Is this about to get down? Oh. Is this about to get down and dirty? From the haze of smoke, the mass-produced Nikkei appears. Or rather, a decoy who looks exactly like one. A decoy? Robbie, over there! Off in the distance, the silhouette of a figure darts off rapidly. Permission to use suppression bullets. Granted. Roger. Pew, 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 pew! Hi, Lacrosa! Hi, Hiro, welcome back. Robbie fires a barrage of bullets. There is a deafening sound and the distant silhouette disintegrates. What the? Uh, it exploded. A decoy. Commander, behind you. I whip to look behind me and see the mass-produced Nikkei sprinting away at full speed. She is moving far too fast for a normal Nikkei. She's using a boost pack. She's outside of our range. I don't think pursuing is possible. What just happened? That Nikkei we initially saw up close was actually her, not a decoy. She cloaked herself with a decoy, imitating a decoy's movements, and then used the boost pack to book it out of there. What is she? Some kind of ninja? Amazing. Let's head back. I like how Neon's like, wow, I want to do that. <laughs> um, Alright, give me that gift. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting this correct. You lost her. First, she used a smoke bomb, covered herself with a decoy, then remained near you, making the oh, making you think she was a decoy. At the same time, she deployed another decoy in another direction, which you mistakenly believed was the real her. She pro proceeded to take advantage of your confusion to use that boost pack and escape. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Yeah, it all happened too fast. What amazing tactics she deployed. Truly remarkable. This is a maneuver I could adopt for large-scale battles. The most impressive part of this whole thing is that she was able to formulate that plan in such a short amount of span- Oh, short span of time. You seem to be enjoying this. How could I not be? This is proof that Elysian's cir oh, curriculum is doing its job. But she claims not to trust me. I mean, the head of Elysian? Hmm. Yes, that must be the reason. It was bound to happen. Could this be karma? What's going on? I like how she's having like her her internal thoughts, but then she's like putting it out here and I'm like, uh, what? Hear her out first and then decide for yourself. Decide what? You'll understand when you talk to her. We're currently pinpointing her location using the trajectory of her escape route. I'll let you know once we have something, so stand by. Oh shit. We've confirmed her location. I'll give you the coordinates you can proceed to. How did how did you find out? There's only one place she could have possibly gone. She's quite clever, so she wouldn't have settled for anything but the most optimal location. And there's only one place that fits all the criteria. I'm sure of it. All right, we'll head out now. Okay, best of luck. The chapter is currently in pro- Oh, duh, we are in chapter 25. I was like, what? Let's go. Mm, how do I mark my name into Artie? Oh, like get a sticky note? You want a sticky note? Uh, if you want a sticky note, uh, you'll have to donate $15 for our uh, celebration. Yeah, yeah, throw money at me. Uh, and if you want to know how to do that, there is the link uh, to donate. But like I said, this is just... If you guys can donate, if you want to donate, and this is just celebrating my two years of streaming. That's all it is. People are doing this out of the kindness of their heart, so... Oh, oh. Oh, I hate this one because this one takes forever. Ahem. <clears throat> 
That's not a thing, that's a pylon. We're at 20 seconds. All right, this one's not too bad. It's not too bad, it just sucks that it takes so long. Alright, we got like five seconds, we're fine. Best I can throw is quarters, is that okay? I mean, however you want to do it, that's fine. You can throw quarters all you want. That concludes today's lesson. Mm -mm -mm. Um... Oh, I do need to give you your sticky note. Um, I meant to ask you that. Because you donated, uh, you're at a total of 50 right now, Kaios. <clears throat> so I can get you your sticky note if you let me know what color. And then also if you want to spin the Wheel of Punishment for me, um, then I'll have to do the Wheel of Punishment. So let me know if you want to do that and we can do that real quick. Because I see that, yeah, you have two 25s. Purple, you like purple? Okay, I'll make that for you. Um... Yeah, like I said, and if you're ready to... If you're ready to spin the wheel... Dun, dun, dun. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And I'll save that as a pinge. And then let me get that on my model real quick before I forget. Uh, just gonna put you there. And where would you like to go? Where would you like the sticky note to go? Holy shit, fucking jump scare. So I donated 10. If I did another 5, does that count? Yes, it builds upon each other. So if you donate 10 and you donate 5, that is a total of 15. And that'll get you your sticky note. You don't have to do a donation of 15. It's cumulative. Um, Wheel of Punishment? I've been watching too much Magic uh, the Noah. Uh, yeah, let me know where you want this to go, and then I'll also get the wheel ready. Uh, looks like you already got a post-it earring, so the other side? Okay, put you on the other side. If I can. Is that okay? Oh, look at that! I got little earrings! <laughs> um, okay, let me also get the wheel back up. Hold on. And then we'll spin the wheel... ...for that. Where's my pop-out? Okay. All right, so spinning the wheel. Let's see what we got that I need to do. Let me mark you off too. <gasps> Yo, no punishment! Let's go! Get fucked. <laughs> Let's go! I win! The wheel is a scam? No, because the other, the other thing that we landed on, I had to end stream. So I would say it's worth it. It was so it was so worth it. Um, hold on. I got you the wheel and then I got you your sticky note. Um let's, yeah, let's do that. It's not scam! It's not rigged! <laughs> it's legal! It's legal. Um let me just make sure too. Da -da. Yeah, I think Tails is the only one that needs to spin the wheel and get a sticky note as well, so. Wait, is one of the punishments to end stream or did a punishment make you end stream? Uh, one of the punishments was to end stream. That was literally the first thing that we did at the beginning of stream. We spin the wheel and it said to end stream. <laughs> yes, very, very significantly less cursed than the other one. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just sat there and I was like, oh, um, I guess we're 
Ending stream. Not the, oh, Herx is with the five. I see with the dono. Yo, thank you for that. Thank you. And let me know what color you want for your sticky note and where you would like to go. So you got a day off. Does that mean that VOD was like five minutes of waiting for, yeah, it was, it was like 20 minutes, but yeah, like the first, oh shit. Oh wait, ah, wait. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm not ready. I was not paying attention. Um, but like the first like 15 minutes was basically just us yapping and spinning the wheel and then I had to end stream. Is that another spin? No, this the sticky note is for 15. If you want to spin, it's 50. Five zero. And that's why that's why I said like please don't don't be going into like savings or anything like that and start pulling money out so that you can spin the wheel. Like ten seconds left. Yeah. Also, when you type in the exclamation "dono," it'll tell you the incentives and like what each of the personal incentives are as well. My four hundred one k can be worked on later. No, don't <laughs> be financially responsible. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know, let me know what color you want for your sticky note and where you would like to go, and I will place you there. As long as it's not something that's, like, too obstructing, but... Kill the boss! Oh, there's balls everywhere. If I pay enough money, the gotcha will let me pull an arty. Do you really need that gaming console? There's a pawn shop nearby. A streamer needs gotcha funds. What the fuck? Uh, pink and wherever is fine. Okay. <sighs> I knew you'd come. This is the only place where I can hide and protect myself. Then why did you stay here? If I go anywhere else, I'll be killed. I don't want to die. You said that you've come to distrust Ingrid. Why is that? I once had two comrades. They were both mass-produced Nikkeis. The three of us accomplished things that were previously believed to be impossible for our models. We were proud of ourselves and felt that we were better than most other squads. The reason we were able to become as capable as we did was because of Elysian's curriculum and the fact that Ingrid treated us like human beings. At least that's what we thought. You remember the battle against the heretics? You mean when we fought with Modernia? Right. We were deployed on that mission. We were deployed near her, buying time until you guys arrived. The mission was a resounding success. Overcome with joy at what we accomplished, we planned on having a massive celebration. But my friends had their memories wiped. Oh, they were the- they were those two mass-produced Nikkeis that- I begged Ingrid for an explanation because I didn't understand. But all she told fuck. But all she told me was that it was classified. Oh shit, Julius, yo, thank you for the 50! Ooh! Thank you, thank you! Oh shit, hold on. Let me put that down before I forget. Da, 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 da. You also get to spin the wheel and you get a sticky note. And Mary's right because they saw Red Hood. Mmm, probably. Wait, but then hold on. In the end, we were just weapons. She pretended to treat us like humans when it was convenient for her. But when it came down to it, we were nothing but instruments of destruction. That's when I began to look for an opportunity to escape. I don't know when they'll end up using me as a weapon again. They treated me like a human for so long that I truly believed that's what I was. 
The thought of the person whom I trust the most considering me little more than the instrument of death terrifies me. So I escaped. There was no other choice at the time. Ingrid said the same thing. That's not good enough. I need to know why. What reason could there possibly be to have my friends killed? I'm sorry. Did you have something to do with it? Yes. Then explain yourself. I can't. Get out. Or kill me. Commander. Let's go back. Roger. Hmm. Aww. She just wanted the answers. Uh. Oh yeah, chat's hugging Mori. Um, there was a small throwaway line in the uh, in the after chapter. But if the other two got mind, if they got their mind wiped, why didn't she get her mind wiped? Or was it because she ran away? That she didn't get her mind wiped. <laughs> All right. Um, I think. Kirk says you said you wanted pink, right? Do you want the underscore in the name as well, or do you want it all together? Um, because I know, don't you have like an underscore in um in the Discord name, or am I making that up? I could be making it up. How can I make this. I gonna make this smaller. What the hell? Oh, that's weird. Why can I make you smarter? Oh, there we go. Uh, underscore Twitch done goof me. Okay. Um. And then Julius also needs one too. Oh, let me know what color you would like for that. Okay, I'll take that one. Bom, bom, bom. Let me export as a pinch. And you said you don't care where you go, right? I can just add you wherever. You want to return with the toast? Uh, no preference? Okay. There, I'll just start adding more to my hair. Um, but why do they just have part of their memories wiped? I don't know. I gotta read that again. I don't think uh, memory wipes are that precise. I didn't think they were precise. I just, I'm curious as to, I guess she ran away before. I'm gonna give you the doodle paper, because the doodle paper looks cool. Um... All right, um, let me export that real quick. You didn't see, I guess she didn't see because there's the ones we saw it on her. She probably didn't see the other two did. They were the only two nearby Red Hood. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, let me add you save. Oh, I saved two 
And if that's on my jacket or if that's on my hair. It might be on my hair. That's okay. You're covering up chat a little bit. That's alright. I know that Neon Stiff modifier memories that she was killed by Dilia. It explains multiple times sorry, that humans don't actually understand how the hair refers. Oh, on the hair. Yeah, you're on the hair. It's like that little corner. That little corner of the thing is like on the hair. Uh, Nymph is strange in Neon's case to act on its own, and 99% likelihood they'll just go, we have no idea why it did that. In humans, man. Uh, okay. Get my gift. Oh, also, wait, we gotta spin the wheel too, I forgot. Let me get this real quick. You did well, Artie. To keep the existence of Red Hood hidden, I erased- Oh, see, now she tells us. I erased the memories of the two Nikes who trusted me most of all. Was that the right thing to do? Do you think I made the wrong choice? I don't know. That's okay. If you were in my shoes, I'm curious as to what you would do. At any rate, uh, at any rate, what's done is done. There's no going back now. Anyways, you performed admirably. Thank you. What will you do now? I'll leave her be. All pursuits will be called off. I made a choice that her heard grievously. Yet rather than attempt to harm me, she chose to run. I'm grateful for her for that. So I'll leave her alone, and I hope that she'll be able to live on. As for me, when the opportunity presents itself, I will make my amends. She done fucked up, Glen Coco. Um, trying to escape the wheel. Did I wish? I need to escape the wheel, but I can't. All right, this is gonna be the spin for Julia. Where is it? Okay. They mark you off for. What? Say nice things about chat. Oh my god. I gotta say nice things about chat. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Task impossible, I'm blushing already. <laughs> oh, what do I even say? Um, okay, let me let me think of some things. Let me think of some things. Let me some, I'm gonna type in sweet nothings. I gotta find sweet nothings. Where's the, what exactly are sweet nothings? The hell, delicious snacks? No, I don't wanna do that. Uh, let me look at some sweet nothings and let me see if I can get some examples. Sweet nothings sayings. I gotta find, I need to, oh, ew, no, I don't wanna say that. Ew, that's not sweet nothings, what is this? <laughs> One of them has said, tell me stop. <laughs> what? How is that a sweet nothing? What the fuck is that? That's not a sweet nothing. Tell me stop, I love seeing you blush. Ugh, ugh. Um. <laughs> how? Wait, someone wrote a book about how to whisper sweet nothings? They wrote a whole ass book! Oh shit. Maybe I should read that book so I can say things to chat. We're about to get the generic Google responses? No, 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 no. I'll say something nice. <clears throat> chat, you are looking very, very lovely today. I appreciate all of the time that you spend with me. I am so grateful for your presence. I am so happy that we get to spend all of this time together. You guys are the most adorable chat. You guys are the best chat in the entire world. And I could never ask for a better chat. You complete me. You make all of my dreams come true. And I wouldn't want to have it any other way. <laughs> Your wrist will work on me. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> Tell me to stop. <laughs> oh my god, where are those crow poems? Keep going. Um, you have captured my heart, chat. 
You will be my one and my only chat. I appreciate you. Day in and day out. You are the prettiest of chats. I love you, chat. You make my heart so full, chat. I love you guys. <laughs> she put more effort to crow, everyone. <laughs> I pee so much whenever you say these sweet nothings. <laughs> Look, no, hey, look. Some of the, <laughs> some of these examples when they said to like examples of sweet nothings. One of them says, "You taste so good." <laughs> I ain't gonna say that shit. You taste so good. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, that's what it says. It says, um. It's, one of them says, tell me stop. You smell amazing. Oh, that's what I should have done. You guys smell amazing. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I should have done this. Hold on. Um. Oh, yeah, here. See, I have you guys in my hand. Now I could talk sweet nothings. Chat. You are so delicious, chat. You're so scrum diddly umptious. I could just nibble on you all day. You're so cute. You're so delicious. I appreciate you guys so much. You have done so much for me, and as your streamer, I am so grateful for all of you. I'm worried about us now. <laughs> Imminent boar. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the examples. It was kind of funny. I was like, why does it say taste so good? That's not what you're supposed to say. So this is how it ends, yeah. Scrumptious just straight up reminds me of Scrumptious Lullaby from the fucking ad libs. Oh, ew. Tell us we have nice feet. You have nice feet, chat. Even though I'm holding you and I can't see your feet, you still got cute little feet. You got cute little button feet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I appreciate you guys. This is me saying sweet things about chat. It's part of my punishment wheel. We got the grippers. I mean, I think you do in some of the other ones though, but we were about to die. Nice meeting all of you. <laughs> All right, let me put that away and then send us back here. Mm -mm -mm. Um. All right, I did my thing. I said I said the nice things about chat, and now I can remove that from the wheel. Okay. You guys better clip that shit, and then you better record it anytime you want to hear me say nice things about chat. Um. Okay, so I got the wheel for Julia's, and then if Nova and Tails show up to chat let me know because then I need to get them their sticky notes and I need to get them to spin the wheel <clears throat> I'm gonna put this. okay I'm gonna do that now cue about 20 minutes of already telling us to fuck off to compensate you damn right um okay what was the uh other one that you said to keep an eye out for um what was the name of it I don't think I have it unlocked yet though uh, did you follow up the producer? I mean, I don't... Um... I don't have producer with the red dot on it, so I'm assuming yes. Unless it's going by a different name. Producer, director, Kim. I mean, I got that one. Uh, Twinkle, but I don't think she pops in unless you do some of the arc quest. Arc quest? Like the, like the outpost stuff? Is that what you mean by arc quest? I feel like Crow would put her answer and you're gonna be like, hey, nice. Oh my god. Probably. Um. Alright, so I got I got these ones. I got some central government ones. I got triangle and protocol. I got some from Eden. Oh, just the later chapter quest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ron, girls like the cafe, sweetie, coin rush, triangle, etc. Okay. I mean, I could do all the ones that we haven't done yet, or I have some like Justin, music lover, Jennifer, and stationary? And stationary that I could also get rid of too. Um. So unless we want to, unless we want to take those out, we could also do some of the new ones that I just got too. Um, 
Um, Eden, Roman Romantis. I hope Queen Rush, Eden's pretty good. Squad Girls? Wait, which one's Squad Girls? Which one's Squad Girls? Is it the... Is it the coin rush one? Uh, if you didn't know this is what I think it is, it's a lot of fun. Coin rush... Coin rush... Coin rush protocol triangle? Oh, you're just talking about those three? Just like doing those three? Um, I mean, there's nothing that says that we can't do all of them. Oh, Mari! Wait, 39? What the hell? Wait, how much did you already donate, though? I wonder if it's also the freaking conversion rate, too, but... Mari! Thank you very much for the dono! Oh, you did it so that it matches up at the fucking 900. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. Hmm. Getting us to the freaking 900 mark. I see you. I see you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was like 39. I was like, that's very specific. But I was like, but, but why? <laughs> um. So do I gift a sub or uh, get McDonald's? Uh, that is up to you. I am not going to tell you how to spend your money. Um, but thank you so much for the dono, Mori! Uh, hold on. Does that put you at... That does put you over 50, so that means you get to spin the wheel. Fuck. Because your original was 15, and then you added 39, so now you're at 54, so that means I gotta bring the wheel back up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Da, 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 da. Okay, bringing the wheel back up. Let's go. What we got for the wheel? The wheel for Mori. That's the Mori. No! 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 Okay, I have to be really, really careful about what I say. Uh. Um. Okay, Mori, because you were the one that this 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 wheel spin was for. What would you like me to do if I do end up swearing within that five minutes? You, the choice is up to you on what that punishment is. So you get to pick what I would have to do if I, I almost said, I almost said something. I almost said the F word. If I mess up, if I mess up, what would you want me to do if I say something within the five minutes? I have to be really careful with my words because I curse a lot. Um, within the five minutes. Ew. Double the timer. Ew. I have to be careful. I have to be really, really careful that I don't, that I don't say anything! Okay. <laughs> Can I take a rain check on the punishment and get back to you on it? I will think of something. Okay. Would you like the timer then to start when you figure out something? Because... Leave you in suspense? Or do you want me to start the timer now? So I can start the timer now, and then... Or we can do it at a different time. We can take a rain check on the entire punishment. Start the timer is fine? Okay. Let me get a timer for... And I'm gonna... Uh, so that you guys can see it too, so that it's like kind of fair. If it wasn't so... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. 
Okay, there we go. <clears throat> let's do, let's do Eden. Let's do, let's do Eden. Let me move that. Oh, oh. Then you can't. Okay, we'll do that. I heard Artie lives right there. I'm gonna make all these weird noises now because I'm not gonna be able to curse. <sighs> okay, Eden. <laughs> the slow speaking is killing me. It's so bad. I have to really think about my words. It's so bad. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Welcome. This is the group chat for Eden. It's primarily used for me to assign missions. It's also used for everyone to report their findings to me. Even though your stay in Eden will be brief, I hope that you'll do your utmost to assist us in any way possible. Noted. Hold up. We're letting this sorry sack of crap intermingle with the rest. Dude. There better not be any cursing in any of the text that we're about to read. Because if there is, I might be in trouble. So I have to be very, very careful. And I'm hoping that none of these Nikkei's curse so that I don't have to mess up the timer um since when is crap a curse word man oh man i never thought i'd live to see the day <laughs> darling am i dreaming what a joy it is for us to be working on the same team i haven't won everyone over just yet <laughs> give it time you passed the initial test didn't you you've already entered eden i just want to help you adjust cecil Johan, have you got any jobs for us? Preferably something just for me and my baby. Resource recovery, patrol of the territory, obtaining plant samples, your choice. Let's go for option three. <laughs> your turn with the chili dogs. I want some chili dogs. Uh, great minds think alike. That's what I was leaning towards too. Patrolling the perimeter would take no time at all and resource recovery may take a physical toll on you. So darling, wait just a moment and I'll come meet in your room. In my room? Get my room! I returned from my teacher from high school said it was many years ago. Let's go. How old was your teacher to think that they, that that was a a curse word. Isabel alone time. No! We can't have Isabel alone time. Not yet. I mean, it's a rude word. Crap? But is it a curse word, though? That's different. It's a curse word. What's considered a curse word? I mean, I guess that is pretty subjective, but I guess I've never considered crap to be a curse word. Wow. Look over there. There's a whole bunch of plants that we can gather. At first glance, it may look like ordinary weed just like the rest, but actually it's... Po what is that? Po po How do you say that? Poasi? Poas... Po Poas... Poas... Poasi? Poasi? How do you say that? What is that? How do you pronounce poasi? Po poas poas poet poas poisson <laughs> poisson grass. You say it like this? No. <laughs> um, is it is is it French? I'm always assuming these types of words are. Are French. Po 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 s po s c. That's French, right? Isn't that a name of a character on uh, Orange Is the New Black? It's po po assy po 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 s po s c a po s po s c a. Poas, dude, I have to find, figure out how to say this. We've got to refer to the classification tables so that we make sure we salvage the right plant. I take out my tablet and consult the classification table. 
Bling, 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 bling. Bling, 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 bling. The timer is done. I succeeded. I heard... Uh, I heard, but I think she failed. Nah. -uh. Wait, Julius, what the heck? That's fine. I'll get her again. I was about to say, Mori will always get me, though. Wait, Julius, thank you for the another 50. Damn, that puts you in the, um... The gift card category. Oh, shit. Da, 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 da. Like that will last. Da, ah. Let me move that timer away. What the fuck? Smoke, I was trying to do before the timer ran out, though. Oh, I see what you were trying to do. I see what you were trying to do. Mm hmm. Um, so you'd cuss just like that? <laughs> That would have worked though. That would have worked. Um. Uh, another fifty for cosplay. Don't you do it, Kirk says. Don't do it. I can't work when you keep staring at me. Oh, sorry. It's just that you look so handsome when you're hard at work. Should I avoid looking at you altogether? You don't have to go that far. It's just fine. I'll keep my staring to a minimum. Oh. Are those raptures I'm hearing? Wait, what the fuck? Mori! The fact that we're already in the stretch goals is so funny. No. See, I said small celebration. That's why this celebrate this donathon is significantly smaller than our last subathon. Oh my god, Mori! Wait, you didn't have to do that. Let's go, Mori! Holy shit. Thank you, Mori. Thank you for the dono. I guess we're doing a Nikkei cosplay. You guys better start putting some ideas together for some of these incentives that we um that we're putting that we're putting together. This was supposed to be a small thing. Uh, wait, I didn't even put the fifteen hundred uh thing on there. Oh shit, that was supposed to be the docky art. We getting more wheel spins? No, because it's cumulative. If you already hit the fifty, you only get the one spin. I know, I wanted to. Oh, drink hot sauce on stream? Nope. That's not part of the thing. The, um, the nice cosplay would be Diesel. You know, you said you could pull her off or Maiden. That or uh, Moran. Moran would be really, really easy to do too because I look exactly like her. But if you guys want to, I think Mori, I think you have the option to poll things. If you want to put up a poll in the Donathon uh, channel, you could go put up there and see what people are interested in. Uh, <clears throat> and the thing is, is that if I cosplay, I actually want to get a photographer to take pictures. So, you know, like some of her, um, like some of her art that she has or like cutscenes that she has like in the game. Like I want to do poses with the cosplay. I think that would be kind of cool. That means I got to find like a mock gun, something that I could take pictures with, but, um, but thank you guys so much for getting us all the way to a thousand already. I do have to adjust it so that we add the other goal, but I will have to do that. I don't know. I might have to do that now before I forget. Um, I might have to do this. Oh, shit. And then 1500. And that's going to be the docky art. There we go. Now it's saved. Now we got it. Um, Hardy as Dora would be very interesting, or did I just get a real one? A real one what? I'm not getting a real gun, no. Uh, okay, hello, Lynn. Summer Anise? Bro, let, let's, 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 one thing straight. If I had the freaking tits of Summer Anise, I don't think I'd be streaming. Let's just put it that way. I don't think I'd be streaming. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be for Artie, but I feel like it's a, a bit far. Yeah, no summaries. I'm just saying, if I had summer, if I had summer and used the, the, the trust, trust, 
I'd be using those assets for other things to make some money. <laughs> it's all about the effort. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes you gotta get that bag. And if you have the assets to get that bag, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> I respect the grind. I respect the people that have the assets that so they got to get that bag. That's why, like, I have no shame for people that are, like, strippers, too. Because pole dancing, uh, the stuff that I teach, comes from, you know, strippers. And they got to make that money somehow. So, you know, mad respect to the people that use their bodies for that type of stuff. But, um, I'll put up the ones and add other option, too, in case people aren't feeling anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, don't worry, I'll take care of this. Wait, I can help. Isabel rushes off without paying me any mind. I produce the shovel from my bag. Time to do what we came here to do. Shoveling, shoveling, does whatever a shoveling does. I can't believe I'm already about to graduate. I wonder if I could have them on auto. I think they'll be fine. Uh, using uh, one's body for that isn't much different than using one's body for construction. It's all using your body for money. True. It's just different ways of using your body. If you're building things, because you gotta use your body to move stuff around, um, you know, and if you're, even if it's just like dancing too. People make money from dancing. Sometimes there's cheerleaders. You got cheerleaders for sports teams. They make money by using their bodies by dancing. Some people just look really, really good when they get their pictures taken. That's why we have models. They're using their bodies too. Which is why I always found it interesting that like, there was a stigma when it came to like strippers because they're using like dance, a form of dance and they're using their body to make money. But yet people use their body all the time to make money. It's just different. I don't know. But I will say that I think a lot of the stigma comes from like societal norms too. And societal norms, I think a lot of it was stemmed from like religious stuff at first. Um, and that's why anything that wasn't like inside of like religious views might have been deemed as a different type of societal norm. Um, <clears throat> and that's why I kind of got like a stigma against it, I think. Mm -mm. I'm gonna say D for the cosplay option, but I had two, but the other category is good. Yeah, you can always write in too. If you have different uh, options, you can always write them in the Discord as well. A good mm -mm. Student, let's go. Yeah, Kara Tango Man, I need to go. I'll be back in an hour or two. All good, Reza. All good. I got to say, oh wait, if only if I was Magic Mike. Mm hmm. They all complain until their buddy buys them a dance. Exactly! Uh, exactly! And that's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. That's what I look like, Austin Power shirtless. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. I think part of it is also because of the purpose being viewed as potential sources of temptation. Yeah. Temptation, again, is like, you know, the big no-no for a lot of religious stuff. Is that type of work was considered high society a long time ago? I remember I had to draw Gilgamesh's abs when I cosplayed him before. Hey, look, whatever works. Hey, if you gotta draw on the abs, draw on the abs. <laughs> look, trying to get abs to freaking stand out, that's hard work. That's a lot of hard work. That's a lot of counting calories and making sure that you are deprived of freaking water because you got those things to stick out. I don't blame you for having to draw them on. Two seconds left. Okay. None of that stuff. 
Well, it's also me like way back. I could all it could also cause war. Uh, oh, oh, I see what you mean. I just see what you mean. Mm. Oh, it's not story time? I thought there was gonna be a cutscene for story stuff. What the heck? Damn, they gave me a lot of food. Got pulled away. No, you're good. You were doing the pull stuff. You're fine. This thing takes fucking forever. We still got 40 seconds. Oh shit, wait a minute. Um one second. I need a I need to take this phone call. I'ma let this keep going, but I'm I need to take this. Sorry about that. The threat has been neutralized. I finished collecting samples over on the side too. May I see? Isabel leans in close. Very nice. Not bad for your first time on the job. These are all stellar examples, so we should be good to go. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I'm really happy to be this close to you. Actually, something has been bugging me. Why do you keep calling me darling? That's because the first time I saw you, you were so lovely. I was flying in the sky and saw you on the ground camping with other Nikkeis. There was something about you that I found so endearing. I started to imagine you treating me the way you treated them and what that would be like. If it hadn't been for that tiff you and Eden ha you and Eden have over the Vop House, I'd have expressed my feelings a little sooner. So, would you like to go on another mission sometime, just you and me? I just want to be near you a little longer. Okay. Thank you, darling. You won't regret it. Isabel and I return to base. I can't fight the feeling that she's undressing me with her eyes the entire way. Hmm. You got the samples you wanted. You did well. They're in pristine condition. Are you going to be planting them in the garden? Yes. We'll also be using them for some genetic crossbreeding. At the end of the day, Eden is located in the middle of a wasteland. In order to retain a semblance of biodiversity, we need to continually develop viable crops. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to have a taste when they're done. 
If you're still here when we're finished, certainly. You can sample as many as you like. Oh, that reminds me. Isabel said she wanted to continue working with you. Are you okay with that? Uh, I'm fine with it. That's unexpected. I thought it was another one of Isabel's delusions. At any rate, I don't care so as long as the mission is accomplished. Get some rest in the meantime. I'll be in touch. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm not getting really not getting really good news about my doctor's visit the other day, so um I thought we would be getting some better news than that, but it is what it is. Alright. We've got an emergency. We are detecting nine raptures at this location. At the current speed, they'll reach the base in 15 minutes and 33 seconds. Oh well, it's been a hot minute since they came this close. Isn't the base concealed using optical camouflage? That's right, but optical camouflage is not a physical barrier. It's merely a curtain that keeps the base invisible to the naked eye. Although it doesn't happen often, there have been occasions where raptors accidentally walk through the curtain. It's a bit of a headache, but whenever that happens, someone needs to go and take care of them. So who's up this time? I'm busy developing a new essence. Sorry, I got my hands full with some personal errands. Noah and I are in the middle of an operation. Hardy, you seem to be free. Yes? What about Isabel? She's out on patrol. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm at the base. Did you have to cut your mission short? No. Then report in. NP. Confirm what's going on with Isabel. Did you finish your patrol? More or less. Still got a few places to scope out, but I'll be done in about 10 minutes, so it's all good. 
Can someone just hurry up and go? It doesn't matter who. If any raptors end up trampling on the garden I've spent so much time on, you'll all be very, very sorry. Isabel and I will go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, um. I will move as you wish. I feel like this kind of is doing like Isabelle's Bond story. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Very well. Step back. Woo! I was hoping that with uh, all the medication and stuff that they were giving me, that it would have helped, but I guess not. So now we're gonna have to do some more tests. Seen them, right? It is time to show the magic. Oh, maybe at the end. I think that just about does it. Nicely done. Thanks. I was just happy to get another chance to work with you. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Why are you so fond of me? Did you need a specific reason to like someone? We've only just met. It's not about how long you've known someone. The time I've spent with you at the base has brought me closer to you than I am with anyone else. I think back on everything that's happened between us during my time at Eden. We literally did nothing. Oh, don't mind me. I just came to bring you some towels. You mean stealing glances at me day in and day out? That too. I also derived a great deal of pleasure from watch- What? I derived a great deal of pleasure from watching you sleep in the mornings. That... That... So she's watching me sleep? You didn't have your guard up then and you were so adorable? What? Isabel, if you want to express your feelings, there are better ways of doing it than that. Like, for example, telling someone to their face that you like them. Sure, but what about when you're busy doing something else? What do I do then? Uh, you can... I pull out a small postcard from my pocket. What's that? It's a postcard. A postcard? What do you use it for? There are lots of ways to use it, but many people use them to write to people close to them. Do you have someone precious? 
Someone you want to send a postcard to? That's a secret. Oh, I see. Can I have that postcard? If you need it. Thank you. It's my first time receiving something like this. Hi, Armada. Good morning. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I know that there have been, like, some very, very, like, Viper, for instance, is very, very, like, pushy with some of her, like, fondness of the commander. Then again, I haven't done everyone's Bond story, so I can't say much. I can't say much, and I'm sure there's others out there. But this one legitimately felt creepy to me. Hi, Kitsune. How you doing? Watching me sleep? A job well done. Not a single rapture set foot in my garden. Johan, just to be safe, will you recheck our defenses in the nearby area? I don't want another repeat of an event like this. Hi, Oreo! How's your headache? I've already checked. What are these defenses you're talking about? We've laid out turrets, decoys, traps, and various electronic anti-personal devices throughout a several kilometer perimeter surrounding Eden. To ensure all these devices operate smoothly, we have breaker boxes installed on the roads in intervals. Sounds damn near impenetrable. You bet. We're a large human colony up on the surface and we're badly exposed. We're talking about a place where running into a rapture is a virtual certainty after less than an hour. Getting through a single day alive up here is a Herculean effect effort. Any <clears throat> anyway, Isabel has been acting strange ever since you went off on that mission with you. Did something happen while you were out there? I gave her a postcard. A postcard? I can't say I fully understand why she's why'd she be so broken up over a mere postcard. I'd appreciate it if you could see how she's holding it before you return to the art. You're better at these things than me. I'll try. Thanks. I'll call you again if anything comes up. Take it easy. <gasps> that fucking Johan coming into my DMs, man. I, look, we already broken up, okay? I, I'm back with Anderson. I don't need you coming into my DMs. Cecil can probably see this shit. Like, I, I need you to not, I need you to not hop into my DMs though. Ow, thank you for my candy. That is a fair reaction when it comes to Isabel. There's something on so many levels. My body really hates me for being only mid tw mid twenties. You're talking about mid twenties. How do you think I feel? I'm in grandma status. I'm like 50 times older than anyone that's in their twenties. Oh my god. All of you youngins in your 20s are like, my body! And I'm like, okay. <laughs> already, already here, like, that's 10th of my age. <laughs> Who's older, leader or already? Me! I'm older. I already have in my freaking Discord status that I'm a freaking granny coded. 1900s ass streamer is crazy. You know what? I'm gonna change that. Anytime I do my introduction, I'll be like, Hi, my name is Artemis. You can also call me Artie. I'm a streamer from the 1900s. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm only 26 and I'm already a great uncle. What? So Caleb of older women, a thousand years old, 50 times 20, let's go. Do you fear how your body feels depends on a lot of you exercise or not? I'll tell you this right now. I do exercise, okay? I teach classes, right? So I exercise a lot. It still hurts. <laughs> oh, hello, Katie, the name is Artie. What was it like to fight in the Civil War? It was ass, I'll tell you that right now. We said the 1900s is a quarter century ago. I don't, I just. You know, when they talk about like how Final Fantasy X, like for me, Final Fantasy X came out like eight years ago. Final Fantasy X is like over 20 years. And I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't need that reminder. I don't need that reminder that that game is that old because I feel like it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Uh, I swore. 
I mean, that's different. The timer is up. Uh, so that's why you're so cool. You're, I'm a cool granny. I always say that I'm like the cool aunt. Like, even to like my goddaughters, like I, I am the cool aunt. I let them do all of the things, but at the same time, if they fuck up, I will tell them that they fuck up and I will reprimand. But I always feel like I'm the cool aunt that always just has a glass of wine at the family gatherings and stuff like that. You get back spasms, egg pain, and migraines every other day. Have you got that checked out? <laughs> You're having it that often. Holy crap. Um, am I hurting? That's from all this age talk. I'm in my 20s and I feel old. Yeah, all of you guys that are in your 20s have no room to talk. Wait till you get to your 30s. <laughs> Uh, things uh, that came out when I was in college are over 20 years old. That's fucking insane. This shit feels like a couple years ago. I'm imagining those cracking sounds you hate hearing while you're doing your exercises. Surprisingly, um, both of my hips do pop really, really loudly when I'm stretching. Um, they don't crackle like that, like the one sound from the like the bones breaking in this game. But goddamn, they are very, very audible. They are very, very audible. Like, you can hear that. And my shoulders, holy shit. My shoulders are so bad. I am right now sitting with three lidocaine patches on each of my shoulders. My shoulders are so fucked up. Um, I get pains, but that's very predictable because of what I do. That's true. Uh, 20s feel old, how? I tried, but I lost my other insurance because America. Ugh, I am so sorry. I told me yesterday that in 23 years I'll be eligible for a senior citizen discount. <gasps> Wait, how old do you have to be in the states to get a senior citizen discount? Like 60 something? I'm 26, and I hate that now kids see me and call me sir. Hmm. 62, 65, 6. Okay, so in the 60s basically. So 60s for a senior citizen discount. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a lot closer to that than I, uh, uh, that's weird to say too. Fuck. I'm a lot closer to getting my freaking senior citizen discount. At 60 oh, in the Philippines, stop making me feel ancient. I get mistaken for high school or that happens sometimes. Something came up, we need your help. Where do you need me? The rooftop, where else? You're in big trouble. The rooftop is perfect for a royal rumble. He doesn't have a rooftop. Proceed to these coordinates. By myself? That's right. It's gonna be a showdown. Mono y mano. Can I come watch? Darling, do you need my help? I could drop bricks down from the sky. You idiot. Do you want to kill Johan? If that's what must <laughs> if that is what I must do to protect my love, I will gladly accept his blood on my hands. What the fuck? Isabel, relax! Uh, bring your squad with you. We're going to need as much manpower as we can get. Where are we going? I will fill you in when you get here. This sounds like it's gonna be interesting. He may not look like much, but he has guts. This won't be an easy fight. Not even for you, Johan. You'll have to keep your wits about you. Nobody's fighting anyone. You're not scared, are you? No. Then why did you change the rendezvous point at the rooftop to somewhere else? I never asked them to come to the rooftop in the first place. How many rounds do you have to win to emerge victorious? Just one round would be a bit boring. I told you we're not fighting. Darling, I got a spare stun gun that you can borrow. Johan's weak point is the upper part of his neck. Aim for that and he'll go dead. Why does she know this? Dude, she's diabolical. Don't broadcast your own side's weaknesses for all to hear. Do you need a referee? No. Are you going to use your special move? I don't have a special move. You take things awfully little, really. I'll be waiting. Bro, this is the funniest interaction ever. <laughs> what the fuck? She's gonna drop bricks from the sky. She's gonna freaking use a stun gun on the top of his neck. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're already here. What the fuck? Dun, 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 bam, bam. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Very well. Moving out. Isabel is a helpful yonder day. Dude, she's scary. 
Next she'll be like, here's a picture of him in a high school? What the fuck? I didn't realize I was watching such a hip and spry older woman. Awesome. <laughs> they want to see him fail? Dude, I'm just... I mean, I get the group wants to see him fail, but like, Isabel is just a whole nother like, level of scary though. About time you showed up. Let's go. Where are we going? To Eden's external generator. It's been acting up and needs to be fixed. Why did you call all us? Because your commander has a knack for machinery. It'll be easier to have him handle it than fix it myself. As for the rest of you, you're our bodyguards. Oh, great. Another lesson in machinery. That's right. Fine by me. Let's go. Wow. Commander's really chomping at the bit. I do have one question. Judging from Eden's scale, self-generating power would seem sufficient. What is the purpose of having an external generator? A backup in case of emergency. An emergency like what? Let's move. Okay. A moment later... Arriving at court, <coughs> arriving at coordinates. Also, a visual confirmation on raptures up ahead. I figured as much. The raptures are the problem. I don't see any generator. It's a subterranean generator. If I were to hazard a guess, I'd say too many raptures have gathered on top of it, and all that weight is causing issues. But why would save the questions for later? Let's wipe out these raptures. Man, fucking Johan, you want us to do all this shit, but you're not gonna tell us what for? This will be finished soon. You can rest for a moment. Yeah, auto. Okay, yeah. Defeat Johan and assume control of the Inherent Squad. I mean, I feel like I don't even need to defeat him. I feel like if I were to ask, I think the only person that might say no is like Cecil, even though she's not really part of the Inherent Squad, but. I feel like everyone would say yes. I would just have to ask. Everything under the light of the kingdom. Your eyes of what a student can do. You know how it looks sinister? I'm reading the hair drop strip in is basically like reading a villain bio. He does look kind of sinister. I think Johannes is soon the day. You know, I. You know what? I agree. I agree. I had to think about it for a second, but like, when the, the way that he was like kind of being like nice to us too, and like teaching us about the machinery or like the cannons and stuff. I 100% could see that. Isabel would back you up instantly. Noah wouldn't follow an imposter. But do you think that, like, now that she's made friends with Neon, she wouldn't want to, you know, she does. You don't think that she'd be a part of the um, squad with us? Highlight. How was work? Are you done with work? I saw your message before a stream and you were like, I just want to be done. <laughs> work would have been okay. <gasps> you injured yourself, Light. That's unacceptable. Are you okay though? Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, your finger is fucked? What the hell? Did you get it like smashed in something? Ain't no way. You still kept working after you fucked up your finger. Did you at least get it seen? I need more lemonade. I'm out of the lemonade. Some duct tape on your finger and it's like keep working. That's insane. I would be like, nah, I gotta go home for like a week. I can't work. My finger's fucked up. Mm 
Now we need to cut the finger. Ah, oh, shit. Light's about to freaking get his finger amputated. I looked at his finger and went, congrats, welcome to the assassins. Oh shit, isn't that the ring, is it the ring finger or the middle finger that they would cut off for the um, an Assassin's Creed? It was ring finger, right? Yeah, ring finger and assassin. Okay, I guess what that. There should be something below your feet. After sweeping the ground with my feet, I can feel something. Got it. Check to see if there's enough space to put your hand through. I look down at the ground and see a gap. It's big enough for both my hands to go through. There is. Good. Put your hand in there and then yank back hard. I put my hand in the gap and pull. It feels like something is popping loose. The fuck? There's a resounding boom and a hole opens in the ground. There are stairs leading below ground. Stairs? Go down. The generator is at the bottom. A moment later, we descend the stairs and find ourselves in a large space full of machinery. The machinery is all whirring, resulting in a cacophony of noise. You call this a generator? You sure it isn't a power plant? I have never seen a generator this huge. Oh, my ears are starting to hurt from all that noise. Johan, what on earth is this place? We've got six areas that need repairing. I'll show you how to do the first one. What the fuck? Thank you for head pats. After that, you do the next one while I supervise. After that, we'll split up to fix the rest. How come you have such a gargantuan subterranean facility? Haven't we already covered this? It's a backup. You say that, but this thing is massive. Enough talking. Let's get these repairs out of the way. One hour later... Hmm, you were a bit faster than me on that last one. Very impressive. Are you going to tell me that this place- what this place is really for, or what? Eden is not just a residential facility. It has offensive capabilities as well. Featuring bait and switch tactics. Bait and switch? That's right. When the time is right, we'll pull out the bait, wait for the enemy to come close, and then clamp down on them. This place is for what- for when we spring the trap. There was something that caught my eye when we first came to Eden. The top looks like- that's enough questions. When the time is right, I'll let you all- Oh. I'll let you know all you need to know. This place seems pretty important. It's extremely important. If that's true, why are you letting us see it? During the worst case scenario, if it happens. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So you made it back all right? Good job. Who won? I won. Really? Yeah, Johan was a pushover. No way! You're the coolest, babe. We didn't fight. Anyway, that was rather unexpected. What possessed you to show them that place? I was thinking about what would be the worst case scenario. You seem to have a lot of faith in this bunch. Perhaps. It's refreshing. It's nice to know you're capable of trust follower. I realize this may not need to be pointed out, but don't disappoint us. Our trust is not something that's easily given. Understood. Good. Enjoy your downtime. Ah. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Um, okay. That was the Eden one. I think that was all of the Eden one. Alright, cool. I thought the reason he commanded to go with the machines because he used to... Oh, what? God damn it, Mori. Um... I didn't jump back too fast, caught my finger, and smashed my index finger against the metal door. Ow! At least you didn't break it? I'm hoping? Save my candy! 
Um, let's go back down. I'm trying to fucking catch up on chat because I was reading all of that shit, and I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> um, yeah, we hit the cosplay mark, and I think Mori put up a poll in the Discord, uh, in the Donathon channel for you guys to vote, and if you guys don't like the options, you can always write in what your recommendations are, but I am trying to see if I can get a cosplay done and then also get, like, good photos. So that I can also just, like, post really, really good photos. She's an uh, OG type of Sunday. Oh, Yunma? Oh, absolutely. It was nice to kind of see her soft side during the one, um... Uh, what was it? Was it the last chapter that we were with them? And then, like, we had, like, the big, like, heart-to-heart -heart with, uh, with Absolute. No! No, 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 it was when we did the mind map. It was the mind map that we did that. Um, and we got to see, like, a different side of her. A side of her where she, like, actually cared. Um. I didn't want to use my complain. Basically, that whole, oh, I can't just only meet you because you like her. Hold on. I like how we're at $1,600 from Mori. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, surprise, uh, I'm surprised a tattoo before cosplay. Um, because the thing about cosplay is like, if there isn't something that I can just buy online, I would have to get it made. Or I would have to make it. So if there isn't like an easy one that I can buy online, I'm gonna have to spend money to actually get it made. So that's why I put it a little bit higher on the list because if I do have to get it made or even like customized or something, um, I might have to take some of the some of the donos and help out with that. But tattoos, not too bad. It's really not that expensive, especially for what I'm trying to get. And I'm really, really close with my tattoo artist, and she gives me freebies all the time, so. Um, but. You can see Mori licking Yuno's forehead. Oh yeah, we know. Um, all right, which one would you like to me to do next? Did we say, you said something about central government, right? Or would you like me to do the coin rush one? Oh, uh, the anime's really rare to see on Yuno. I really liked it. She's doing it because she doesn't like showing outward emotion. That's like me. I don't like to show outward emotion. Cafe Sweetie? Cafe Sweetie? That one? Okay. Um, hold on one second. Let me grab some more water before we start this. You better recognize they don't give a care about the city of life before the blight. You better hide. Okay, um, so I poured water into a cup to drink it, and as I was about to drink, there was a bug inside of it. So, I am now, um, waiting for my water filter to fill back up, and in the meantime, I have some, uh, peach, 
soju that I will be drinking instead until uh, until my water, my Brita water filter is um, back up. So, so yeah, I now have the straw inside of the bottle, and uh, we're just gonna be taking sips from that. So. Uh, I can see now Artie is looking epic on the pole and then someone spots the Doro and true love sparks. What? You think that's how that works? So when's the spider showing up? I don't know. This place is freaking riddled with bugs. Like, I got spiders. I got a bug in my cup. I got also fucking, I don't know. Uh, I'd be done with water for the night. That's what I said. I said that cup is going straight to the dishwasher and then the I, there's another cup that I pulled out and made sure there was no bug in it. And I'm waiting for my water filter to fill back up. In the meantime, we drink soju with a straw from the bottle, so. Mm. Your filter is not filtering. I think it was the bug was already inside of the cup. I don't think it came from the filter. Um, Cause that shit just like use freaking I don't know it was floating right at the top and it didn't look very like soaked uh would drinking bug give you superpowers um I I don't think so I don't think it would give me superpowers um I mean I do love Doros <laughs> AC not working bugs everywhere thin walls uh I mean this place is old this place was built back in the 70s um, but for the area that I live in, it's it's very affordable. It's very spacious. Um, <coughs> like the office that I have, like where I have all of my streaming stuff, they don't count it as an extra room, even though it's an extra room. So I got pretty lucky that they don't count this place as an office just because it doesn't have a door that's on a hinge. So I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. But <laughs> already made herself a protein shake? Ew. Ew. We do have bugs here, but all the geckos eat them. I would love to have geckos. Mm. No, my dog, he wouldn't freaking. He would try to eat them, but like, he's not fast enough. I live in a cardboard box. That's a pretty expensive cardboard box. What the fuck? As long as it ain't roaches, uh, spiders are chill. Yeah, usually I don't touch the spiders, but unless it's in my cup that I'm drinking in, then sorry, you're gonna have to get fucking flushed. Um, the RE7 DLC type of protein, eating bugs to heal yourself. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I'm so jealous of your cardboard house. Don't be, because this shit cost me $2,600 a month. That's that, you don't be jealous of that at all. Uh, the geckos keep trying to sell me insurance. The only house uh, I got, the only house I got is my blanket. Oh, at least I hope it's a comfy blanket though. I have spiders and I leave them alone. Whenever I see a random dead cockroach on the floor, I know that they paid rent. Ooh, I wish I had spiders as freaking that would do that type of work though. I'm not gonna lie, when I lived in uh, when I lived in Hawaii, um, the cockroaches are aggressive. They are aggressive, man. They will always fly straight towards your face. It's like they see you screaming and they see that your mouth is open from screaming and they try to fly straight into your mouth. It's disgusting. They're so fucking aggressive, I hate them. Yuck. Yes, $2,600. It's a premium class blanket that costs more than 26. Holy shit. The spiders and I have a treaty. If they come too close, they get a verbal warning. Ooh. If they violate it, then it's death. So that's why you got three jobs. I have two, but one of them is not really anything that helps. I mean, it kind of helps pay for like the utilities, but it's more of a passion project than it is like a job because the teaching stuff I actually enjoy. My desk job, not so much. Does that pay a lot of the bills? Absolutely. Um, but the teaching thing is something that I've enjoyed even before I lived here. So, yeah. Even before I lived in this expensive place, like, it was still something that I enjoyed doing. Um, they'll take your food straight from your hands. Wait, what are you talking about? The cockroaches? They want to be eaten? Ew! Ew! Um, I got Texas cockroaches whenever I see one. Uh, it's always a life and death situation because they are huge. They do! The fact that they fly should be illegal. I don't care what anyone says. Cockroaches should not have wings. 
That is illegal, and they should not be able to fly, especially when they can navigate and try to go straight to your face. And they make such a mess when they squish. Uh, I don't even want. Uh, that's gross. Look, trying to enter your mouth like Attack on Titan. Yeah, the roach is, is already teaching uh, Dono Goal. It is. It's the. Um, it hasn't like. Uh, if you type in exclamation Dono, it'll show you the incentives. Uh, but at the 2000 mark, I have to give a pole dancing lesson in an inflatable dino suit. So that's a thing. Um, God needs to nerf the cockroach meta. Crunching noises when you step on one. Ugh. But the thing too is like, sometimes they just don't die. Like you still crunch on them and they still scurry around the ground. And now you have like half of their guts on the floor and now they're dragging their guts across the floor. And you're like, Ugh. Something I learned the hard way is to never squish a fucking bug. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I try not to, but. Um, I need the Nikkei crunch sound effect for a uh, cockroach squish. What if there's a Nikkei with a cockroach DNA mixed into it? Ew. Ew. Yee. Ace. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for the biddies. Holy shit. Thank you. How are the side stories coming along? Uh, they're going good. We're trying to do a lot of catch up. We are getting distracted talking about cockroaches. <laughs> um. Uh, I wanted to see you teach, did not expect the dino suit. Here's the thing. Um, it's a, it's gonna be comical with the dino suit. The only problem is, is the only reason why I don't show anything that's related to pole dancing, expect, except when I was in the maid outfit from last year's subathon, is that with pole dancing, you don't wear a lot of clothes. And I don't need that type of stuff on the internet. So... That's why I have the dino suit, because the dino suit's gonna be funny trying to teach it. Because you're supposed to have less clothes when you teach pole dancing. Um, if you have clothes on, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of stuff on the pole. But, uh, get a nice clean uh, pot from a palmetto bug. Ew! Um, I have to say that I don't think I've ever seen any type of roaches. And pray that you don't ever in your entire life, ever, especially a flying one. You don't want to see those. Um, like yesterday for me, when I tried to shower, stomped on it, still tried to get away, slammed my feet several times, and stood on it, still jumped around, literally used chemical warfare. Had enough life to try to kill me one last time. Ugh. And cockroaches are such a fascinating creature. Fascinating, Armada, please. <laughs> Don't you need to grip with your skin? Yes, that's why we don't wear a lot of clothes. That's why it's gonna be funny when I try to do this in a freaking dino suit and eight inch platform heels. That should be really fun. Mm -mm. Uh, dino suit with uh, free legs so you can do more stuff on the pole. Well, I'm gonna be wearing the shoes and I'm wondering if the shoes will help at all. Um, if I need to like roll it up so that like, <laughs> this is what I'm imagining. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, hold on, I gotta see if I can. This is what I'm imagining if I were to try to roll it up. So if I have the dino suit, right? Um, here, like this. Here's the dino suit, right? Here's the big tail, like that. Usually like the dino suit like has like the feet and then like you wear the suit, right? I like this type of stuff. But, but, I was trying to see if there was a way that I could roll up the bottom so that like it would stay, hold on, it would stay like this, right? And then you would just have like my feet just like sticking out like little chicken legs. <laughs> and then because I have the, the big like eight inch heels, um, it would be like these big ass heels like this and so then you would have like these freaking big ass heels and like my little chicken ass legs <laughs> and you would just have this <laughs> i don't know if i can though i think because it's inflatable like i have to wear the legs but i don't know i was gonna see if i could try to do that uh the yeah, the dino got a sniff of Literal decapitation of her dino. I hope you can roll that dino suit up. The image is amazing. This is what I'm going to try to shoot for. Any male T-Rex seeing that would find this out. <laughs> it would be a sexy dino. 
Yeah, so this is what we're aiming for. This is what we're aiming for. And then like me, here's like the pole, right? So then the pole would be here. And I'd be in like these eight inch heels, just dancing around, uh, giving a lesson, I'm sorry, giving a lesson in a dino suit, uh, doing this stuff, so. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Do you need to do specific type of pole maintenance? What do you mean by pole maintenance? Uh, dinosonly.com. I just imagine Artie stream silently strutting towards the camera in her dino suit with the sound of her heels clapping against the floor. Um, the thing is, is that this, this video that I'm doing is gonna be a video that I pre-record and I'm gonna have to post onto like YouTube and like, I don't know, TikTok and like Twitter and the Discord and for your viewing pleasure. Um, I don't think it's something that I can do from my computer and stream it. Because the way where my office is and where my pole is in my apartment, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna have the reach for it. So it might have to be a pre-recorded thing, but still something that I would have to do. Just look that nobody comes into the room while you're doing this or you need to explain. I live by myself. The only person that I'd have to explain it to is my dog and he don't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, do you do anything to make the pole more gripper, or is it just made like that? Oh, uh, we have resin or like tack um, that you can put on your hands. Also, cleaning the pole with Windex actually helps make it so that you can uh, hold on to it better. So having a nice clean um, pole and then also using tack or resin will help with that. Um, I put up a video on YouTube, a lady pulling in a dino suit. She has her feet sticking out of the bottom of the suit and it's still inflated. Okay, perfect. Then that's probably what we're gonna do. Imagine if the day you were doing this, the day your neighbors decide to check on you. I'm not opening the door. They, we can correspond through a closed door. They can ask if I'm doing okay, and I will yell back that I am just fine. <laughs> I swear I've seen a video of that with the green dino suit and black boots maybe like three years ago. I've never seen it. I'll have to give it a look. But um, them dinosaurs were freaky back then. People judging you and look at you weirdly. He does that all the time already. He already judges me. He always gives me the freaking side eye. My dog doesn't let me live my life. He always judges me. <laughs> Can we get a punishment result where Artie has to knock on a neighbor's door in that T-Rex suit? Wow. Wow. Um, if we go past the stretch goals, uh, we can always make more goals and yeah, we can we can always make more if we go past the ones that we have. We're gonna get so many dino rars. Dino rars. So yeah, this is the goal of what I'm gonna try to do. Is this. And the thing is, is that I'm going to teach a lesson and then I'm going to perform it. So, like I normally do for my classes, whenever we go through a sequence, I always like teach it and break it down. And then we put it all together at the end of class and we put it to some music. And then we do our little dance and we do our little sequence. So that's what I'm gonna do in the video. Type of thing. I'm basically just giving a class like what I normally teach is what I'm gonna video and I'm gonna have to post. Um, imagine doing your partner in a dino suit. I'm sure people have. I'm sure people have. Already doing Mustangs Dangies in the dino suit. I would have to study. I would need to study for that dance. All right, let's do the Cafe Sweetie side quest. Partner, can you take care of the debris or raptors on this road for me? These are the coordinates. Sugar told me to relay the message. Wait, just a sec. She's in the middle of a delivery. If there are any obstacles on the road, it'll delay her. She wants you to get rid of it. I still don't think I fully understand the situation. What don't you understand? How come you're telling me this and not Sugar? That's because Sugar's driving right now. Freema and I are riding behind. That sounds kind of dangerous. Don't worry, we do this all the time. What's Freema doing? Sleeping. Wait, what? For being on the back of a speeding motorcycle, you seem very relaxed. Hm. Anyway, I'll leave the raptors to you. What the fuck? Is she sleeping and driving? When you record it, be as serious as possible. Oh, 100%. It's gonna be like me, like I am actually teaching class. And like, even though we have fun in class, like I'm still gonna try to do it so that I am like in teacher mode type of thing. Wait, where are the, do I have to go back up? I'll follow you closely, teacher. Are they back up on the surface? 
They have to be, because we're underground. I will move as you wish. When you were recording, I just found out with an inflatable Patrick suit and uh, big thigh boots. Isn't that like already a meme? Didn't they make that a meme? Or that is a thing? Where's the... Where the fuck are they? Oh my god, they're all the way over there. She's sleeping and riding? Oh, okay, okay. Um, Sensei Artie for real. Teacher Artie, bonus teaching uh, session of Marciana's gotcha costume. Uh, uh, maybe? I don't think Sugar would let anyone else drive her ride. Coming. Especially if it's someone that's sleeping. That'd be kind of teacher. insane. How come Nikkei's from Cafe Sweetie are always racing back and forth? It's because they're making deliveries, but to still be doing that at a time like this, they're more like a delivery service than the scavengers. Is it allowed for three people to be on the same motorcycle? Nope. So it's illegal? I'll report them. Commander, we've arrived at the location. Look at these supply boxes. I'm detecting raptors in the vicinity. No surprise there. Commander, if we engage, there's a high chance the boxes will be damaged. Can you ask if that's permissible? Will do. There are boxes piled up here. Can we get rid of them? No. Okay, it's a no-go. <laughs> and that came from Freema? Roger. Let's try and be circ- Oh. Let's try and be circumspect during this altercation. I'm not sure if I can do that. Then just stick to being circumspect. Hey, shouldn't you be asking me why I'm not confident? It doesn't take a genius to know that you just prattle on about your firepower being too potent or something along those lines. <gasps> Damn. Oh, I'm you posted the Patrick thing in the media. The I got you. Oh, I have seen that one. Oh, okay, so she's got, but she's got thigh high boots. Oh, maybe that's what I need to get. If I got some thigh high boots like that, then I'd definitely be able to stick, especially if they're leather or like pleather. Hmm, I gotta look into those. Cause then maybe I can do more dino suit stuff if I have the right type of shoes. I remember something about there being a maid arty you show during the subathon or are the voices in my head gaslighting me again? Yes, that was last year. Last year to celebrate my uh my one year of streaming and my debut of this model, I did a subathon. And yes, there was um there was a picture of me in my maid outfit, um, with my pole shoes, and I think uh, there was also one of me like doing a pole sit while in the maid outfit. Yes, but I have since closed that channel. I didn't delete it. I've just closed off the channel, so you guys can't find it. <laughs> The people demand access to the channel. Who is the people? Are you? <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it just, yes. Mm -mm, Sag, pole dancing is really cool to me. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Also doing my aerial circus stuff is a ton of fun. Like I said, it's more of a passion project, these things, than it is like work, but it's just, I think it's a bonus that we do get paid, right? For teaching these things, but it's my, it's my way of just, if I need to de-stress. I haven't been able to go like to the gym and lift really heavy, but going to the studio and being able to do that stuff has been a lot of fun, but. Uh, made already debut when? Um, as in like a model or like art because you guys still have to pick a recommendation of what you guys want for my next illustration i need ideas of what you want drawn just mm -hmm. yes, we the chatters it's in my head rent free so i still see it when i close my eyes jesus christ 
Probably have it like seared in your brain. If I get a back spasm on the pole, I would literally just fall and die. Um, I mean, you can have mats, like crash pads, at the bottom of the pole. And also, you don't have to go very high. I know there's some studios that have super high poles, but those are more for like the advanced, because you have to do a lot of climbing. But the stuff that I teach, we kind of keep it low to the ground. Um, but if I'm doing like my own training, like I'll do stuff like higher up. Hi, Jen. I do have a lot of sticky notes. Honestly, a military version of already does sound interesting. Well, I kind of put a little bit of military like in this model, like I'm wearing cargo pants, like my green freaking cargo pants and boots. So like there is a little bit of touch of like military, but the top is not so much military. So I'm pretty sure if I were to wear this top, it would not fly. Hi, Yame. <gasps> Thank you for a full two Happy years. Two years uh, let's go. A full two years, 24 months to be precise. Do you have the uh, founder's badge? You do have the founder's badge. I was about to say. I was like, you were one of the OGs. You were here from the beginning. Um, Can't see them most of the time. That's true. Cargo pants and military. Damn, everyone who goes to see Home Depot must be vets. A true debt. I mean, a lot of people, I see a lot of people takes, I mean, thrift stores have a lot of old military uniforms, so, um, I know a lot of people will wear that stuff. Could it be a great distraction for the enemy? Probably. All right, all done. Uh, hey, guys? I see something in the road, and it's coming right at us. Did we finish the Spyro Trilogy? Did we finish the Spyro Trilogy? Uh, two years ago we did. <laughs> two years ago we finished the fucking Spyro Trilogy. Um, I look at where Neon is pointing and see Black Typhoon barreling towards us at mock speed. Oh. Angle is good. Keep going straight. Okay. Before we even have time to properly register it, Black Typhoon has already sped past us. The pile of boxes has also vanished. Did they just grab those while going past us? I think so. Did we just aid and abet active criminals? No, of course not. At least, I don't think so. Ooh, are we criminals now? We are widowy, the best criminals of all of the outpost and all of the arc. Milk sent a gift. Partner, thanks for helping us carry out that delivery. That's from Sugar. What was in the boxes? Actually, I'm not so sure myself. Hey, Prima. Prima! What? Help me see what I typed earlier. Can't scroll. Too lazy. We're crying out loud. What was that delivery we just made? Medicine. What kind of medicine? Medical supplies. Okay. Central government shelter. Oh, sorry. It's still Prima. <clears throat> Central government shelter. Missiles. Central government requested the delivery of medical supplies to the Missilis Medical Center. I see. More requests. Good job. You too. She's so EB. Okay. Oh, there's only one of that one? Yes, I'm doing side stories because I'm trying to prevent a reptilian incident where we have to go through all of this stuff. So, we're catching up on a lot of it now. Da -da. I think, wait, that reminds me, I think you might play Lollipop Chainsaw Repo on Street or in general. I have no idea what that is. Lollipop Chainsaw? What is that? Lollipop Chainsaw? What? It came out. It came out two days ago? What is this game? An old game with the remastered release? Cheerleader with a chainsaw murdering zombies with good humor? Oh, it came out like 2012? Yeah, the remaster came out, I guess, two days ago. It said September 12th. Uh, 
interesting. Um, maybe we give that a, a look-see uh, when I come back from TwitchCon. Yeah, since I'm going to be gone next week, um, we'll add that. Can you... If it, I, I mean, I'm gonna forget. Can you add it to the the recommend games channel on the Discord? Because I know I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna be like, there's a lollipop game, and I'm gonna find something and be like, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> but yeah, put it in the channel, and then um, so then I can I always look back at that and try to scroll if I need to. Yeah, we'll add that to the list. Um, okay. We did, uh, we did Cafe Sweetie. Which one uh, where should we do next? We have all of these new ones, and then we also have some of the ones that we started but need to finish. So here's like the Justin one, Music Lover, Jennifer, and then I think Stationery Store. Where in the Discord? It's a recommended games channel. To me, that game looks like a Dead Rising game but with a lot of hot cheerleader instead. Okay, okay. Yeah, for the masses. We'll do it for the masses. Uh, Talentum? 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 Oh, I literally had my mouse on it. Um, evening! I did the recollection of Lost Paradise and now I feel sorry for Dorothy. You did the recollection of Lost Paradise? Have I done that one? Have I done- I haven't done Lost Paradise, have I? Wait, Lost Paradise? What is Lost Paradise? Is that an archive of it? Or is that the side story? No, that's not the side story. I don't remember anymore. Goldfish brain. Um, I'm also as confused at what they mean. What is Lost Paradise? Lost Paradise is an archive of it? Bond story? Probably, unless it's over zone. I just want to make sure. Already, there's over zone. Cherry blossom, outsiders, made in Valentine. School of rock, brand new year, high tech toy, golden ship. Dazzling Cupid. AC Poo. Oh, over. Oh, 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 okay. No, you're good. I, w I think. <laughs> I think everyone was like, wait, did we miss something? <laughs> I think we were all the confusion. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, White Memory was Overzone. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, Overzone is really good, though. Let me grab all this stuff because I'm here. I might as well- ah, fuck. Da -da -da. Upgrade. Anything up there? Yes. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't think we have... I think I might be close to leveling these guys up. Ah, we're really close. Hold on. Let me open some boxes. Enhance! Hey! How much are we short? 5k? 6k? Um, that. I don't think we have any more boxes besides that one. We're at 220, 224. Nice. And then we're so close. We're so close with Guilty. We're so fucking close. Recruit an Ike and enhance equipment three times. Oh, we can do that. <gasps> I'm 100 away. I'm 100 away. Let me go enhance equipment. I might be able to do it. Mm. Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Hold on. What piece of equipment can I upgrade? Who has the lowest... Oh, 
Ooh, I am starting to level up um, Killer Wife, though. In case I need to switch her out for, like, Doro or something so she can help out Alice. So I am giving her some gear. She has two pieces of OL Gale and she has a purple doll. So we're getting her, and her skills, I think, are at, um, they're at triple sixes. So she, she's slowly getting worked on. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm supposed to upgrade gear. Is there something that I can upgrade? Let me just do this one. <gasps> wait! Oh my god. Um, and the other one was to go... Yeah, two to three days, it seems like. Okay. Hello, Matt. How you doing? All right, let me go see if my friends are a lie. All my friends are a, a lie! Okay. All right, that takes care of that. So I could go back. Uh, wait. This. Does this still give me 40 points? So that's completed. All right, so now if I were to do, so tomorrow's though, tomorrow's reset should give me an unlock for a guilty, right? Um, You can reset the small challenges until you get a gold in case you want to save resources. Like these ones? Like reset these ones? So, hold on, that says 10, 30, and 20. Yeah, it's hard, to, it's hard to see where you currently are. I am, I am 60 points away. I am 60 points away from unlocking Guilty. I get six chances per day. Oh, so you're saying that I could unlock her today? If I were just to refresh this stuff? Um... Sixty to day, so you can give each one a reset. Good. Yes. Okay. The probability info. God, there's even probability on this. Confirm. Clear interception one time. Okay. Watch. They're all ten. Oh, that's completed though. Okay. Send two gifts to Nikes. Okay, we can do that. Um, let me, let me just do this then. Gift. Why would you give this to me? Ugh, on second thought. <laughs> You're the only one I won't fight. That's the truth. Uh, where's the liberation thing? Okay, that's completed. I need... 30 more points. Clear interception. What is this one? No! No! Oh. Damn. I'm gonna have to get it tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow! It's gonna be tomorrow. <clears throat> we'll get it on tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's reset. <clears throat> that's fine. We're doing Nikkei tomorrow anyway, too, so. <clears throat> oh, fuck. We'll be fine. Um, okay. And then go back to that. Okay. Wow, we got so distracted about looking at um at overzone stuff. <laughs> we went down this whole rabbit hole thing. Uh okay, and then here we go. We said to do the talentum one. Talentum. Talentum. Alright, so with talentum. You're so close to being crushed by her. Yes, we are doing stream tomorrow only because I'm trying to stream as much as I can before I leave for TwitchCon. I do have VODs for Nikkei stuff that's coming out every other day next week. So even though you're not going to get any streams from me, you're going to get a lot of VODs from me. So expect one every other day. So if you are trying to catch up on some of the stuff that I've been doing, um, there is one that just came out today. There's going to be this one's going to come out on Monday. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, you have a lot of stuff that you can catch up on uh, while I'm gone at TwitchCon, so. Did you do Jackal's Bond story? Nope, because she's not done yet. I'm trying to get them all maxed out first before I do their Bond story. 
Um, and I think she's almost done, but she's not 100% done. Thank you for the candy. <clears throat> um, hold on, did I miss anything? Da -da -da. Uh, no. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow I will be having a stream, and the stream is starting a lot earlier because we're gonna be playing two games. We're gonna be doing Honkai Star Rails 2.5 stuff, um, and then we're gonna be hopping over into Nikkei um, and doing some more stuff in Nikkei. So I'm gonna be starting a lot earlier. I'm starting four hours earlier than I normally do um, because I also have to end stream at like nine o'clock. So. We're starting a lot earlier, uh, getting through some, uh, getting through some stuff, uh, getting through a lot of the games. I don't know how long 2.5 is, but I'm just trying to give myself enough time so that I can be done by, by like nine o'clock or something like that. So, um, okay. Uh, for the Talentum, you all are a bunch of busy be- Oh, sorry. I gotta do it in freaking Jan's accent. Oh, damn. We're gonna be with the global peeps? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the global peeps will be able to watch. Um, okay. <clears throat> Y'all are a bunch of busy bees, aren't you? Impressive. How are things at Talentum? It's a hot mess over here, thanks to the shelter, shelter situation. They keep asking for supplies left and right. The demand for daily necessities and medical supplies is at an all-time high. The reserves at the shelters are stocked to accommodate the suggested max capacity. Due to this incident, however, there are more people crammed into these shelters than the allotted capacity. That means that supplies are dwindling fast. The Merchant Union is providing as much as we can, but we're having trouble keeping up with the demand for certain essential goods. Like, drinking water? No, not that. We're able to supply those without any issues. What we're short of is even more essential than that. Anyway, we were preparing a shipment, but I got right in a route mid-delivery. Luckily, none of our employees were injured. And the supplies weren't seriously damaged, but now it's going to be a real ordeal getting them to the destination. If it's not too much trouble, any chance you could help with that? There's still rogue raptors wandering near that area, and none of our employees are able to get close to the supplies. If you can eliminate them, we'll take care of the rest. I would do it myself, but I've got enough on my plate at the merchant union as is. If we stretch ourselves too thin trying to handle everything ourselves, it could negatively affect our supply shipments. Tell me the location. Thank you, sweetie. I'll make this up to you personally. You must always be so brazen with your flirting. You're just jelly. Chapter 23. Not gonna lie, it kind of breaks my brain to go between Yawn and freaking Rupee. I'm like, what do they sound like again? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, all right, we're gonna go there. Dun, dun, dun. Rupee's not shy. Personally, huh? Like a, a, a date? We're, go we're going on a date? We're gonna hold hands? We're gonna do the lewd. We're gonna hold hands. We're going on a trip. Coming. Let's go. Come on, game! Hand holding in the stream. Mm -hmm. Careful, this isn't soccer here. Ropey is classy lady. I mean, can you still not be a classy lady and do some hand holding? Is that not allowed if you're a classy lady? Oh, I've been I've been autoing in chapter 25. Can't wait for it's chapter 26 stuff that I I couldn't auto. Can't wait for a commander to get a uh, pregant for the hundredth time. I don't know. We got a lot of damage done to our freaking midsection. The amount of times that we got shot and punched and kicked and all of that stuff. I I don't know if we can get pregnant anymore. We we done fucked it up. <laughs> Just even surviving is good enough. <laughs> the the Gregnant is no longer available. I'm pretty sure after the second time we got shot, it's definitely no longer available. Upgrade? You call that an upgrade? Okay, 
Yet another reason to grow. Commander just needs the the Wound Force 9000 installed. What? It's not an upgrade. <laughs> it's not upgrade. What is it? What was that one? I don't know if a lot of people know this, but it was like I went down this rabbit hole at like 2 a.m. And they were talking about like this one chick that was talking about like the womb lands. And she was like upset about something. But she kept talking about womb lands. And I was like, what? I don't understand what she's trying to say. But then there was like this big drama about it between her and another person. And then it like blew up. And apparently it was like trending on freaking TikTok for a while. And I was like, what is happening? People venting about stuff, and all of a sudden it goes viral, and I'm like, how? I vent about stuff all the time. How am I not viral? We're gonna cyberpunk commander? Commander gonna go on a David? Did I say woman? I did. That's why I was confused even reading or even listening to what the controversy was about. I don't understand what she was like trying to say. I'm viral? How am I viral? I infect you with joy. Is that supposed to be Riz? Was, was that a was that a Riz attempt? I mean, does that seem like something you would do in Elden Ring? That does sound kind of Elden Ring-ish. I'm not gonna lie. You'll always be viral to us. It's an attempt. I appreciate your attempt. Wait, wait. How are you not asleep? Isn't it like past bedtime? It's late, right? Um, what the Reddit doing? Did you see After the side mission, if you want to do more, and if you don't already do it, I could very much recommend the side mission Arc Refugee. I still remember after one year. I have to see if I have it unlocked, because I know there's a lot of stuff that I haven't unlocked yet, but if we do get it unlocked, I could give it a look. 2.30 AM, what the fuck? It's very viral to us, we gotta get a vaccine. Oh no. Shifting my schedule a bit so I don't get murdered by the 2 a.m. travel. Oh, that's right, next week. Okay, that makes sense. It is time to show the We're trying to risk, but get sold to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell that to anybody. I'd be like, just go to sleep. Let's go to bed. Hi, Miko. Thank you for the soup. The Doctor, I always try to risk uh, women order me, and they tell me to go to bed. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Miku Miku. What kind of soup though? I want to know now. I kind of want some soup. Soup sounds good. Thank you so much for the follow too. Welcome, welcome. Where she can say is no. Let's go to bed. Cow soup? Cow soup? Ooh. When I think of cow soup, I think of like oxtail soup. I don't know why. That's like the first thing that comes to mind is like oxtail soup. First place I see is asking what uh, AKU you suffocating from. You know, I feel like that's pretty on par with Reddit, though. I, at this point, I'm not surprised at the stuff they talk about on Reddit. Ramen, but the ramen is oxtails? Ew, like the actual tail themselves is like the noodles, like ramen? Ew, I don't want to imagine that. No. I just want, no, I just want some oxtail soup. <laughs> that's cursed. Uh. All right, we've disposed of all the raptures in the area. What is all this stuff anyway? Jan says it's not food or water, but it's apparently essential. Maybe guns and ammunition? What in the world could an emergency shelter need those for? Medical supplies then? That's a bit more likely in case someone gets hurt. Heck, there could already be injured people there. I know this isn't a good idea, but perhaps we can pop this sucker open? No. Oh, come on, just a little peek. No. It might be something that has to be kept sealed. We should leave it alone. Fair enough. 
Fine, let's head back and let them take care of it from here. First response is Commander with uh, Noirs, but on his face. Hmm. I feel like that's not creative enough. That's so boring. That's such a boring response. You should tell them. You should tell them that's a boring response. Da -da. The shipment made it to the destination safely. Thank you. Ugh, what are these things gonna settle down? Can I ask you something? Shoot. What was that shipment? Oh, that? Bathroom supplies. You gotta remember, there's a lot of people concentrated in an enclosed space down in those shelters. If the bathrooms are nasty, then the quality of life takes a sharp nosedive. Those supplies were to help prevent that. It's not as if we can build another bathroom, so all we had to do is ensure they had plenty of supplies on hand. Fortunately, we seem to be doing okay in that regard. I would have never guessed it was related to bathrooms. It's true that it may not be a life or death priority, but even the smallest things can be the spark that oh that portends the collapse. Good thinking. <laughs> anyway, you seem busy, so I'll let you go. Congrats on a job well done. You too. We'll talk later. Take care, client. Okay. Um, Alright, let's go to the next one. Mm -mm -mm. Best response is Yuna with hyper-realistic hands actually suffocating the commander. Second one is Maxwell pinning us down like always. That's what I'm saying. All these responses, like, do you tell Reddit they're being boring right now. Uh, okay, we'll go back this way. Alright, um... Oh, hold on. We have... What was the one that, Vash, you recommended? It was... I'm trying to scroll up. Um... Oh. Uh... It says, Art Refugee. I don't have that one unlocked just yet. I don't know what unlocks it, but I'm assuming... Something that has to do with the later chapters. Um, all right. What do you think we should do next for our for our side story? Should we do more? Should we do central government stuff like triangle and protocol? Or should we do coin rush messages? It's an old one? Art refugee? I don't. I don't have it. Uh, Romantis and Regale are older. They may trigger it. Okay. Romantis and Regale. That's back up top here, right? Oh, yeah. These two. Okay. Oh, yeah. So these are the... Oh, yeah. We're still continuing this one. Okay. Um, uh, Let's see. Romantist was... Oh, Romantist was the fishing one? Oh, yeah, this was the fishing one. Hey! Hey there! What are you so amped up for? I've got a lot going on right now. I've only got access to this phone for five minutes, so I've got to make this quick. What is it? I found an amazing fishing spot on the surface. I had the top-of-the-line fishing rod delivered to your room. Can you go up for me and catch a fish that- Oh, at that primo fishing hole? Please hurry. Promise me you'll do it. Fine, I promise. Awesome. You better keep your promise. Well, that's all for me. There's no more replies from Romantis. Chapter 26, fishing spot. I didn't know that there were side missions. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I'm gonna go all the way over there. Wait, this is where we needed to go. No. I'll follow you closely, teacher. Well, we're taking the scenic route. I thought it was over here. That's why. I, oh my God, lag. Hello. What's all? Fish, fish. We do it for the fish. 
Oh, we also didn't clear out the map. Oh, that's right, because this was the fork in the road. Very well. Moving out. Hmm. Step back. It is let's go. Damn, I'm still below CP on this one. All right, I might have to do this manually. I will show you what Eden is capable of. Oh my god. Kill faster. Wait, did we not finish the burst? Wait, how? I guess not. I guess I didn't hit Alice's button. What the fuck? That was so weird. Inisha! Oh, thank God. Was it a stun? I don't. Th I don't think it was a stun. I think I just didn't press the button. I I'm pretty sure I just didn't press it. <laughs> I just didn't finish my burst for some reason. Mm -mm. Already catching a fish would totally be a triple SR. Man, I just I love fishing in video games. Wait, where the fuck are the? I'm not hitting this like I should. All right, bar, keep going up, keep going up. Wait, who's in the box still? Oh, that's all out. Animal Crossing fishing. You know I have never played uh, Animal Crossing before. Uh, okay, I arrived at the spot mentioned by Romantist. Before me, f a river flows. I guess this is where I'm supposed to fish. Master, what's that you've got in your hand? A top of the line fishing rod, apparently. Huh? You're not going to fish here, are you? Uh, yes. Are you serious? I'm doing a favor for someone. Uh, it's not that guy who's always prattling on about romance, is it? Ah, uh, sweet romance. Do you know how to fish? Sure, in theory. Understood. You can decide how many fish you want to catch, and I'll stand guard until you meet your quota. Y you really don't have to do that. You should know that an escort on the surface is mandatory. Then I'll just catch one. What a lucky guy you are, Commander. Fishing in the company of Nikkei's? That's the kind of romantic outing all guys pine for. Really? Of course. To have a woman who not only understands you, but helps you with your hobbies. Wow. Good point. You really are blessed, Commander. I suppose? You can start fishing whenever you like. We'll stand guard. 30 minutes later... Uh, another 30 minutes later. Um, ah, uh, honk shoe, honk shoe. Yet another 30 minutes later. Commander, we should start heading. Oh. Suddenly, the fishing rod curves down, and I can feel something pulling from underneath the water. I've caught something. I pull back on the fishing rod with everything I've got, and it bends even more. If this continues, the fishing rod is bound to snap. 
I need to loosen my grip just a tad. Woo! There's an abrupt, violent yank on the line, and I nearly lose my grip on the fishing rod. This has become a battle of wills between myself and whatever leviathan is lurking beneath the water. I can't lose. Ten minutes? We're fighting with this thing for ten minutes? The war of attrition doesn't seem to have an end in sight. I'm risking it all with this move, but I've got to do something. I intentionally loosen my grip, and my watery opponent loses, uses this opportunity to yank harder than ever. Little does it realize this is all part of my trap. After a few moments, I can feel the tension in the line relax. This is the moment. I tug on the fishing rod with every last ounce of strength I have. Hiya! I pull out the hulking behemoth from the water. Despite its formidable size, it somehow appears weak and defenseless once removed from its natural domain. Victory is mine. Yes. You actually caught it. Wow, what a whopper. Congratulations. I look at the fish flopping on the ground, then remove the hook from its mouth and gently release it back into the water. I can vividly recall the sensation in my hands only a few moments prior. The Herculean struggle with my aquatic nemesis, each and every tremor of the rod. I can feel all of it. Every part of me, and especially up my hands and through my fingertips. It all makes sense now. This must be what people mean when they say they feel something in their bones. There. Now you've accomplished what you came here for. Let's head back. Um, actually... Actually... Yes? Uh, could I just catch one more? No. Aww. Robbie! She's being no fun! Sounds like you had a successful outing. I certainly did. Excellent. How was it? Did you feel it in your bones? It was amazing. You're darn right it is. I'm glad to see there's someone else out there who can feel the romance and thrill of fishing. Next time, we must go together. Oh. I'm afraid that might be a little difficult. Why is that? I'm currently incarcerated. However, I'd be more than happy to go with you once I'm out. Hey, what'd you do? I secretly took the surface elevator to reach the fishing spot, but they caught me in no, fl uh, no time flat and brought me here. Fortunately, the warden here also understands the thrill of fishing, so they let me use the cell phone occasionally. That's quite a remarkable tale. And dare I say, romantic, perhaps? Anyways, you can keep that fishing rod for the time being. We're all going angling together one of these days for sure. Absolutely. Until then, never lose your sense of romance. Well, I've got to go. Time for roll call. Take care of yourself. I will. Oh, okay. Hmm. Just casually texting a felon. We're good. We're fine. Yeah, that was the fishing one. That was the fishing one. Hello, Lazy. How you doing? Um, and then we said Regale was the other one, right? That could possibly unlock uh, Ark Refugee. I know for a fact she was smirking the whole way back. Um, okay, let's see. Recap real quick. Uh, so nothing special happened then. Da -da 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 -da. Wildlife. Go to surface. Wait, what is this one? Oh, the food! They wanted us to go get food. That's right, okay. They wanted to taste the food of the surface. Hello, Commander. Do you remember me? It's me, Regale. I'm the Vice President of a gastronome group called Good Eats. I'm all about sampling new delish foods from all around the world. It's been a while. You remember me! What an honor! My fellow foodies and I got a kick out of that food you brought us last time. However, it tasted too good. My colleagues and I have been obsessed with it ever since. It's all we ever think about. We can't even get any work done. It's awful. I'll tell you, just awful. So I was wondering if... Do you want me to bring you some food from up on the surface again? Yes, yes, yes! We'd be eternally grateful if you did. But this time, we wanted to try something different. For example... Hmm... We managed to get our hands on some sweet potatoes grown up on the- Oh no. Sweet potato incident from April Fools. Uh, grown up on the surface. Apparently the flavor is out of this world if you roast them over a campfire. Naturally, we can make an artificial flame in the ark. 
But it just will be the same as true bona fide campfire made using real wood. Doesn't that sound amazing? What's the difference? Fire is fire. Not true. I'll tell you right now. <sighs> Cooking with a gas grill compared to a charcoal grill? You cannot tell me that the taste is the same thing. It's not the same same and I will fight anyone that tries to tell me different. A charcoal grill will always be superior because you get that nice charcoaly smoky flavor whenever you grill stuff and then you get a gas grill? It ain't the same. It's not the same same. I don't fucking care about Hank Hill. But this propane is propane accessories. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> propane is cleaner. I didn't say clean. I said taste. I said the taste is better. Well, who cares about cleanliness? <laughs> We're talking about taste. <laughs> this ain't no George Foreman. I'm not sure you're supposed to eat coal. I'm not eating the coal. I'm just saying a charcoal grill. You get a lot better smoky flavor from it than you do from a propane gas tank. Oh, you trust Hank Hill? That's fine. But I'm just gonna say right now, cooking over a charcoal grill is a lot better. That's why sometimes when I go to Korean barbecues too, if they have like, um, if they have like a charcoal grill for their Korean barbecue, they're already freaking 10 out of 10 out of my book. Now don't get me wrong, a normal just like propane flame is fine, but that's just, you miss out on that smoky flavor. Add it to the meat. Propane is mid. Yeah, quote me on it. That's fine. You can quote me on it. I'll say it again. I'll yell at the top of my lungs. Propane is mid. Um, You couldn't be more wrong. Every food has its culinary soulmate. The sweet potatoes that we acquired are organic, so we need natural organic wood to cook with them. That's how it works. All right, I'll try it. Excellent. Can't wait to hear from you. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Down there. Mid is still better. I can't say nothing because we use coal to do our barbecue. Yeah, I I have grown up with charcoal grills, and even to this day, I still use charcoal grills. I don't use freaking gas grills. Also, I don't trust myself to properly hook up a propane tank to a grill, and I'm always afraid that I'm just gonna- it's gonna fucking blow up. And I'm like, you know what? Charcoal is also safer. <laughs> My girlfriend wanted to go to Korean barbecue for a brief day one year. There was almost nothing for a vegetarian like myself to eat. I mean, the banchan is vegetarian. You just wouldn't be able to eat a lot of the, the main stuff. You would just have to eat all of the side dishes. Just dump rocks and light, easy? Exactly, it's easy. The chances that happening are low, but never zero. Yeah, I, but knowing me, like I'm always worried that I'm gonna mess it up. to try my best to not chug the soju, but it's so good. They gave us the tiniest side dishes of all time. What? Nah. The place that I go to, the second that you ask for refills on a side dish, they don't give you the little sh the side dish anymore. They give you a big ass bowl. And then they're like, here, here's your side dish. And I'm like, oh, oh okay. Like the ones that you don't ask for refills, like of course they're not gonna refill and they'll just like, you stick with the same little plate. But the ones that are like, oh, can I get a refill on like this, you know, the green onion side dish or whatever. They're like, okay. And they come back with a huge ass bowl and I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, I like it, but like, <coughs> holy shit. Two bites, damn that'd be stingy. <clears throat> That's like French Korean barbecue, the actual Korean, if you're getting bite size sized. I was about to say. Half the time when I'm waiting for like the meat to cook, like the side dishes will start filling me up because there's so much of it. I did Texas barbecue for the eclipse and I got like a gallon of mac and cheese. Ooh. Mac and cheese. Everything's under the line of the kingdom. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, see, I'm able to auto stuff on 25. Oh, I got this. Hello. Okay. Step back. Let's go. Um, if they didn't give you a bucket of tea to go with that, then we'd have to have a talk. Ooh. Some good old sweet tea. I, will destroy I haven't ate at a restaurant in a while, but did work in one we tried to be generous. I feel like I, if I worked at a restaurant, I would try to be generous too. Because I think like, especially at a Korean barbecue, people are constantly asking for refills. I would get annoyed having to refill all the time. I'd be like, bro, just fucking take all of it. <laughs> I like to see it all. It's fine. Da, 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 da. Party would be the person giving everyone extra nugget in their 10 counts. 100%, I would do that. Do I get your lurk listening mode? All good, Oreo. Did you see? Your king has won another victory. <laughs> yeah, my my thing. I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's been like flickering. It's been lagging. And like you said, you saw my home screen flash for a second. I'm like, what is going on? Um, like even earlier when I was uh I was trying to do a raid in 14 and I was lagging so bad and I was like, bro, I don't even know if I can do this fight right now. Oh, um all right, let's use this campfire to cook the sweet potatoes. Okay. What's up with you? I thought you'd be over the moon shouting firepower this and firepower that. I did some research. When you cook a sweet potato, you have to keep it away from direct flame. They say it's best to wait for the fire to die down, and then dig a hole amongst the smoldering embers where then you place the sweet potato. Oh. So you have to exercise some restraint with the fire. Exactly. I was hoping we could cook these by cranking the flame to the max. It's a real shame. Yeah, too bad. Which is true! Sweet potatoes cook really well when they're, it's like, uh, hot. When the ground is hot and you put them in the embers. One hour later... Hmm... Whoa, what's that smell? I think the sweet potatoes are done, Commander. They smell amazing. If they taste anything like they smell, these babies are gonna be delicious. Is it okay if I have a bite? No. Come on! We can say that we ran into a bear on the way back and it took a bite out of one. Yeah, that's totally a plausible excuse. I think it'll work. Maybe so, but we can't do it regardless. Then find a sweet potato for us to eat too! Yeah, go and find one! We should head back now, Commander. No! My precious sweet potato! Oh, sweet potato, how I long for you! What the fuck? Ha Ozen! Freaking grill man. They're getting pissed about from that goddamn sweet potatoes. What the fuck? They need to relax. I can't thank you enough for the sweet potatoes, but. What's wrong? I can't tell you how much we were looking forward to the sweet potatoes you brought us. We were all dressed up for the occasion. We even busted out the fancy china. But we were just about to take our first bite when the AC poo came barging in. They said importing food from the surface is illegal and confiscated all the sweet potatoes. Fortunately, since it was only our first offense, all we had to do was pay a fine. Oh, how wonderfully those precious sweet potatoes looked. All cooked up nice and proper. Man, we wasted all the fucking sweet potatoes only for the AC poo to come in and take it all. Japan and Korea are nuts about sweet potatoes? Oh, trust me, I know. I, I freaking know. My mom is in love with sweet potatoes. She does all the things with sweet potatoes. She likes the, what is it? The sweet potato casserole where you can like melt the marshmallows on top of it. Dude, she loves that shit. Um. Oh, don't worry. We didn't mention a word about you, Commander. We're nothing if not loyal. But you should have seen those AC Poo officers. They were practically chomping at the bit to eat those sweet potatoes. One in particular was really drooling up a storm. I almost told her to go ahead and eat them. Was she by any chance petite and have long white hair? Yeah, that was her. Do you know each other? She's a friend of mine and she's a sweet potato fiend. Wow. Sounds like she's a big fan of food in general. 
Probably. Well, that's a small consolation, since she's someone who has a love for food. She at least won't treat the sweet potatoes disrespectfully. Anyway, importing food from the surface is a big no-no now. There must be a legal way around this. Back to the drawing board. If I come up with anything, I'll be in touch. Thanks again. Wait, that didn't unlock anything either? Hmm. So what's another one that you think that I could do to unlock, um... Ark Refugee. So I have ones that we haven't finished. I have the Justin one, Music Lover, Jennifer, and Stationary Store. Fully has a nose for sweet potatoes. I mean, I have, sweet potatoes are good. I mean, I'm assuming some of the ones that are further down the list, maybe we could do to unlock some of the later ones, but I don't know if they actually unlock anything. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe Jennifer? I was thinking either Jennifer or Justin. The Jays. Let's see. Hello, Commander. I'm Jennifer, the manager of the Ark Child Protection Center. Do you have a minute? Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. We are a nonprofit organization that helps child victims of domestic violence as well as those without homes. However, one of our children went missing today. Can you help us with the church? With the search? You lost a child? Yes. It happens sometimes. Children choose to run away. Typically, we have location detectors that make it quite simple to track them down. However, this last location shows up as the surface. If the child went up to the surface, our hands are tied. Therefore, reg we therefore registered her as missing and we are now asking for your help. Why would a child, why would children run away from a protection center? Why do you have the children wearing location detectors? What is this play? Jennifer? Who the fu- Nah, Jennifer is sus. I don't like her. I don't like Jennifer. Many of them are teenagers and thus are rather rebellious. Some of the children also get mixed up with the wrong crowd. If a child is lost up on the surface, there is no way we can guarantee their safety. This is their last registered location. If you find the child alive, please bring her back safely. If you find her dead, bring her back regardless. Why bring back the body? For the funeral. I fully realize, of course, that you may find nothing at all. I'm hoping you can help us here. Thank you. Hmm, that seems a little sus. Why do you want the body, Jennifer? For a funeral? Or are you gonna try to use your body for science? You probably use your body for science. You sus. Uh, must be the orphanage from uh, Promise Neverland. Jennifer has joined Teddy and Henry. I don't know. We're about to we're about to see if she's gonna be added to that list. She's gonna be added to the uh, the Henry list. Henry NPCs. I can't believe I'm already about to graduate. Oh, I was like, do I not have them on auto? No. Who's Teddy? Um, Teddy was the one that was like, Nikkei's must obey me. Nikkei's are, I am superior to Nikkei's. Wasn't, Teddy was the other commander that was like still in school. He was like, no Nikkei should be talking back to me unless they are given permission to speak. How dare you speak to me? And I'm like, bro, what? That's Teddy. Saying that Sally does not break down the amount of people Teddy could be. I mean, he was the one that specifically was coming out of the commander's school and wanted to shadow us because he wanted experience. But then again, like you said, there are a lot of people that don't like Nikkei's and probably act the same, but that's who he is. He was one of the earlier ones that we had to unlock to get to Raptilian. Um, but we did do that one. Checking the coordinates now. 
It checks out with what the client sent us. So the runaway kid should be nearby? Hmm. Something doesn't sit right with me. What? The fact facility has location detectors on all the kids? Running up to the surface on their own is practically suicide. Yet she did it anyway. Did she feel she had no other place to go? So this must be her final location. Either means she's hiding somewhere or... This is the end of the line. Hmm. Let's look around. Soon after, I found this piece of paper. From a diary, maybe? It's too small to make out much. All the writing is broken up. Run. I. No. Nike. Insane. Rather upon the surface. This is all starting to seem pretty suspicious. Has anybody turned up anything else? There are indications of rapture activity. So it's as we feared. What next, Commander? I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's go back. Hmm. Hmm. Sus, Jennifer. She only gave me 10 gems? Oh, everyone else has been giving me 50. As promised, your reward. So you were unable to find the body? She was such an intelligent child. Very healthy as well. Such a shame. Nevertheless, thank you for your help. Did you read what was on the paper? Yes, I did. Sometimes the delinquents will spread malicious rumors amongst the other children. She must have believed that what she heard and chose to run away. Wait, what kind of rumors? That we capture children and mistreat them. They also say we turn them into Nikkeis when they become adults. Utter nonsense, of course. We have our own ways of handling such issues. Hmm. Tell me, where exactly is your center located? I'm afraid it's getting late. I must get back to work. I thank you again. Keep in touch. Wait. Restricted account? My ass. Uh, Dipso? Hello, Commander. The name's Dipso. I'm all about drinking and being merry. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you, too. I've only got one question for you. Did you drink? I... I mean, socially, I guess? I don't get, like, drunk. I knew it! I can always smell a fellow drinker. As for me, I can't live without having a drink. I try just about everything on the Ark has to offer, so I'm looking to try something new. Could you bring me anything from the service? That won't be easy. Oh, believe me, I'm fully aware of that. I promise we'll be rewarded handsomely. Please? I'm dying to try something new. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, really? You'll do it? I'll try. I'm so excited. Thank you. Hmm. Scarlet got all the surface stuff already by now. I was about to say, I feel like Scarlet would be able to make her own drinks too. Wait. I go and the tunnels over there. Very well. Moving out. A fight going there. for a drink. All right, they can definitely auto this. And you know what? I just forgot too, and I should have known better. I already know what color freaking Tails wants. Tails is always green, so I'm gonna make their um. I'm gonna make their sticky note while they go through all this stuff. I should have known better. Step back. It is dangerous. Mm, yeah. Let's there we go. go. Oh no! We fainted! 
I got good news this week. I don't have a hernia. Oh, let's go. Alright, let me add this real quick before I forget. Ah! Alright, perfect. Last one. I'll follow you closely, teacher. Don't get yourself hurt, teacher. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's still not serious and so not hurting us, so I'll take it. That's kind of a win. That's kind of a win. Yeah, we got a new sticky. Now we just gotta wait for one other person to get their sticky. And then two two wheel spins. When your doctors look at you go, are you okay? I mean that was me on, on Wednesday when I had my appointment. Wednesday? Tuesday? Something like that? When I had all of the things broken, and then they just reconfirmed that I'm even more broken. Commander, there's no way we're finding any bottle of alcohol here. Wait, what's that? Huh? Where? Up on the bricks. What's a bottle doing here in the middle of nowhere? I'm not dreaming, am I? Believe me, you're very much awake. This is a real bottle. Commander, this is a special delivery from Scarlet. Ha! Huh. No wonder you were so confident we'd find something. Oh, this bottle is so pretty. It really is. There's no way Scarlet did this out of charity. I owe her lunch. You don't say. I want to come too. Me too. All right, all right. Let's head back. She got the juice. Whoa, I never thought the thing. Thank you so much for this. The blessings be upon you. I'll give you a little bonus as well. Have you been drinking? Oh, this is just a little zippy zippy zip, that's all. You're quite perceptive. As, how can you tell? Are you drinking the one I just brought you? No, 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 no. Not that one. I want I'm gonna have one is a bad time. Just don't overdo it. I won't. Hopefully we can meet again future. No, oh, okay. Freaking drunk ass. Die para? What the fuck? You drank the whole bottle drinking it? No, drank it? Yes. <laughs> Is it okay if I request something? I was hoping you could locate my mother. If she's gone missing, you should contact AC Poo. That's not quite what happened. If I'm being honest, I think she went up to the surface. Bro, what is with all these people going to the surface? I thought elevator was restricted. How is it that people's mothers are able to go up on the surface? I feel like you need to have a special like key card or a code or something that allows you to get on the elevator. How, how are people just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the surface. Like, what? Are you sure? Pretty sure, yes. How would your mother have managed to get to the surface? I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to discuss at that at the moment. Please help me. I know the exact location. You don't even have to engage with her. Just watch her from afar and let me know if she's all right. Please? Okay. Thank you. Truly. However, do you usually notify the government about any commissions you take? If they're serious, yes. Oh, I see. N nothing. I know I'm coming off as suspicious, but you're helping me more than you even realize. Well, I already said I'd do it. Thank you. I'll send you the location. Thank you again. How do rim people be going to the surface for supplies all the time? Hmm. But is she from the outer rim? Or does it not matter? I will move as you wish. It's Burningham's wife going on vacation? Bro, I don't blame her. Master, you're far too forgiving. You're nice to a fault. Why would you accept such an unusual request without any other information? Even for me, this is a bit strange. 
You know, I kind of appreciate Neon calling us out for this, though, because I have realized that we are very, very optimistic in everything. We always try to find the good in people, and I'm like, can we... Can we not for once? Can the commander can the commander just be like a dick and just be like no? Just like learn from Johan for a little bit. I don't know. Whatever. I'm used to it by now. I can still remember how Rappi used to implore the commander to reconsider with the tears in her eyes. But she doesn't even bother trying anymore. I, I never cried. Yeah, you did. I saw it. You'd have tears streaming down your face because you were so worried about Master. Robbie, is that true? I was worried about you. Whoops, I think we really put her on the spot. Yeah, she looks pretty embarrassed. And we're closing in on the location sent to us by the client. Everyone focus. I'm picking up some rapture signals. Any other signs of life? No. Things aren't exactly looking up. This is bad. First, let's get rid of the raptures. Roger. Good night, Mori. Good night. No, it'll break his character. This will be finished soon. You can rest for a moment. I like Commander being optimistic all the time, like presenting someone to aspire to. Hmm. That's fair. I guess for me, like. Whenever we do stuff in this story, it's just like, I already know what he's gonna do. Like, I know that he's already gonna try to find the good in people, and then like, for once, I would just like to, for it to not happen. For me to be like, oh damn, right? Like, I don't know, I kind of just want that like, twist. And to be like, oh, there he is. There, there's the change I was looking for. Even if it was just one time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go. He did reach his limit with Crow, though. Well, but still, nothing happened from it. Is what I'm what I'm getting at. He was close, but nothing happened from it, and I don't think anything will happen from it. Commander does have to be very optimistic, but he does have his times and moments where he just denies someone. It's glad that he doesn't push that 24/7 like they do with other Gacha Pro tags. It'd be very annoying. Rappi robbed him from his victory. Hmm. Yeah. Did you see? And I'm not saying that like I don't want him to be optimistic all the time. It's just like for me, I do like something that all of a sudden like there's this huge twist in like a character's like personality of like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Like, holy shit. But yeah, the the part in 24 where he did kind of like almost like really snap. Like that was getting there. It was getting there. The twist is that he bangs all of his Nikkei's, but that's not a twist. That's just facts. That's that's already known information. But he snapped though. I mean, he almost did with Viper. But the key word is almost, right? There's a difference between almost and then actually doing it. And that's what I'm saying with this game, I don't think it's going to happen because then like, again, they want the pro tag to be a certain way and I don't think they're all of a sudden gonna switch it up like that, but I mean, it's more like the, wait, they offer some dilemmas to the commander, like less to kill, but I wish they made more difficult situations for him to get through in main story. Well, what I'm getting at, I'm talking about like a full on, like, like I said, it's, I don't think it's going to happen because then it's really just going to be out of character for us, our commander. Um, but I'm talking about like, he just goes and freaking. You know, he didn't do, he doesn't do anything with Viper. He just lets her head get blown off or he goes ahead and he tries to take out Crow or something. Like that type of level of twist. I'm not talking about just getting like upset, right? 
I'm talking about actually doing something when you are upset and letting those actions speak. Us going and then pulling on Viper's collar was preventing from that happening, right? If we were just to sit back and be like, okay, bye Viper, right? That would have been like, huh? Like that would have been that twist that I was looking for, but we didn't do that, right? We were the nice guy again that we were like, no Viper, we want to give you a chance because you're trying to, you know, change your ways type of thing. And so that's why we went in and we grabbed the collar and it did some damage, but not something to completely take her out. Uh, <clears throat> Winner's meant to be your self insert, so it makes sense just to go with a safe route most people would be satisfied with. No, yeah, and I, that's what I'm saying. I totally understand why the game is putting the commander the way that they are. Because, like, if we did something that was totally, like, if we, like I said, if we were just to let Viper get blown up and we were just like, okay, bye, right? I think a lot of people would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, but that's what I'm saying. I, I get why the game is the way that it is. But for me, I kind of... I'm kind of like waiting for that switch of just like, is that going to happen? Is that ever going to happen? Probably not. But um, yeah, there's just like a few times too that I wish like... I, I'm spoiled watching animes and seeing a lot of like um, protagonists like do that too. Um, and I'm always going to give like the example of when like Rimuru, for instance, um, basically, I don't know if this is going to be spoilers for people, but I'll try to make it as generic as possible. Rimuru is like this very like happy-go-lucky character, always optimistic, wants people to like, you know, the monster uh, city that he's built and all this stuff. But the things that he did to become Demon Lord? Hello? Like, that was that... He was pissed! He was pissed and he took action, okay? He took action... And he, like, he kept his word. He was like, I'm gonna fuck you guys up. And he did. <laughs> and he did. That's that type of twist that I'm looking for, right? Where the main character will fucking snap. And will literally do anything that they say that they're gonna do. And they, like, hold their word to it. That was that type of twist that I was looking for. But then again, that's just anime's game is gonna be a little bit different. Because they're gonna have to write it certain ways. And like you said self-insert so but if that ever does happen holy shit uh that's gonna be pretty crazy um self-insert would be uh putting Sian every time i see or punting Sian every time i saw her that's true aware <laughs> aware i'm like five volumes that have the anime there isn't anything spoiling me i yeah, just in general i don't know if people are gonna watch it or not but um I have a cross stitch project lined up for that. I'm going to make for that scene. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, as long as you put, uh, as you push campaign, Commander becomes less and less of a self insert and branches into his own character. So I think a change in his boundaries would have been really nice. In my opinion, the only way that naturally uh, happens is if he really experiences some dire consequences, though. True. 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 And like I said, it's going to be very tough with you know the devs and like the writers to have to like make that happen. Without people being like, ooh, that might have been a little much, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. To be fair, Commander is stopping real self-insert pretty early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the clearing, there's a small altar uh, with some dishes, cutlery, and decorations. What function they serve is difficult to ascertain. Scattered all about are also... This is horrible. Did no one make it out alive? What on earth happened here? They're all unarmed civilians. No signs of resistance or any attempt to escape. Look at their expressions. Don't they seem strange to you? How so? They all look so calm. As if they all fell asleep. Freaky. I'm not seeing anyone who matches the description the client gave us. Perhaps she was lucky and managed to escape? Or we were lied to from the very beginning. What is that? One of the bodies is holding something in its hands. It's a rapture part. How would something that valuable end up here? Really weird. Yeah, way weirder than me being a spy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neon. <laughs> um, wait, was that her being self-aware? Wait, way weirder than me being a spy? Oh, okay. 
Commander, I think we may have gotten in over our heads here. I suggest we head back. Agreed. I'll request an on-site follow-up and an investigation. Roger. Hmm. I agree that uh, something like that would be very risky, but I feel the devs need to do it even if it ends up, say, take uh, taking a love character. Like, Neon already has PTSD. We established that the commander is extremely close to Rappi. We could work with this, and we could really make a force change to the commander that fits Laura character-wise. Um, oh, you shared it in the Discord channel? Okay, I'll have to take a look. Yeah, that's why That's why I'm like, it, you are going to have to be like a little eh about it when it comes to like the main character being like that. Um, let me get this gift real quick. But I would like to see shelter management unlock. Thank you for confirming. I had no idea such a terrible thing had occurred. Are you sure my mother wasn't among them? Positive. We just finished identifying all the bodies. Very well. I'm assume I assume you reported it. What do you think? We found over 10 dead civilians up on the surface. So you did. I understand. If there's anything else on your mind, now is the time to tell me. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to string you along, but if I had told you all the details, I would have been putting my mother in danger. Can you tell me now? Actually, my mother has been obsessed with this pseudo-religious cult calling themselves the Torch of Salvation. They're a group who worship raptures as gods. If the government found out my mother was a member, they'd do more than just throw her in prison. That's why I couldn't give you the full picture initially. I'm very sorry. You could tell me, would the central government be launching a formal investigation? Most likely. If my mother is caught, they'll throw the book at her, won't they? Probably. I see. I think I'll take it from here. Thank you. Wait! All I can do now is wait for the results of the government. What the fuck? Um, okay, should we still do some of the earlier ones to see if we can unlock Ark Refugee then? Um, Artie, please confirm. Do they say Roger this much in the military? Um... It depends. Honestly, it depends. Because uh, when you go to different units, different units actually have a way to respond to stuff. Um, sometimes if they're really, really gun ho and they think they're all the cool beans and they're probably like special forces and they're like, ha, I went to infantry school and all this stuff, they'll be like tracking. A lot of people, a lot of the infantry guys love to say tracking. I don't know why, but they do. They won't really say Roger, they'll just be like tracking. Now, I have seen where if people are kind of in trouble, they might say Roger as a way that they understand because like they're kind of in trouble type of thing. But it's a lot, I would say tracking is a lot less informal. Or is, I would say tracking is more informal for someone to respond. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say they say Roger too much though. Personally, we say copy a lot. You say copy? Are you all tracking? Copy is pretty much how it goes. Hmm. I guess so. But like I said, it's usually different uh, depending on where you go to. Like, there was um, there was a unit that I think they were like in Colorado, but I think they moved. They were like an armor unit. And we were in um, the training center, NTC. We were at the National Training Center. And we were doing like this big group thing. And I was like inserted or like embedded like in one of their teams. And the thing that they did because they were cavalry, because they were on armored units, um, they always said Aya. And I, I never, I didn't understand because I guess I wasn't cav. But that was their way of like responding to stuff. Not Ikea. It was Aya. Aya? Aya, yeah. Um, but that was just like how their unit like responded. And I, let me tell you right now, the cab guys, they, they're, I swear they're a fucking cult because 
they do things to get like their Stetsons, they do things to get their spurs, they get things, they do things to get their belt buckles, they do all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> they be riding around with their Stetsons and stuff, and I'm just like, huh? Like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> but they, they res their response was like, aya. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm not a part of your unit, but I'm not going to say that shit. <laughs> I was like, dang, cavalry guys or something else? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, they're in like their own little world. But um, honestly, I lost most of my military bearing pretty early on. So I started saying how's it a lot since it was... Um, if people were from Hawaii or familiar with it, they would catch on. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. That is definitely a big Hawaiian thing. Give us 10. Wait, give us 10 years. They're going to be riding the battlefields on the horses that Crown has. Yo, if they if we ever get to that point, yo, sign me back up. I don't care if I'm 100 years old. If we get to ride on trombone into the military. Ah, fuck yes. Sign me back up. Don't worry about the age limit. I want to join. <laughs> I want to ride on trombone. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, let me do- wasn't there a Justin one? There is a Justin one. Yeah, we did a Jennifer one and we did a Justin one. So far all of the J names have been kind of sus. Hello, Commander. I'm a worker at the repair center. Have you got a minute? Sure. Perfect. Any chance I can ask a favor of you? Maybe. Do you know what the repair center is for? It's a hospital for Nikes. That's correct. It's a hospital um, specially dedicated to Nikkei, to be exact. We usually conduct those kinds of things. Oh, you know, conduct repairs, swap out parts. Sometimes, though, we send out parts that are used for human surgery. Anyway, that's enough about the repair center. Why don't I get down to business? Currently, we're in desperate need of some second-generation Nikkei parts. As parts order for human surgery has just come in, so we can't refuse it. Well, it's not like we can afford to, at least not in our current situation. I'm afraid I can't divulge too much with secur bleh, security concerns and all. But do you think you can help us out? Uh, sure, no problem. Out of all the second generation parts, we need some arm and leg parts equipped with pressure sensors at the moment. These second generation sensors are much like human nerve tissue. Ooh. Why are Nikkei parts found in hospitals on the surface? In short, surgeries used to be held there as well. All kind of surgeries. Bye, Hammer! For anyone who has lost an arm or leg, we would use second generation Nikkei parts as a temporary replacement. They were the best option in terms of time and expenditure. Although the hospital remains unused, there should be some parts lying around. Uh, I hope you'd head up to the surface and bring back some of those parts equipped with pressure sensors. Chapter 11. It looked like a monster can. Pew pew pew. Oh. Pew pew. Let's go. So we're learning a little bit about the repair center. I mean, we didn't know much except that they repaired Nikkei's and did parts and stuff like that, but now it seems like that they're using parts from the surface. According to the coordinates, this is our destination. How do we even get in? I don't see any entrance. I'll look around. Hmm? Raptures, 500 meters up ahead. What do they have on their backs? That might be what they're after. Let's go say hello. Pew pew! The, the, the Franken Nikkei. The guy with the gas mask also said he got his legs replaced with Nikkei parts. Um. The guy with the gas mask? Are you talking about the collector? Good night, Dean! Thanks for hanging out with us. Get some good sleep. Yeah, the collector said, uh, yeah, that he had parts. But I'm just curious about them getting the parts from the hospitals up on the surface. Pew pew! What's the lore behind going on a trip? Oh, it was just a song that I would always sing, the little Einstein song. Um, last, I mean, I 
think ever since I started streaming, anytime that like in the game we had to like go someplace, I would always kind of like sing that song. And so people were like, why not just make it a redeem? And I was like, okay, so I made it a redeem. We're going on a trip in a little rocket ship, zooming through the sky, little Einstein. Climb aboard, get ready to explore. And I would just sing that song as we were like going on the next part of the game. And people were like, just make it into a redeem. And I was like, okay. Hello, Beanie. I will move as you wish. Hello, game. I will destroy everything oh, there that's we go. in my way. <clears throat> You're doing great, Otto. Did you see? Your king has All right, I think we got victory. one more. Oh, enemy neutralized. Target item secured. Let's open it. Ugh, that's a whole lot of appendages. I know they're just parts, but it still looks absolutely bizarre. Is this the pressure sensor? I think you're right. Now that we've secured what we needed, let's head back. Did we just open a box full of just like mechanical body parts? I've received the parts. Are they what you're looking for? Yes, that's right. I was worried they might be too outdated, but they seem to work perfectly. Thank you for getting them to us safely. I'm just wondering... Yes. You mentioned that they are used to treat humans? Yes. Isn't the Ark's medical technology second to none? Yes. And? What do you still need these Nikkei parts for, then? I thought you might just ask that. Can you keep this between us? My lips are sealed. Sure, Ark's medical tech may be spectacular, as you said. Not only that, but we can also utilize cell regeneration technology quite easily. However, it is incredibly time-consuming and costly. What's more, the repair center is always under the watchful eye of the central government. If I wish to provide medical assistance to the people in the Outer Rim, I'd have to stay far away from the government's prying eyes. Out of sight, out of mind. Every month, I offer Nikkei parts transplant to people who would be immobile otherwise. As for these second generation parts, they don't put too much stress on the body. That's why it's easy for anyone to deal with, be it technological, handling, or cost. If we just ran out of parts when we received- Oh, it's just that we ran out of parts when we received that last request. So I came to request for your assistance. Hmm. I hope that answers any questions you have. Once again, thank you very much for your help. Wait, so are they... So are they saying that they're using these second generation parts for the people on the outer rim? Like they're doing under the table type surgery so that people can be mobile? And that's why they have to stay out of like the prying eyes of the central government? Sounds like it. Nikkei parts as prosthetic is interesting. Hmm. I mean, if we think about it too, like in, I think it was chapter 24 when we were in the outer rim, we saw that one guy, like the leader, I guess, that he was like in a cloak and he had like a mechanical arm. I'm assuming like he's one of those people that got like the surgery done. Uh, a lot of people seem to have some sort of like mechanical parts attached to them. But that's interesting. Okay. <gasps> Ark refugees! Ah, we did it! We unlocked it! Okay. Uh, doesn't Daddy Johan have mech parts? I believe so. I believe so. All right, here we go. Ark Refugee. Hey, sorry to bother you, but is this Commander Artie's number? Yes. 
Phew, that's a relief. I have a request to make. Can you take me up to the surface? I'll pay you, of course. Why do you want to go there? Well, it's rather embarrassing to admit, especially when you've just met me, but I'm in quite a bit of debt. Not through any fault of my own, mind you. It's just that I've inherited from my parents. As a result, I've been working ever since I was young. Despite that, it turns out that I've only paid off 10%. When I went to go check a while ago, it's like a bad joke. I can't live like this for the rest of my life. Instead, I want to run off to the surface. They won't be able to follow me up there, right? Is there nowhere else you can hide? Hmm... I suppose I can donate my brain and become a Nike. No, I'd rather take my chances on the surface. According to this collector I met, these coordinates lead to a route where ordinary people can travel freely without any armed escorts. After we meet there, you can drop me off at a nearby bunker. I'll wait for you there. Hmm... Damn. Chapter 14. My phone number has been leaked multiple times. I don't know how people getting on my number. Not the normal kind of commando squad, to be honest, and there's lots of hints the commander is becoming a well-known public figure. I mean, didn't that happen, um, especially after the chapter 24 stuff? Where they're like, we're gonna have this big ceremony thing for you, blah, 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 blah. You're not really going to do this, are you, Commander? This person may have led a hard life on the Ark, but if we take her up to the surface, we'll be sending her off to her own death. I'm just doing what she wants us to do. Why? Even if we refuse, she'll find some other way. It seems quite obvious. Hello? Are you Commander Artie? That's me. Oh, good. I'm the one who contacted you before, remember? You promised to bring me to a bunker. I have a gun, some food, books, and camping equipment as well. As long as I find a safe place to settle in, I should be alright. Hmm... I know some bunkers that have been closed off for a while, but we'll have to pass through a rapture-infested territory first. Let's do it. Yes, Commander. Uh, they said collector they met. Collector, is that you? That's our little friend! That's our collector friend! Was it after 26 since you technically reclaimed some land? I thought... Was it after 26? I thought it was after 24, after we helped with the whole... Maybe it was 26. Yes, this is the Ark Refugee one. <laughs> and it's the wall one. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Oh, all right, I'll take another sip. <laughs> I did get bug free water. Do you have a favorite side quest so far? Hmm. Um, that's a tough one because one, I haven't done all of them. Um, but two. Hmm. I mean, the reptilian one was definitely really good. <coughs> um. Oh, what was the one that I was really, really enthralled with last time? Um, the one that I was like, I hope they give more information on this. Fuck. Yeah, old man! Yeah, the old man one. Yes, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was trying to remember the name of it, but yes, that one. That one too. I would say Reptilian and Old Man so far has been very, very captivating when it comes to side quests. I will move a fight then, is it? <clears throat> I thought the commander has been famous since like chapter 16. I think he was on Rupee's stream on the surface. Oh. Yeah, we were getting that clout. We were getting that clout with Rupee. Why 
is it always the wall? I hate that it's like the this one, the wall, and the other one. I'm like, bro, you could literally give us anything else. Please. Uh, right after we sent Mary into the aunties in chapter 14. Hmm. Now we gotta wait a whole ass 45 seconds. No. I'm a big fan of the one with Burning Him Sun, Ark Refugee, and the young boy one. Burning Him Sun. Called you his friend and wanted to go to the surface and fight our rapture. Oh, it was when they killed a criminal, turned himself in, and was immediately released. Why don't I remember that one? Why do I think? Why am I imagining that one was the was the Teddy one? Oh, oh no no, you're right. He did kill somebody. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, now, now I remember. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, Servan. You look pale. This is her first time encountering raptures. Oh, I'm fine. Let's just keep going. At an abandoned bunker sometime later. Thank you. This place will be my new home. I know you're all worried about me, but I know what I'm doing. If you're still unsure, you can always visit me in a few days. You'll see that I'll be doing just fine. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, see you then. The bunker door closes. When should we return to check? She said in a few days. Okay. A present. I just realized that I forgot to pay you. You guys almost made this whole trip- Oh, you guys almost made this whole trip for nothing. I'm glad this bunker is so close to the Ark. That way I still have signal. How are you holding up? I'm good. Since I just got here, I haven't really ventured outside. So I'm not too sure how things are out there. One thing I'm sure is that the I'm much happier here than I was in the Ark. No creditors hounding me, pounding at my door. For now at least. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I don't need to go to work. That I envy. I know, right? Anyway, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. I should get started. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Um. Hi, Val. Why is they got those legs so long? It's not long. It's just there's a the, there's a thing thing covering up his his head or his body. It's normal. I promise. Look at it. It's normal. Look. It's normal. See. It was just covering his chest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he's glaring at you. Hmm. I've been replaced by Scrunkly. What? You're not replaced? He's not Scrunkly though. This isn't. This isn't Scrunkly. That's your title. You're Scrunkly. He's not Scrunkly. Do he? That's not Scrunkly. You're crazy if you think that's Scrunkly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not Scrunkly. It's not Scrunkly, kitty. Now, if you want to see Scrunkly, let me let me show you. <laughs> I was like, bro, never mind. I send you all of the Scrunkly stuff. You know that's not Scrunkly. <laughs> How you doing, Val? All right, let me do this real quick. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> yes, I know. I was like, you have that as like your profile image, right? <laughs> Um, wait, stop, what? What happened? Oh, wait, what I do? Did you want, oh, did you want a shout out? No shout out. Oh, so you don't want this either? 
Okay, that's fine. Um, you got two shoutouts now. Uh, hey, Commander. Do you remember me? I want to head up to the surface. And you help me find a bunker to stay in. Yes, how are things over there? Hmm, not bad. I have a sofa, bed, kitchen, and everything I need. Once it gets off a cooldown, I'll give you another shout out. I set up a rainwater purification system, so drinking water and showering aren't an issue. Would you be interested in visiting sometime? I'd love to. When you come visit, can you bring the latest episodes of Arc Rangers? Oh, and some Nutrium while you're at it? That'd be great. You sure have a load of requests. Sorry. I figured it wouldn't hurt to ask. Da, don't leave! <laughs> I'm meeting you in front of the bunker. You remember where it is, right? See you soon. Don't leave without your shout out. <laughs> Tomo. Wait, don't leave without your shout out. <laughs> we gotta get your other one. <laughs> Let's go. I can't turn this map. This map is so jumpy. Okay. Go oh, that way. I'll follow you closely, teacher. What are the goals uh, top left of the screen for? So I um, was celebrating my two years of streaming on Thursday and we're continuing the celebration until the timer runs out. And the goals on the top of the stream are from people that have been donating and we have incentives so that people, uh, when they reach those goals, they'll have to do those incentives. Hence all the sticky notes all, like, all over my face and stuff like that too. So that's basically what that's for. Done it real quick. Ah, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're just doing like a little baby celebration. I did a big one last year for my my one year of streaming. Um, this year I wasn't gonna do anything, but then I got I got a scolding, and I was told that I should at least do something. So I was like, all right, we'll just do another little baby donathon. Mm -mm. Speaking of, I need to take you for my one year of streaming. You're gonna take me? Can I give you a shout out then? Hi, Lugan! When is Gremlin's one year celebration? Um, in May. I think Gremlin debuted in May. <clears throat> for dinner or with a sniper? The fuck, Axel, what? Oh my god. Da, 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 da. If only there were a worthy opponent. What? I have to wait 56 minutes and 45 seconds before I can give you another shout out? No, that's ass. There we go. Da, da, ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Make Artie pay. Oh yeah, for the Twitch one? That's insane! I didn't think it was a whole ass hour. Did you see? Your king has won Luckily, I have the other command. Like, holy shit. Why so long, though? The, the I don't know why the Twitch one is so long. Well. Um, the the slash the slash shout out one from Twitch, not the exclamation shout out. There's like two different shout out commands, and the one where you do the slash one is like an hour. RDC Axel is a bully. I know. Oh, trust me. I know. You can rest for a I know this. <laughs> Axel is always so mean to me. And freaking mod abuse to the streamer. He like leads the campaign against me and brings all of the mods. <laughs> Axel's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to learn like UK slang and every time I try to use the UK slang, Axel just laughs at me. I try to use things like in it and mendem and then he just shakes his head and he's like, what the fuck? Commander, over here. Well, she's still alive at least. She looks healthier than before. Living in a bunker, I think she actually pulled it off. Let's head inside. I told him he a bully, and he told me no, Lugan is a bully. You know what you should do? Oh, I was gonna say, you should shout him out. Uh, what do you think? It's a bit old, but it's home. It may not have all the bells and whistles you get living in the Ark, but I have everything I need. Um, don't you get tired of always having to be inside? I'm fine for now. 
I like to think of it as my own little society. I've always wanted to write my own novel and poetry, so I've been doing a lot of that. For me, the positives outweigh any negatives. Besides, I'm not totally cut off. I can still get in touch with you every once in a while and socialize. I'm very happy with how things are. You have a very positive outlook. That's only because of things used to be so atrocious back then. Compared to everything I went through in the Ark, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Hmm. 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 I guess it doesn't matter where you stay, as long as you like it. That's all that matters. Yes, we'll see. Uh, does bits and or gifts count towards the goal? It'll count towards the timer, but donos are the ones that count towards the goal. How you doing, Bobby? Thanks for visiting. Here's a little reward for bringing me those DVDs and Nutrium. I know I haven't been here for long, but it's still nice to have someone over. We had fun visiting as well. <laughs> Feel free to drop by whenever you have the time. After all, my schedule is wide open. So you're not intending to return? Hmm. I doubt it. If I head back, my debt is the only thing that'll be waiting for me. I'd probably be charged for fleeing the surface illegally, so I'd rather be fined or sent to prison. In any case, that wouldn't exactly be a warm welcome. So there's no turning back now, and I don't want to turn back either. Um, whatever path you choose, I'll be rooting for you all the way. Thank you. It's very kind of you. I'm glad I was able to meet someone like you, Commander. Please take care and stay safe. Happy face! Another Ark refugee. Uh-oh. Um, Commander Artie, I'm pretty sure I said you can visit me if you ever had the time, right? How come you haven't stopped by? Uh, have you been too busy? Um, been on a low, uh, li well, I'm busy. Oh, okay. I figured as much. Hmm. Well, since it's been a while, think you can pop in if you happen to be in the area? I've pretty much adjusted to leading life in a bunker, but I've started to get a little bored. <laughs> It'd be even better if your Nikkei friends can join too. They're great friends to have. Yeah, we'll come visit you, promise. Thanks. I'll make sure the place is nice and presentable for you. Oh, it's in this chapter. I knew it! She's gonna get bored living all by herself with no interactions with other people. Lugan! Thank you for the biddies! Hey, go! Coming. She's so lonely. One is the loneliest number that she'll ever be. Oh, I better stop singing or else I'm gonna get a freaking TOS mark on my account for singing a song that's probably copywritten. Jesus Christ. Twitch. Why can I have fun and sing songs that I want? I mean, if I probably sang it as Doro, I don't think maybe I'll get copywritten. Yeah, I was thinking Doro version. Loneliness can make people crazy? That's understandable. That's understandable. Doro, 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 Doro. There we go. Now I was saying the Doro version. Maybe she should go make some friends with some raptures. I'm here. There's no cause for concern. We should give the refugee the commander doll too. Yeah, we should give her a doll. And then she'd have conversations with the doll, and then she'll probably go crazy because now she thinks that the doll is a real person. And she's living in this fantasy world. Already casually telling her to go get kid I didn't say kidnap! I said she could go make friends. She could go be friend, like Raptilian did. Hello? Raptilian did it? If Raptilian can do it, she can do it. 100%. I don't care if Raptilian had a suit. Maybe then she needs to go get a suit. Or don't use a suit.
Should I have invited her to live at the outpost? It's not like anyone from the CG goes there. Hmm, that's true. That is an option. I would ship her and Reptilian. Don't know why. Are you... Armada, I feel like you're like in a shipping... Uh, in a <laughs> in like a shipping phase. You're like... Didn't you say like Yunwa and like Johan or like the commander or something like that? You're like, what if we ship those two? And you're like, what if we ship those two? <laughs> Reptilian devoted his life to doing it and prepared. She's got all the time in the world. Like she said herself, she doesn't have any freaking work to do. She can devote as much time as she can. She can be just like Reptilian. Isn't that lady's bunker near here? Hmm. I can't really remember. It's been a while since the last time we were here. Uh, it's a flashlight. She's signaling to us. She certainly better acclimated to her surroundings now. Last time she was just standing around in the open shouting. Mom, I almost passed out. But now she's definitely in her element. I hope she's doing well. Me too. Um, okay, but Yunwa and Johan would totally work. You think so? Inside the bunker, several moments later. Hey, everyone! I didn't think you'd actually come. How have you been? Well, you know, not too bad. Remember I mentioned that I wanted to get more into writing? Well, I've written over 20 collections. 15 of poems and 8 novellas. That's really impressive, holy shit. You think so? Of course, there's no one here to actually read them, but I just enjoy writing them as a way to pass the time. It must be great to write as much as you like without any outside pressure. I heard writing requires a lot of patience. Is that so? Thanks, but it seems that I may have been fishing for compliments without even realizing it. I also started to pick up cooking. Thankfully, there's still some frozen food left in the bunker. But I accidentally ended up cooking enough for five people before realizing I didn't have anyone to share it with. How stupid of me. <laughs> uh, are you really okay? I'm not sure, but what can I do? A few days ago, I got in touch with someone I knew. It turned out that the creditors had taken away all my possessions. The house, the furniture, everything. Before I was able to hold them off without my payments, meager as they were. But it's all over now. This is the only place left for me. Is there any way I can help? I appreciate it, but the loan is billions of credits. I can never ask you to pay it off for me. Just come and visit me once in a while. What the fuck? That's more than enough. We sat and talked until sunset. Hmm. Why doesn't she take like her the stuff that she's written and try to get it published? And then she can be a really famous writer! And then she can make all of the monies! Commander Artie, did you make it back alright? Yes, all good. That's great. This is a small token of my appreciation. I can't tell you how much I've wanted to talk to someone in person. If you spend too much time alone, your mind starts to get fuzzy and you'll gradually have some trouble formulating words properly. Your memory also starts to fail you. So, I'd find myself forgetting what I did just moments prior. Most of my days are spent lost in a depressive funk. But I'm not the only one like this. After all, most people living alone experience the same thing. When you think about it, humans really are social creatures. It's still not too late to return now. No. It's fine, really. The mood swings always go away eventually. Like today. I'm in such a great mood because I got to talk your ear off. Even so, there are still many advantages to living here. I can devote my entire day to my hobbies. Whenever I peek my head outside, I can hear the birds and the smell of the flowers. And people living in the art can't do any of that. So I'm fine, really. Hmm. If you ever change your mind, just let me know. Okay, bye. Fucking left me on red? Um, meanwhile, Commander's seen billions of credits you used to pay off her debts. She could find her arrested for going up to the surface the moment she went back to the art. Okay, even if she gets fined, and if she like still like sells some of her books, and she makes a lot of money off of it, she can pay off those fines. Um, the credit expenses are creeping in the late 200 sync level. I know, I gotta save. 
I gotta save all those boxes. I still remember when Commander asked to borrow from Prima Donna and they just dropped millions on him. I would like for that to happen again. Hello. I'm the one living in the bunker, remember? I've decided to leave this place as there's something out there. It's been banging on the door all day, trying to get in. It's only a matter of time before it breaks down the door. So I'll be escaping through the emergency exit. I'll be right there. Um, sure. But I've got to leave now. I can't wait. I'm really sorry, but can you help me? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. We're gonna save you. Rah! Ashira! Yo, thank you so much for the uh, freaking raid! Welcome in, guys! How was your stream? Welcome, 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 welcome! Hi, Cody! Oh, Cody. <laughs> Hi, Cody! <laughs> I was like, oh, look, it's a Cody! <laughs> Hi, Ashira, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? I'm a stinky note tree. I am. I am a very, very stinky note tree. But thank you so much for the raid. What were you doing? Were you Oh, Resident so Evil 2? <gasps> Wait, how are you liking Resident Evil 2? Is it your first time playing it? Tell me all the things because I love Resident Evil. Um, expensive drink. I know. It's an expensive drink so you can keep saving your points and then I, I don't drown. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, but I will drink water now though <clears throat> Ah, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Ashira though Thank you! Kinda we on Claire's story and we gotta Oh, Ashira we going through it smoothly? Oh nice! Very nice, very nice Um, oh wait, uh, Sykes, thank you so much for the follow And is it Vigil? Vigil Sigil? I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, and please tell me if there is a correct way to say it. <gasps> but thank you so much for the follow and welcome in. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Artemis. You can also call me Artie. I, oh, I forgot. I'm going to have to say this introduction now. I am a streamer from the 1900s um, where I like to play a lot of variety, but I do kind of focus on some gacha games like Nikkei, like we're playing right now, and Honkai Star Rail. I do like playing Final Fantasy XIV, pretty much anything that's Final Fantasy. I like horror games. I like all sorts of games. Um, my new obsession recently is actually Space Marines 2. We played that yesterday on stream and I had so much freaking fun playing that game. Um, but, but yeah, welcome in, welcome in. Skittles, thank you so much for the follow. Um, already check Nikkei Twitter. Oh, Nikkei Twitter, Nikkei Twitter. I'm checking! Nikkei, wait. Twitter, Nikkei Twitter, Nikkei Twitter. What is happening on Nikkei Twitter? <gasps> guys, 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 it's happening! <laughs> We're getting freaking roaches on SSR! Oh my god! <gasps> She's finally out of NPC jail. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pick up recruitment notice. Uh, the recruitment is coming soon. Um, pick up recruitment begins simultaneously. Oh my God. Is this real? It came from their, it's, this is their page. This is their, this is their Twitter. This is not some, look, yellow check mark. Yellow check mark. This is their official EN page. But it says, hold on. Pickup recruitment is coming soon and recruitment begins simultaneously, but it is simultaneously with what though? Stay strong for the second Annie, but I want to know who the other one's going to be. I want to know. What the fuck? I've been bodied. They want to squeeze this before anniversary. <gasps> They really do, man. They really, really do. With this collab, now we're getting freaking Rouges and SSR. But they said that it's going to be simultaneously, but they're not going to tell us who it is. <laughs> they're not going to tell us who it is probably until maybe like either later tonight or tomorrow. 
Holy. Oh my god. It's okay. Remember, she isn't limited, so we can safely skip. But still. But still. If she's cracked as fuck, though, are we gonna cry? That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid they're gonna drop her kit and everyone's gonna be like, oh shit, she's actually really, really good. <laughs> there are, oh, you won't skip? There might finally be a big shakeup to the bunny duo. Blanc can finally work without someone else besides Noir. <gasps> do you think so? Do you think they would do that, though? A bust one. A bust one. Wait, do you think they would make a full, like, uh, one, two, three? They have to! They have to do that! Noir's gonna be left all alone? No! That would be awesome to see a triple burst combo. I think so. I would- I would be very, very surprised if they don't make her a freaking uh, burst one. All Noir and Blanc check is for their own squad members? Yeah, that's why this would be perfect. This would be perfect if she was a burst one. I collect so I'm crying anyway. I take Noir for myself then. I call dibs. Well, Circle's abilities and bursts aren't synergized, are they? I... I don't know. Not the hot casino lady right before Annie, too. I'm cooked. We're so cooked, guys. <laughs> Everyone that was trying to save up for second Annie is now like, fuck. <laughs> um, are you pulling or wait for anniversary? Hmm. We'll see. Well, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They said that the pickup recruitment begins simultaneously, and they haven't really gone into detail about who is going to be the other one. So, I think we have to wait. I want to wait to see who is simultaneously going to be out on the banner with Rouge. Missing why you do this to us right before Annie? There is one more member of 777 that was only mentioned by name. No, they always word it like that? Why would they word it as like, all banners announced they simultaneously? But what is it simultaneously and run with? Another banner or something else? Uh, they make their uh, Jean Cone Coin Rush squad to keep Blanc and Noir. Pretty sure they say that almost all the time. Vi's announcement says that. Uh, probably the event. Oh, the event. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense if it was the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, but didn't they say that they. Wait, so when is Red's event supposed to come out? I feel like I gotta look at a calendar now. Hold on. All right, so what are we at? We are on the 14th. Um, the collab is supposed to end when? When is the collab ending? Da da da. Karen, don't miss them out. Um, until wait, we still got one more week left for the collab. So we got all of next week. All of next week, I think the collab, the 19th is when this banner ends. So I think the collab ends, yeah, the 19th, which is gonna be the 18th hour time. So... Didn't they say that they're going to do an announcement for Red's event too? But now they also announced this as well. So I'm wondering if they're going to do a week or two of a story event or if they're going to do reds first and then they're also going to release this later not all banner announcements mention the word simultaneously i just checked <clears throat> i mean simultaneously makes sense for an event but i'm also curious if they're going to dump another character on us but that would be dude that would be mean that would be so mean if they did that so red must be a week event like Modernia. We're probably getting a two week event um, after Eva and then Annie after. All right, so that week. 
So let's say, let's say that with this collab ending on the 18th, do you think reds would start right after, or do you think this would start right after the collab? It will run alongside a normal event because it's basically a login thing. But they said that red, but the event, I thought they were adding more stuff to red's event. Isn't that what they said in the notes? I feel like I gotta, gotta read it. Uh, they said the Red Hood in September, so it would have to be either the 18th or the 25th. If it's gonna be a week-long thing, I would say that Reds would be on the, on the 19th. There will be an event tied to the costume. That's what I thought they said. They said in the in the notes, they said to look forward to look forward to the event, to the music, to like all of the stuff that they added. Ra, hold on. I gotta see if it's in these notes. I don't think it is, but I gotta check. 22. Um was it in this one or was it in oh no, it was in the dev notes that they posted out, right? This is different. I think it was... Was it in this one or was it in something else? Hold on. Where did I... Oh, where did it go? Full birthday... Ah, this one. I can't read this shit. Zoom in! Why can I zoom in? Um. Anomaly champion update delay. Red Hood special event and costume announcement. Based on, in addition, we'll have a special event themed around Red Hood titled Absurd Red. So it's not just a login thing, it's like a full on event. Uh, we've poured our hearts into this event to show our appreciation for all the love you commanders have shown for Goddess and for the game, basically. Hope you enjoy it. We've also prepared exclusive music that perfectly captures Red Hood's vibe, so please look forward to that as well. I feel like this is going to be more than just a login event. Like, this giving... I feel like that's going to be, like, an actual event event. Um, but they said that we've prepared a special costume for Red, which would be available for free in September. Event can mean a number of things, just from a, sim a simple login to a full-scale story event. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be either of those extremes. I think it's going to be something small, but I... I do think that we might get a little bit of something-something. My journey's event was more of a side mission, not a whole event. It's gonna be like a side mission, uh, for the alt costume. My event was first affection, and it was week one event. Like a mini event. Oh, okay, like a mini event. Jernia's uh, had event had story, but it wasn't like a full event. It'll probably be like April Fool's where you traveled around for her story. <clears throat> that makes sense though. That makes sense. Her affection played out sort of like the same as April Fool's. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they do with this. I'm very, very curious. Um, because for me, this will be my first time. Uh, dealing with a with a costume event type of thing because I wasn't around for Modernia's So this will be my first time having to do a costume event <clears throat> But yeah, so if her costume thing is coming out at the end of September There we go The fuck Will be available for free in September, which means it could be Next week or it could be the week after but then we got this announcement. Yeah, oh, there we go. And it just says coming soon. Um, if we follow the president, Red Hood will get a rerun at New Year's like Modernia did. Hmm. We'll see. I feel like Shift Up has has now been. I feel like a lot of people are are just kind of locked in on like. Nikkei is going to stick with this type of schedule when we've already seen that they've changed from what they did last year. The only things that they're going to stick with are their big anniversaries, like a half anniversary and like the main anniversary.
but like the summer events, right? There was two summer events they did last year. We didn't get two summer events. We got one and we got a bunch of side stuff. And then same thing with the collab. The collab was different. We got three stories, right? Even though they were shorter, we got three stories, three banners. We got a lot of things that were different compared to last year. So I wouldn't be surprised if they still continue to go off script of what they did the year before. Because if, I mean, it is predictable and it's easy to predict that type of stuff, but I'm not, I'm not gonna place my bets on them trying to stick with the same schedule that they did the year before. Because they've already shown, just in the small amount of time that I've played, that they haven't stick with the schedule that they did the year before. Who's being tied to the uh, red event makes sense to be honest, color coding. Let's not forget the Christmas one was also bigger too. Hmm. Ooh, they're doing everything red. Red uh, event is gonna be a casino event, I'm calling it. Um, which outfit was the one that won again? The dress? Did we say it was the dress that won? Or do we not know? It was the dress. Yeah. Yeah, the dress won, okay. Uh, sure, it'll take another year or two to cement a solid schedule, but I'm just talking about the thing- time that things happen, not the scale of them. Um... Yeah, that's why I'd be surprised if they were to mix that up, though. That's why I'm saying, like, if they were to do Red's banner and they were to do a rerun during her event, that would be huge, right? It would suck because we're saving up for anniversary. But I would be very, that would be a huge mix up if they were to do that rerun, not on New Year's, they would do it earlier instead. But I feel like with this announcement coming out, it might change things. It might be, it might be a New Year's thing, but. Um, okay, so Saturday this time they drop news. Yeah, so it seems around like 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 p.m. is when they, when they drop this on Saturday. It's shift up, they kind of broken typical gotcha rules all the time, so anything could happen with them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. My guess is gonna be like a flashback event where Red trashes some sort of fancy party because she finds it boring. Ooh, I am curious. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with this, but yeah. Good find. Good find. Thanks for the heads up on this though. I posted the skin in streams next so you can get a reminder. Oh yeah, let me see again. I don't think I voted for that one. I think I voted for not the dress. Wait. Stream reacts. Oh, right. I didn't pick the dress because I didn't like that it was red. There's too much red. If the dress was black, probably. Like the other outfits I liked better because there was some contrast to it, but I didn't like the dress because it was too much red. And I get that's like her thing, like, I mean, I get it, but like, she already has bright ass red hair. Like, we have to have a little bit of contrast to the dress. Like, something. Either black accents or gold accents or anything. It needs a little bit more than just, bam, red, red. I picked the dress uh, because it was fitting. She stomped holes into the bottom of the dress with her heels. I went for the bottom personally. Um... The new costume also means a new burst animation. I wonder what that'll also look like. Yeah, I don't like the dress myself, but people went nuts for the dress. The other two options didn't impress me. My my pet peeve, if you guys remember, was the on the motorcycle. You couldn't even see half the outfit because she was sitting down on her motorcycle that was covering up the outfit. I was like, bro, stand in front of the motorcycle or something or straddle it so I can see the outfit. <laughs> I think the dress was a uh, different from her base outfit. If the dress was a different color, I probably would have voted for it. But because it wasn't a different color, I'm not a fan. Shooker stands in front of her bike for a reason. Dress hood. Was she, was she also spreading her legs out too when on the motorcycle? Um No, I mean you don't I mean, when you sit on a motorcycle, you have to straddle it. But the thing is, you only see her one leg. Hold on. Let me see if I can just bring this over. Like, look. Oh my god, just open in fucking browser. Like, you can't even see it. 
Like, sure, like, she's straddling it, but, like, she's sitting down. We can't see the pants because the handlebars are in the way. Like, okay, we get some of, the, like, her stockings, her thigh highs are a little bit ripped. But you can't see what she's wearing underneath. She's got a jacket and, like, a top, and I'm like, okay, but, like, can I see the whole thing? What are her boots? Is she wearing boots? You don't even see feet. They covered up their feet. So, I mean, I get these are sketches, and I hope they put in more detail, and maybe, like, they add some accents to the dress, but, like, yeah, I wasn't a fan. I'm just tired of seeing dress alt costumes. I like B the most because we can see and imagine the shooting pose, but I do agree that picture doesn't show it well. Yeah, this is ass. Uh, dress had got me acting unwise. I just, I just, uh, yeah, I just wish it was a different color. That's my only thing. Like, I see that there's like, it looks like she's wearing something like a black necklace or a black like strap like underneath it. And like I said, these are all just sketches, right? So this isn't like the full on detailed thing, but I don't know. But doggo. Were we gonna get the doggo with this or no? See how she's standing in front of the doggo? Why couldn't we get her standing in front of a motorcycle? Think about, yeah, they're just sketches. Think about sugar, a motorcycle doesn't appear with her all the time. Um, would have gotten a uh, black cyber doggo. It could have been a thing like leader biscuit with dogs. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I had a big cat uh, in her skin, so the dogs would have shown up. Mm, that is true. Yep, you're right. If there's a doggo, I'm paying 60 bucks. <laughs> you're like, take my money. Take my money. I like how the motorcycle's all detailed and the wolf is extremely sketchy. Like, they knew that no one would pick that costume. <laughs> if you're like, ah, oh, we know. We'll put more detail into this thing, but not this one. Because we already know this one ain't gonna win. Doggo using a gun, though, would be hilarious. Dude, that'd be badass, though. You could just attach, like, a huge-ass rocket launcher on the freaking dog. And the dog running around with a rocket launcher? Hell yeah. I have faith Nikkei always cooks. Yeah. Well, I'll see. I'll give... Like I said, I will give more of my reservations about it when I see the final product. Again, those were sketches. Maybe it'll be better. We'll see. But I don't know. Um, using the two legs and the other two to wield the gun. Oh, so it's like standing up on their hind legs and doing that? Mm hmm But yeah. This is exciting. This is exciting. We've got more things to look forward to. More events. More... All of the things, all of the things that I can collect before the anniversary. And just hope and pray that red doesn't come out during the same time because I need to save. I need to save. At the end of the day, it's free, so I can't complain. That's true. That's true. All right, let me move you back over there. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is with the- are we still doing ARC Refugee? I think we are. Hi Ace! I look dashing today! Ah, oh, thank you. It must be all of the sticky notes all over my face. I hope Red does get the rerun then so I can save gems. I already got her MLB. I- I think I would prefer it being after the anniversary. Um, but like I said, if they rerun her banner before, that's just mean. That's that's mean. The ridge is on the way, now we wait. Yep, we're finally getting um Wait, who was the other, who was the other Nikkei that's not, um, that has made, like, multiple appearances, but, like, is not out yet? Is it K? Ah, yeah, K. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They rerun, uh, Red before Annie. Pray you get her at a single ten poem. I hope so. Because then I feel like I want to use a lot of my gold tickets to get her MLB'd. Hey, and Rumani. Uh, so much Nikkei's in NPC jail that deserve to be released. 
And torpedo titties? Oh. I mean... Sure. I wouldn't be against it. Happy on. How many goals do you have again? Like 600? 500? 550 or something like that? Gotta fire those torpedoes soon. <laughs> What's this? An Arc Ranger Blu-ray? Is this the one you gave her? Yes. Then she must be somewhere near here. I'm not picking any heat sources. Let's keep searching. Anybody got anything? Hmm. I found this in the wreckage. Droppy holds up a tattered diary. I read a few of the entries inside. I want to go back. I don't want to go back. I want to go back. I don't want to go back. Oh, there's the arc picture again. In reality, I have nowhere to go. But I still want to live. After a moment of silence, I close the diary. Let's keep searching. Sometime later... Master, I think I found her, but... You probably don't want to see this. Let's give her a proper burial. Are you not going to report it to the Ark? Let's just leave it. What has Ark ever done for her? After giving the refugee a proper burial, we head back to the Ark. Oh no. Wait. Scheduled message test. Start of scheduled message testing. I haven't much time to set all this up, but I think it's working. It was just getting rather suffocating in here, so I decided to head out for some sun. I mean, I'm on the surface, right? So I might as well enjoy it. Anyway, it wasn't long before I ran into a rapture, so I scurried back into the bunker right away. Thankfully, it's not following me anymore. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out what will happen next. If anything happens to me, I just wanted to say this. Thank you. Thank you for checking up on me. And thank you for asking me if I wanted to return. I've been working ever since I was 10, and not once did anyone take the time to ask me whether I was okay, or how I was feeling. Not once. At least I've had the chance to meet you, so it's not all bad, right? I hope we can be friends for a long time. S2? What is S2? And she just wanted to have some friends. Uh, and she just didn't want to have to live in a life of debt. Dude. I feel bad. Oh, in my mind, S2 is a heart? I mean, oh. They could- I thought they would have done, like, um... I've never seen S2 as a heart before. I've always seen the heart, like, with the three, like this. Oh, in German, it was a heart? I'll follow you closely, teacher. S2 as a heart. Interesting. I've never seen it done that before. Let's go. That was in the 1900s. Shut up. You're saying my heart was a 1900s heart? I will move as you wish. It's like two swans. Yeah, when I look at it now, and now that it's been explained to me, oh, 100%. But I was like, S2. I was like, did I miss some code? Like... I'm missing a- I'm missing a shiny, so I'm edging the map real quick. Hold on. Sure, got the one that's over here. Will my country use it to type it as S2 a lot a few years ago? Let's go. Nah, it's not season two! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Let's go. I'll follow you closely, teacher. Oh, oh yeah, this was the shopping mix, uh, shopping list. All sold out by the triple, oh, I thought it was like triple X mark. Be like, what the fuck? Alright. Yeah, maybe it is a cultural thing, because I've never seen it as S2 before. But that makes it even sadder! Oh my god, that makes it even sadder. 
S2. S2. Damn. I feel like sometimes that's kind of relatable, though. Like, you don't want to live a life where you're just confined to having to work all the time, having just to live from paycheck to paycheck, and you're in debt, and it's, like, miserable. So you're like, I just want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to go someplace where I don't have to worry about any of that type of stuff. But then you realize that it's not really sustainable, and you're probably going to need a job, and you're probably going to need a place to stay, and it's going to be very, very lonely, and the grass isn't always greener when you try to make those types of decisions. Sometimes it works out for people, but I feel like that's not something that I could do. But I understand. I understand. Because I've also wanted to do that where I was just like, you know what? I don't want to work this desk job anymore. I'm going to go and I'm just going to travel the world and I'm just going to see all of the things. But guess what? You're going to need money to do all of that stuff. And if you don't work, what's going to fund all of that traveling? <laughs> So now I'm just like, uh, yeah, you're right. I probably gotta keep working to do all that stuff. It's so poopy. Mm -mm. She just wanted to live. Yep. She just wanted to live and she was doing all the things that she enjoyed, like writing and cooking and all of that stuff, but... Ugh. Freaking bitter in the ass. At least we got entertainment, but all seriousness is so true. That's life. And I wish it wasn't that way, though. I really wish life wasn't like that. And the fact that, like, here in the States, they're thinking about raising the retirement age, um, like, closer to 70, I think. They just want to work. They want us to work until we die. Like, why would you want to raise the retirement age? I feel like that's just making people even more miserable. You're already asking people to work 40-hour weeks or more, right? bare minimum probably 40 hour weeks but now you want them to work until they're 70 something hello when do you have time to live if they're gonna constantly just work you to death Ugh, I hate it I hate it so much um yeah I think that's why arc refugee story resonates with people uh let's just do what Japan and Korea do and no more babies no more babies 65 already high enough as it is gonna be hard to enjoy retirement at that age. I mean even with my parents now, right? They're in their 60s. They're in their 60s. Yeah They're in their 60s and they're trying to go on all of these vacations like cruises They're traveling like all of this stuff and guess what? They're in bed by like 7 p.m. And they're in like half the stuff that they're doing throughout the day is like they're just sitting because they are resting from having to walk around and doing all of this stuff and it's like how are you able to enjoy when half the time is like you're trying to recuperate and i i'm glad that they're enjoying their retirement the best that they can but for me i don't know if i want to do that i don't want to wait until i'm like 60 something and crippled and i'm not able to like move around because both of my hips are probably broken and I've got to be in like crutches or a walker or something like that. I don't want to have to deal with that. That's why I was doing a lot of traveling before COVID because I wanted to live my life now. But I kind of have to wait if I want to keep doing that though. I, it's kind of a sad thing to say, but I don't want to be on a trip in case Doggo passes because he's really old and I'd be really, really sad. And I wouldn't forgive myself. Wait, did we already do our recruitment? Did we do our friendship poll? Oh, we did, because we did it for guild team. 70 is stuff that leads to uh, head zone spikes. If we'll ever get to that age, not to sound grim. Yeah, that's another thing too. Do, 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 do. Gotta travel more, I guess. And I understand that traveling is not gonna be feasible for a lot of people because like I said there's so many people that live paycheck to paycheck a lot of my friends don't have savings accounts like they don't they don't have money that they can put into a savings because their paycheck is going straight into paying bills so like when are they gonna have the money or the time to to travel and 
I just feel like that's what life has kind of been like. It's like you're just working, paying bills, surviving day to day, and just rinsing and repeating. And I hate that that's what life is sometimes. Hi, Brony. What is this Xmas tree streaming? Oh, uh, it's early Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, why am I getting an ad about gotcha addiction, ruining finances and relationships, and then another for a cup of ramen? <laughs> Your finances are bad, so get some cup ramen. <laughs> oh my god. Travel? Yeah, I travel to and from work. <laughs> Be like, yeah, I travel. Uh, I commute to work. That's me traveling. Um, I haven't traveled since I was four. Damn. Yeah, I'm definitely... I was actually having this talk with someone, too. Because I was like, I am very much a free spirit. I'm very much a wild heart that I just want to go out and experience things. And it sucks that like I haven't been able to do that for almost five years now. I have gone like to a family reunion and I've gone to like off Kai at, in San Francisco, but that's like all VTuber stuff. Same thing with TwitchCon. TwitchCon isn't going to really be a vacation. It's a lot of networking and just hanging out with friends, but I need an actual vacation. And I don't know when I'm going to take time to do that. And like I said, it's sad to say, but I feel like the only time that I can actually have a vacation is when my doggo is not around because I don't want to be on an extended vacation if something happens to him. I'll never forgive myself. I'll never forgive myself if something happens. Um, but my, my mom was uh, mentioning that she wanted to go to a Korea trip next year. And I was like, you know who's in Korea, right? You know who's in Korea, right? Shift Up's in Korea. <laughs> and you know where I can get all of the Nikkei merch, right? In Korea. <laughs> I was like, oh, she wants to go do, uh, she wants to do like a tour that starts in like Jeju Island and then it goes up to Seoul. And I was like, you know who's in Seoul, right? <laughs> Shift up. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I I need to. I need to figure out if I can get Cosmograph to autograph something. What I would love to do, I would love to get a vinyl and have Cosmograph sign it. I would love that. I And I would frame that shit. I would take the record out and I would get its own cover, but then I would take the record cover and I would fucking frame it. Hell yes. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. I don't know how one sets up something like that though. I feel like I would have to help have my mom help me set that up because I'm not fluent in Korean. And I feel like she could be kind of like, you know, the in-between, the translator for that, but. Um, take the doggo to Korea. He's too old. I can't even take him on a car ride without him being in a lot of pain. And you want me to stick him on a plane? Oh no. They don't treat animals very well either. When I had to fly him to and from Hawaii, it was not good. It was not good. And him being at the age that he is, there's no way. Pretty sure their soundtrack is available for purchase. Um, soundtrack as in vinyl though, or just like, cause I'm looking for a vinyl specifically. Cosmodai speaks uh, English. No, I'm talking about corresponding to set up like a meet and greet though. I'm not going to be able to talk to Cosmograph like directly, but setting up a meet and greet, I think I would have to do some sort of correspondence in Korean. And that my mom would have to help with. No, if I go and I actually get to meet Cosmograph, like, shoot, is he speaking English? I'm speaking English too. <laughs> I might do a little bit of like Korean English here and there, but like, no, 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 no. It's more of like setting up the correspondence, stuff like that, but. Uh, just keep in mind, if you use your mom as a translator, you risk being asked what's uh, Nikkei and you have to show your mom Mihara. Uh, you want to know what's funny? She already knows about Nikkei. And you know what she did? She just shook her head. <laughs> she doesn't ask anymore. <laughs> now that I have to get Doro tattoos and I have to get it on my forearm, she's just going to be like, is it from that game you play? And be like, yes. And she's going to be like, Okay. <laughs> she was already pissed about the one that I got on my forearm, like the big Studio Ghibli one. Um, 
But yeah, even the pumpkin Bulbazar and the Rimuru one, she was like, what is that from? And I was like, oh, it's from the subathon uh, where people like chat in my stream, they voted and they wanted this as the tattoo that I got. And she was like, okay. <laughs> she just, she knew if she were to continue asking about it, it would be an argument. <laughs> yeah, mom, this guy makes the music. There used to be a Nikkei soundtrack on vinyl. It's out of print, but sellers will put one on eBay from time to time. Ooh, I gotta keep an eye out then. <gasps> Hi, troll. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm never getting grandkids, am I? Oh, she knows not to ask anymore because it's not it's not even a feasible option. Um, and in case those of you that just tuned in or missed it, uh, here's the newest announcement that came off of Nikkei's page. Um. So if you did not see, here is this announcement that we have been um, that we have been discussing earlier. YouTuber mom's constantly going, I want grandkids. She has a grandkid and it's my dog. It's my dog. Crazy how I can catch the start of stream, sleep, and still catch the stream. I, I mean, like I said, if I stream for less than four hours, that's a short stream. If I do anything more than four hours, that's a normal amount. We're sitting at almost six, six and a half. Yeah, she's out of NPC jail. We got her. So yeah, we're going to be probably getting an event along with her banner. But imagine having kids in this economy. I could not. I don't know how my best friend is doing it with my two goddaughters. But from time to time, she'll like call me and she'll be like, please. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, I feel for you. I don't I don't know how you're doing it, quite honestly, but you're doing a great job. Continue doing what you're doing. You got this. Like, that's all I can do. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to save gems and tickets. Well, she's not limited, but if for those of you that want her right away, you might be screwed. Yes, she's finally out of NPC jail. My niece has twins. I fainted for her. Fuck. I want a girl to look at me like Rouge. People out here with enough kids to remake the Brady Bunch. That's, they must be rich. I'm trying to vibe on my own. I like money. Um, I like money that I can pay and get things for myself. Not for, not for spawns. <clears throat> for myself. Take my money. Time to hit up Walakun. Um, my golden tickets, they've been waiting for this. Ooh. Wait, so a lot of you that are, even though she's not limited, you are all gonna still try to go for her regardless, even though we got anniversary coming up. We already have a Mori spawn, that's enough spawn. <laughs> true, 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 true. Um, hell no, I may do one copy try, but not too hard. Yeah, if her kid is good, yes. I am, I got enough mileage tickets for four copies. I gotta stay strong for any. <laughs> You guys stay strong, guys. You know what I might do, though? No, because I, I... You guys said that you wanted me to save my global account for Banner Palooza 2. So, I don't even know if I'll pull on my global account. Because if we're gonna do one big ginormous Banner Palooza on both accounts, I gotta keep saving. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I will if her kid is good. I'll go for a copy, but if not, I mean, she'll be, uh, right into the wish list. That's fair. Um, I have to have her. I preferred if you used on your global. Mm -mm. I probably pull for Rouge maybe 20, 30 pulls, but no more. I'm at the point of the game where I roll, uh, for people I want. I have every Nika except Summer Neon. Ah, that's fair. I think I am, now that I'm over the 160 wall, I can start collecting, but if there is the possibility of a red rerun, I'm kinda, kinda need to save, kinda need to save for a red, cause I still don't have red and I still don't have leader. Then already got red hood in global. I'ma be pissed. I'ma be pissed if my global account gets red before this account. She's very much rerunning. I should rephrase. If she reruns 
uh, on New Year's, that's going to be really, really sad because that means I have from now until New Year's to catch up on all of these chapters without red. That means I'm going to be redless going into these chapters that I'm trying to clear. Now, if they were mean and they re-released red before the anniversary, it's mean, but that means I'm going to get red so that I can finally go through some of these chapters. Hmm. By the way, complete side story note. How are you with removing images from a green screen? Asking for a friend. I'm the friend. Oh, I... Oh, removing images from a green screen? Oh, I could do it. No point throwing out a skin without the... Um, in to get her. Yeah, it's just a matter of when. Red banner should come alongside free costume. That's how mod worked for her free costume. I'm, I was told that the free costume was not during the same time as Modernia's rerun. I was told that the costume was before and Modernia's rerun was on New Year's. So they did not do it at the same time. Last year we got a Nikkei selector banner. Maybe we're gonna get another one, who knows? Yeah, mods gonna rerun it at different times. Hmm. Would be a worry of let model though. Okay, all good. A good late game player I can uh, give us always give 400 gold mileage, 200 for waifu, 200 for meta. I have 500 something right now, I think. Um, hold on. And then I'm definitely gonna get more when we do polls and stuff. Yeah, I'm at 600, I'm almost at 600 gold tickets. I'm at six, almost 600 gold tickets, um, 450 for the silver tickets. Um, 65 of the special tickets, uh, a thousand friendship points, 133 of the standard tickets, and then we keep getting a lot of gems. And this is only the mid-September. We still got all of October to keep saving. And we got all of these events that are coming out that are probably going to give us more tickets and stuff. So... Yeah, you could just insta gold red then if she happens to be a ram before Annie. Mm -mm. Fuck, there's no event gonna break me since I don't have Rupee and Anne and Ludmilla. I don't either. I don't have them either. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to people in case they missed it. Um, that we do have this that's gonna be coming out shortly. They didn't say a specific date, but it said stay tuned. Um... Hey, killer, what's going on? Welcome in. Besides, most cases only need one copy anyway. True. True, true. When it comes to red, red is 100% getting MLB'd. Because I want to. Um, but red leader are probably like the two that I would really want to get. And then after that, I can start my collecting if I want to. Mm-mm. As much as we ranted, uh, Rouge is really too close to Anniversary. At this point, anything is too close. Um, end of September, that means we have one more month. One more month of them, like, give, probably giving us a couple random banners. Just to kind of fill the gaps before Anniversary. Because didn't they say Anniversary was actually going to start at the end of October? Uh, if I'm not mistaken? That it's not going to start, like, on the 5th of November or something like that. It was actually going to start earlier. Why stop at MLB? Go max core. Well, it depends on my resources. Depends on how much I, I can spend on red. Um, collecting and more bond stories. Yeah. I need one more copy of red for max core. Yeah, Devnos clearly said that Annie starts in October. I prepare well for Annie, depending on who the Annie unit is. I can just instantly MLB her. I can afford to splurge. Whale Artie can afford it. Who Who is Whale Artie? That's not me. I'm not Whale Artie. Just swipe harder. <laughs> Just swipe harder! <laughs> um, 31st of October for a second anniversary is possible. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like that. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming they're going to have Red's thing maybe for a short amount of time. They'll have this event for Rouge and then maybe two weeks for this and then maybe two weeks for another event and then cut and then it's anniversary time maybe i'm assuming reds is going to come out 
next week. Because then maybe we get a week-long thing for Red. After that, it's October, pretty much. Um, this event possibly being two weeks. Uh, let me look at the calendar for October, because I actually don't know. October... Did it, did it? Oh, October is... Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four. We got five weeks. All right, so... We might actually be able to squeeze in another event because the 31st... Ah, okay, 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 okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me look at a September-October bleed calendar. So if... Reds were to start on the 19th and end on the 26th. And if we got this event that started on the 26th, let's see, one, two. It would end on the 10th and then, or end on the 9th, and then starting on the 10th of October, we would have two weeks. That would end on the 24th. I don't know. I don't know how they would break that up. Because then they would have a full week of nothing until Halloween on the 31st. <clears throat> Mustang already can uh, back her up with luck. I guess the second anime would be mid-October? I don't know if it's going to be that early, but... Possibly the 24th or the 31st. 31st would make more sense. 24th seems a little bit early. Unless... Unless... They have this... Big ass event that's gonna go for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. EK only updates every Thursday, so 31st of October makes sense for second anniversary. Yeah. Three mini events. Second any might be mid October, so that uh, we can have one event during November before a Christmas event. Didn't they. Didn't they kind of have like a bleed with the half anniversary, the 1.5th, where it was like April into May? Didn't they do that? Didn't they start end of April that kind of bled into May? Because then they might do that where if they started on the 20th, oh, they could do that. They could do the 24th and then just bleed into November for two or three weeks and that would still cover the actual date of the anniversary yeah 24th that thursday or the 31st of halloween yeah i could see that we do have the double event system that they've been used in forever yeah i'm curious i'm curious because they did give us just vague uh they just said blanket statement september for red's event this one, this recruitment for Rouge doesn't have a date. It's just that it's coming up. But I'm assuming because Red's thing was announced first, and they said September, that we're getting that first. This was announced much later, so I'm assuming this is going to be after Red's event. Pew, pew, pew. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. Pew, 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 pew. It's gonna be my first full anniversary, guys. And it's gonna be my first costume event. It's gonna be a lot of firsts. It's a lot of firsts for me this year. Up until next February, everything is gonna be a lot of firsts. The New Year's thing is gonna be a first. Christmas is gonna be a first. All of the firsts. All of the firsts. <clears throat> Either way, Legion isn't getting a new Nikkei. <laughs> Fuck a legion, man. Dude, I need better freaking Nikkei's for a legion so I can do tribe tower. <laughs> um, they always announce a banner in under seven days from its release, or Rouge is all but certain to release on the 18th. Hmm, okay. Well, do you think then it would be at the same time as Reds then? Or do you think Reds would be after? <clears throat> Uh, might be possible to be some dead air, no events. It happened once in the past, though, only for one day. Uh, yeah, I don't see them having that much dead air. They're not gonna have a week of dead air. That's not gonna happen. Let Ingrid cook. She needs to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Ingrid needs to cook faster. You're so pumped for you to experience it. Yeah. What? She looks good. Uh, hello? 
Do you know who this is? Did, I'm trying to cover up. Do you know who this is? Do you know who this is, Oz? I know you play this secretly. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> the dev note said that Absurd Red is in September, so it could be either the 18th or the 25th. Yeah, and I was assuming that because the dev notes came out first, that Res would come out first, but I guess there could be a possibility that it would come out at the same time as this? I don't know. Ingrid is gonna burn the Nikkei at this point. She's busy cooking with EH. Oh, that's true. She got cooked. She got cooked. EH is the Elysian savior. Not releasing any of her Nikkei is such a tactical thing to do. A tactical tit. I think Red Hood's event could be at the same time since the event for Majernia's free costume is a smaller side story, not a full event. That makes sense. Yeah, you guys were mentioning that it was a lot smaller, so it could happen at the same time. And if that was the case, let me look at this calendar again. One, two. That would put, let's see, one, two. That would put us into October 2nd for the end of this event, for Rouge's event. Which means we would have one, two. We could possibly fit in two more events if this one was to come out next week. We could have the room for two more two-week events before the 31st of October. That is a, that is a possibility. Wait, what the fuck is this ad? Oh my god, there's so many ads on this thing. Um, how do I make this go away? What? Go away. I'm just gonna do this. Alright, here. So yeah, if she were to come out, and we said possibly announcement usually seven days later. So if she were to come out, well, seven days would put it next week though. But if she were to come out on, I guess the 18th, but the 19th, right? Because they would be on the 19th, it would be the 18th. But let's just say she comes out here. That gives us one week here, two weeks here. And then, it would be the start of another event. One week there, it goes into two weeks there. And then, we could possibly get one here. One week, two weeks, that would put us right here. So there is a possibility, if they do that schedule, that we could get two weeks for her, another two weeks, and another two weeks, jam-packed full of events. Throw Red's costume event someplace in there, and then Halloween would be when they would do the anniversary. So that is a possibility, if they stick with that schedule. So we could get, yes, there is a possibility of getting three events, and then the anniversary starting on the 31st. Mm-hmm. We need to invite Gordon Ramsay for a special Kitchen Nightmare episode where he'll lead Elysian to cooking deliciousness. Uh, th three two-week events before Annie uh, seems like most likely scenario, especially now. Yeah, either three mini events or one big event and one small event. Which makes sense, DK kind of sort of doesn't do Halloween unlike a lot of gotchas. Ah, the live stream, that's right. They might throw in the live stream, what, like a couple weeks? Um, maybe like on like the 12th or the 19th, maybe? A couple weeks before our anniversary? Or do they do it the week before? Which is sad because I really want sexy Halloween costumes. Maybe they give us something on the, on the week of the 17th. October 17th, maybe they actually give us a mini little thing. Uh, I'm looking forward to, for that stream once we get closer. Uh, we're gonna have a watch along for sure. We are 100% having a watch along. I don't care what time it is. We're having a watch along. If it's at 7 in the morning, we're watching it. If it's at 5 in the morning, maybe. But if, yeah, if it's at, seven, <laughs> if it's at like 7 in the morning, we can watch it together. <laughs> um, <clears throat> when they reveal the live stream, it wraps, it's a wrap for our wallets. We had Halloween event just last year. I'm gonna be there for the stream from the beginning. <laughs> They did give Novel a Halloween costume in the mission pass, so we'll probably get a Halloween costume. That's oh yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Last year's live stream was October 27th. 
So... I don't know when 27th was, like what day of the week it was. So maybe it just a couple days? Uh, I mean, that would make sense. They might do it like on the 26th then. Maybe like this weekend they might do that? Oh no. I'm so surprised they didn't give us a Mihara SSR all with some wild costume in the previous Halloween. <laughs> Nava was given a nurse outfit, if I recall. Do they have that outfit in some place? Um, isn't there like in the shop, the cash shop, where you can buy outfits? Isn't like maid, uh, wait, is there a maid costume? No. Maiden has one. She has a nurse one. It was Friday? Uh, it was a Friday. Okay. Wait, was it a Friday for them or was it a Friday for us? Because if it was a Friday for them, that means it'll be a Thursday for us, depending on the time that they do it. Probably them. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't do it on their weekend, so I guess Friday would make sense. So maybe we would get the live stream. Oh, if they did it Friday morning for them, we could watch it for Thursday's stream on the 24th. Because it would be it would be nighttime for us. Hmm. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. It's in the shop with the IRL money stuff along with a few other uh, character costumes. Okay. Um, live stream is usually Friday evening for us. Friday evening? Oh, for you, but you're all the way, um, you're in uh, their time zone though, right? Ah, oh, if it was Friday evening, that means it's gonna be Friday morning for us. Like early. Ugh. Okay. How you doing, Spence? Because I was thinking, and I'm gonna have to ask the other folks on this too. Uh, if it happened to be, if it happened to be Thursday at a doable time, I was thinking about getting, well, 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I have a half day. <laughs> Maybe I call in for a half day on the 25th <laughs> and we just have a long ass stream Thursday evening. We just keep streaming until we watch the live stream. And once that's over, then I go to work. Would you watch the Ian live stream or the JP one? Um, probably the, I don't know, probably the Ian one. Yeah, the live streams are always like 3 a.m. Pacific time. Fuck, that means that's like 6 a.m. my time. PK really got already calling in. Thank God the stream happens at night for me. The streams are usually around 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Hmm. I'm already pre-planning that I'm gonna call out of work on the 25th. <laughs> uh, okay. When they did the 1.5th Annie, the announcement said the live stream will start at 1900 on Saturday. Okay. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It might be one of those things that I just call in and I'll be like, hey, I might be coming in late. Or I don't come in at all. <laughs> I'm really hoping Ian steps up their game. Their first one is pretty hard to watch, honestly. Artie's committed to Nikkei's second anniversary live stream. It's my first one! It's my first full anniversary, and I want to be around for all of it. You know, I said this before, but I'll say it again. This game really is kind of amazing, and like how excited people can get for the silly but jiggling game. Nikkei freaking rocks. I know, it is exciting. I'm excited to be excited about this game, for sure. Half day? Fuck it, go on a leave? Oh, I might call out. It depends. If it's like Friday, because they're doing it on their Saturday, I, it'll be fine. If it's like late Thursday, early Friday morning, I might have to call out on Friday, but we'll see. But anyway, with all that said, there is a possibility that we can get three, three mini events before a possible anniversary on Halloween. We need to get already caught up. Second, Andy probably gonna spoil. Look, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard with an idle game. I can't spend money. I can't spend any, ugh, I can't spend any money on mats. Right now, I'm 60k under level for chapter 27. My CP is 60k under. 
That's a lot. Because the last chapter that we did, I was like close to 50k under level. 60k seems like a lot. And especially when I don't have red. That's pushing it. That's pushing it. We'll see. Swipe! With what money? I have literally never been more obsessed with a game in my life. Hey, I'm sick. I'm down. Bad. <laughs> Already asking for sick leave. <laughs> Um, 60k deficit, she's on 27. A lot of building up to do. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, the units that I have all have purple dolls, which I'm still leveling up. They're, I'm slowly trying to get them OL gear, but, and on top of that, their stats are ass. I never really expected to get into the game and join a community and end up finding and watching streams like Artie's, not, and seeing Artie absolutely love the game only makes my love of Nikkei stronger. <gasps> Jay! Aww. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, guess I'm glad I got favorite item Laplace in red. Yeah, I don't. I do not. If you get spooked by Red Hood before Annie, I think it's possible to squeeze into 32. Not gonna lie. Possibly. But that means that I still gotta get her gear and I gotta get her loaded up with stuff. She does have a purple doll waiting for her though. She's got a doll. Um, it's easy to stick her with a cube. I just gotta get her gear. But man, uh, the freaking stats. Rerolling stats on gear is ass. This game is definitely more fun to enjoy with you and the other streamers. The Nika community feels like the Monster Hunter world community to me. I've never played Monster Hunter and I want to try it. At least I want to give it another chance. I know that at TwitchCon, I think there's a possibility of playing Monster Hunter Wilds, um, like a test run, because they're going to have like booths set up. I think I want to give it a try there and see if I like it. Actually, you need both leader and red hood now that I think about it more. Yeah, I do need both. I do. I don't have either one. Let's go. I'll play Monster Hunter with you. Yeah, well, the thing is, is like, I need to like it first. Because when I played the beta a long time ago, I did not like it. I did not like how the game was. And I didn't really like how slow everything was. But I don't know. I, I've heard it's gotten better, but I need to test out wilds first and see if I like it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go wild and wilds. Uh, Monster Hunter is a lot of fun with people. Hunting or calls to me again. Yeah, I tested the beta out with some of my friends, but I just, I didn't like how it played. But that was like the OG beta way back in the day. I'm gonna say way back in the day, probably like a couple years ago, but, um... Yeah, they said that Monster Hunter Wilds is supposed to be different and better. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. What was the game like? Um, it just seemed really slow. Like, I get that when you are playing different classes and they all have different weapons and like, if you have a fucking big ass sword, it's gonna swing slow. I get that. But when I'm like dual wielding weapons or I'm using a pole arm and it's still swinging just as slow, it did not feel like it was supposed to be that slow. I was like, I feel like you're supposed to be a little bit faster, but it didn't really feel like it. It all seemed like they were the same speed. And I didn't, I didn't really like that. I can already imagine Axel throwing barrel bombs in your face for friendly fire. <laughs> Once you get into the groove, it's addicting. It did seem a little bit clunky. It did. But like I said, that was beta. I didn't try the game after beta came out. I don't know if it's different. But that's why I want to try out at TwitchCon. I want to try out all the different games that they're going to be uh, putting for test runs. Um, I'm going to go and test it out there because I don't want to spend money on a game and not like it. And I'm going to be pissed. So I'm going to go test it at TwitchCon, see if it like plays okay. And if it's something that I can get into, 100%, I might jump into it. Uh, Monster does a slower combat. You got to drive with it or it doesn't sit well. Be the Mortar Troll. But... I played World on release, got confused and dropped it for a year before I finally understood it. If she wants a fast-paced Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Rise has the fast-paced hunt right now. Honestly, I also hated how clunky it felt. It really took a while playing before it finally clicked for me and I started liking it. It's a shame demos almost don't exist anymore. Right, and that's why I think, that's why I really, really want to just jump into the line at TwitchCon and give it a try there. Because if I'm able to test it there, and not have to actually spend money on a full game. I think that's a lot better. But more demos though, more demos. Hell, even Final Fantasy 16 got a demo for PC, right? You guys were able to like test it out beforehand? 
Like, why can't they do that for auto games? Uh, what is this message? Hold on, I'm reading something. Okay. Um, the deco card still haunts me to shame. Oh wait, based on my friend's experience in the previous con, it took him one hour in line to get one hunt. That's fine. I got all the time. I have all the time in the world there. Um, uh, I'm not doing, like, I don't have anything that I'm, like, set to do for the cons, except just, like, meet up with a bunch of friends, but it's a lot of after-con stuff. Dinners, like, parties, like, just gonna go meet up and, like, hang out, uh, go to, like, arcades and stuff like that. At the con, I have no plans. <laughs> I'm just gonna be walking around, seeing if I can stand in line for stuff, so if I have to wait an hour, I wait an hour, it's okay. I'll be there with people, so it won't be too boring. Um... Even more of a shame that a demo is tied to pre-orders or higher tier versions of the game. Yeah, that's not fun either. I think it's mostly because people leak stuff nowadays. Party seems like she would enjoy the swag acts. Hmm. Yeah, I happily hunt with Artie any day. Yeah, if I if we get into Monster Hunter Wilds and it's something that I really like during the, the demo or the test run, like 100%, we can make that a, a thing. We can make that a community thing. We could go hunting together as a community. Hi, Silver. Uh -um. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak demo is still available on Steam. But that's not the same thing. That's not Monster Hunter Wilds. <clears throat> um, just got back done. Uh, rubbing a five pound butt. Quark butt. You're gonna smoke a pork butt tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds good though. Going from hunting waifus to hunting monsters? I mean, yeah. I'm down. But also too, um, freaking, I'm, t I'm so obsessed with space marines now. It's been on my mind ever since yesterday. I just wanna go back and play it. I wanna do all the things. I wanna smash. Smash. Becky, can I smash? I wanna smash all the things. But yeah, even Space Marines was a lot of fun. Uh, the game or the lore? What do you mean, the game or the lore? Nikkei or Monster Hunter collab where we hunt Chatterbox? <gasps> Ooh, that would be cool. Uh, using Sunbreak to try to see if you like Wilds 2 is, is too different in games. The side games are designed in a way that feels faster paced than mainlines. Uh, for Space Marines? Um, yes. The lore of Space Marines is not fun. I mean, you guys were feeding me tidbits of lore, though, yesterday when I was asking questions about it. <clears throat> is, a, is one hell of a rabbit hole? Oh, trust. Trust. I'm sure if Twin had the opportunity yesterday, he just would have continuously talked my ear off about it, but... Um, but yeah, anytime I was asking questions about it, like, people in chat and twin would always answer them. These are but we play the Nikkei's as we destroy raptures and fight the lords. Ooh, I like all these collab ideas. 40k hours of lore, I assume. Did I, I couldn't even imagine the mind maps that you could do with the 40k, or even just Warhammer lore. Learning about their lore is literally just like, they did what over and over again? <laughs> Space Marines lore is just fun, and Tyranids lore is better. There's memes about getting isekai into the last game you played. Warhammer players be like, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> oh no. Hey, look, this is the last game that I played, so Nikkei, I'm okay if I get isekai into a freaking Nikkei. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that for sure. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot of great things, a lot, a lot of great things to look forward to. We got banners are coming up we got red hood's costume we got freaking the anniversary is so soon it's right around the corner i'm so excited let's go already becomes an actual nike but i'm from missilis no i don't want to be from missilis uh no stick me in with mustang it's fine in a minute in a minute 
Give me stuff. Give me more characters for my stickers. Hello? Anniversary, then Christmas, then New Year's. Dude, I, I'm supposed to be... Oh, pray that I get like a bonus or something at work because then that bonus will go towards... Um... I think I still needed a torso for... Oh, for... I it a blessing to fight alongside yeah, I still need a torso for Scarlet. I kind of want to get a torso for Killer Wife too, because if I want to eventually replace her for Doro. But she also needs... Let's see. Doro is good on her OL stuff. Naga needs a headpiece and boots. So she's still missing a bunch of pieces as well. Man. I don't know what to go for. As streamer, Artie would be Tetra, like Ruby. One of my favorites is that they stole Earth's Ocean. One of my first... What? They stole Earth's Ocean? Mustang would be the type to be a VTuber dad. Is designed for Tetra, in case RP. Your bonus is a personal pizza and an 8-ounce Coke. I don't want pizza, though. At least not right now. <clears throat> meow, 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 meow. I don't even think I'm strong enough to do... to get her even one health bar down yet. All I've been doing is trying to hit her at the core. Oh, Naga's about to get nuked. Rest in peace, Naga. Sweet little bean. I needed her. I needed her for the QTs. Oh, my God, Scarlet, survive. See if I can get a health bar. No! How do we just get freaking new? Oh, well, there they go. Damn, we're so close. We're so close to one health bar. No, not quite though. Did you see? Your king another victory. Pilgrim attacker. Wait, I needed that! I think that's actually the piece that I needed. Oh, wait, we got her piece. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Well, I was like, wait a minute. I, that, that's the piece that I needed. Holy shit. Let's go. Do I even have enough stuff to upgrade it all the way? How much am I eating? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, we're totally fine. Yeah, we're totally fine. What stats did she get though? Defense? Ew. And I don't think she needs crit rate stuff. We're gonna have to reroll on that for sure. That's some ass. I did <laughs> look, 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 look. That is the that is the give or take. I got the chest piece, but now they're gonna give me some ass stats. <laughs> um I'm wondering if I should go after Naga's uh, headpiece and boots now because I have the piece for for Scarlet. Or should I should I uh, Ultra Ultra? I might be able to get I might be able to get an HP bar down. 
And then legs is harvester. Hmm. This is reward times two as well. Maybe now you can get an uh, elemental attack, ammo, and our charge speed. I don't think we'll be able to get a bar offer into Vilia. Who's the girl failure now? <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can try to get a piece for Naga. Because we already got... I don't need any more torso. Well... Hold on. What does... Hello? I mean, Modernia still needs three pieces. She has boots. Maybe we'll go for a headpiece, because there's a possibility that we could get a Pilgrim headpiece and also a headpiece for Naga. So yeah, let's go for some head. Headpiece. So yeah, if we get stuff for Naga, if we get stuff for Modernia, at least we'll be working out two birds with one stone type of thing. Oh my god, we were fucking reloading. Why does he sound like a cow? Mmm, that hurts. That hurts. Oh fuck. I don't think I I don't think I got behind cover fast enough. I kinda wanna redo that, but at the same time. I don't think I care that much. Yep, they go. Wait, you can cover that? Yes. You can. Did you see? Your king has won another victory. <sighs> Is that the piece that I needed? No, it's not. Wait, could I give that to... Could I give that to... Gosh, no, but she's already got a headpiece. Ah, she needs a different piece. Okay. Uh, let me go back. Let's do... Naga's buff mostly comes from Nikkei's day buff, right? Um, yeah, it's basically, yeah, it is the CP gap at this point. Hmm. I want to see if I can try that again. I don't think I got behind cover fast enough. to hit the chamber though. Was much better. Alice, you must leave. Come on, Crown. Fuck. <gasps> that takes away all of that cover, too. is the only one that can do damage but she doesn't have enough 
bullets by the time we get to that third one. Fuck. I might need to save a burst then. Oh, wait, so you can cover that one, but you can't cover the other one? I will the black crown. A commendable battle. Ooh! Pilgrim support though, and uh, a freaking shard. Might I intentionally hit an iframe there? Hmm. Um, all right, so we didn't get any pieces for, we didn't get any pieces for Naga. That's okay. I did get a rock, I did. It's a very pretty rock. I got, look at me, I'm top 10. Hard campaign ranking, look at that. I'm at 624, I could probably be top five. Possibly. All right, uh, top 10 for that. I don't think I ranked on any of this stuff though. Fuck no. No, it's not vet confirmed. Just because I'm top 10 doesn't mean vet confirmed. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am at a point though where my CP is actually pretty decent for uh, for hard mode stuff. Uh, yes, Doro already has four pieces of overload gear. It's- I gotta work on their stats though, because all of their stats are really, really bad. I'm not a- I'm not whale. There's no whale confirmed. Some top five somewhere, I don't know what. Is that guy a whale? Oh, 100%. That person, Cat, has swept the leaderboards for everything. I have not seen any other person in that top spot. Ever since I started playing this game, it's been that person. <laughs> I always love how every server has their one character that's OP. Artie's is Summer Anise, another server is Soda, another is Summer Rosanna. Maybe not whale, but veteran. <sighs> yeah, we can't put we can't put veteran whale. Because I actually haven't spent a lot of money in this game. Not as much as people think. I will show you what Eden is capable of. Mini, mini, mini. Damn. Let's see how this team does. Oh, they might get nuked. We're surrounded by whales. I'm so surprised we didn't end up in the same grouping yet. We started the same day. That's interesting too. Hey. All right, push up to diamond. I don't think I'm gonna get to diamond five on this run, but we'll see. 49, 48? <gasps> Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. This person, Boba Bink, sometimes like they're, I don't know. Sometimes their groups are really, really good. Ready? And sometimes they're not. It's like some days I do really good against them and some days I don't. Uh, literally the person sweeping my leaderboard is in the the number whale guild Ugh. oh that's a bad run they got too many nah they got rapunzel they got noise and yeah that's not gonna happen and Maxwell do. If only there were a worthy opponent. I'm also surprised I'm first for hard story in the tribe tower. How far are you on uh on the hard story? Everything under the light of the kingdom. Damn, I don't know how we win that one. Oh, they got both Scarlets and Moran and Jackal in this group? Nah, this group ain't winning. Yeah, sorry, Emma, you're not gonna win this one. <laughs> oh no! This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes their group I can go and I can beat them pretty fast. But sometimes they switch it around and I'm like, never mind. That this this group is also pretty cracked. Having both Scarlets and Moran. Oh, 16-9? Holy shit. <gasps> Rank 30? That's unacceptable. PvP is only marginally less uh, stupid than co-op. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's free stuff though. Don't get yourself hurt, 
I would, but I know I'm not going to, but I would like to build more of my PvP team and like give them stuff, but I can't be giving resources to a PvP team when I'm still trying to clear a story. Wait, Rouge has been announced? Oh yeah, we were looking at that earlier. Yeah, we were looking at this announcement earlier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, she was announced. And we were just speculating on the time frame of when, um, uh, of when she would actually be released. So yeah, so we got a lot of good things to look forward to. Before anniversary of all things. They would do this to us. All right, let's see if we can maybe get under top 20 for this round. The Triarts and PvP already maxed out the Harmony Cube that increases burst gauge. Late Wednesday night to early Thursday morning is when she will come out probably. Yeah, we were looking at that. We, were, we looked at the calendar for it. Because we were saying that if she were to come out on the 19th, which is, uh, it, technically it'd be Wednesday for us, but 19th would be their time zone. Um, if she were to come out on the 19th, we would have two weeks for her event. Then on the 3rd of October, another two weeks for an event. And then on the 17th, another two weeks before we could possibly get Halloween as the, um, as the date for the anniversary. Um, genuinely wondering what other units might drop between now and anniversary. What if they gave us K? What if they just gave, what if all of the NPCs just came out of NPC jail? And they were like, get fucked. <laughs> Do you think shift up would be that mean? If they were to give us Rouge and they were to give us K? That'd be mean, mean. mean be -de -be. No. Give us K for Solar Race so we get a good Elysian DPS. I'm pulling K immediately if they release her. If they did that, people would be so upset while giving them their wallet. <laughs> they would have to give us a Rumani next. Um, the supposedly leaked artwork of her shooting pose. Don't talk about leaks. Even if it's just speculation, we'll talk about it. Imagine getting K as like free SSR. But the, if we want to guesstimate, but I don't want to talk about leaks of there being a shooting pose. Too many NPCs in jail, like around a dozen. That's why we need to break them out of NPC jail. Did I grab the thing for the special reward? All right, and then what is Tribe Tower today? Please don't say Legion. <gasps> Wait, oh yeah, it is Saturday, so I get to do all of them. Show me what you Even want. though I probably won't be able to shot. do a Legion because my units are not strong enough. Once you get guilty out, they might start getting the other NPCs out of jail. Yeah, I think we're gonna go after guilty, which we're gonna unlock her tomorrow. Um. We will probably go for Nihilister. So yeah, we are one daily away from unlocking her, so we will be doing that tomorrow. On stream. Oh, are you not on auto? What the fuck? That also takes a long time. I mean, I got nothing else to do when it comes to liberation stuff. Might as well get started on her. Mm. But I would be curious if they don't, if they give us three events, but they don't give us a banner for every event. Cause like, remember how someone mentioned like the break, or, like taking a breather. I'm curious if they would just give us events, but no banners. So like, here's a little something to fill your time, but at least you can save your wallets a little bit. I don't know if they would do that. I don't know if they have done that in the past or if they've always had a banner with an event type of thing. I'm here. There's no 
no cause for concern. She's still nice for her pilgrim no, tower, better than her Ron, Isabella Noah. We had like four days last year with no banner and it was weird. Hmm. That's why I'm curious if- well, see, two weeks is a long time to not have a banner. Like, a two-week event, but then not have a banner? That seems weird. I'm glad I was able to protect everyone. Like, you already said four days was, like, bad enough. Can you imagine two weeks? Uh, oh, we already did all three? What? Oh, shit. I didn't realize we did all three. Show me your potential, Mona Mona. The potential. Shift have got to make their money. No way in hell they'll give us a break. You right. You right. Ooh. Uh, n no. I was... See? This is me thinking too much. I was thinking instead of a banner, they would give us, like, skins. Or something. You know? Because, like, Halloween and stuff. You know? So instead of spending money on banners, they could give us skins. That we could spend the money on. In terms of Nikkei Sanders is really weird. Imagine they introduced a skin gotcha that you could use in games. Playing a, oh, a skin gotcha? Like, have like a witch costume, but that it can go on anybody type of thing? Playing a game, I shouldn't be, but I'm listening. Much love, everyone. Off the Oreo. I hope your headache is better. What should you do? Some Epic 7 doesn't give us a separate currency for buying out skins. Rouge upcoming new Nikkei? Yep. We already talked about it. Yeah, someone came in chat like the second it was announced and it was like, check Twitter. I was like, huh? I don't remember what event skins they'd give us if they weren't part of a three-week event. I know they have, I just can't remember which ones. Oh, you slept off a while ago? Nice. In PGR, you can use your save pull currency to pull for either a character or a skin. Ooh. I guess this makes me a good look charm. I feel like a lot of people would go for characters unless they have everybody. And then you could start pulling for skins. But I feel like someone like me, who's still trying to like get eat gaze, like, yeah, they do have the battle pass, but like having an, uh, an option to use like your silver tickets to also get, I don't know. Not silver tickets, but I guess regular tickets. Oh, a skins voucher? I wonder if they would do something like that. You know how like in PvP we get like currency that we can use in like the shop? Maybe we can get like a little something. Just a little something that we would have to build up for, but at least it's something. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, that was all of No, Rupee! No sale. Missileless tower. Let's see just how good these junkies. <laughs> Let's see what. All right, I should be able to be. Ah, I should be able to do missileless, but Elysian, I don't think I'll be able to. That's what I was saying earlier. No need to fear. Literary is here. Oh, a separate currency for buying out skins? No, but not. Oh, I guess separate currency. Yeah. Yeah, and they could just add it to, like, the PvP thing. Or not even just the PvP thing, or just, like, in that shop. Where you go in for, like, your dailies and stuff.
Do you not have two B3 missiles, Nike? I probably do, but I just put in the auto for the team and they've been clearing the tower just fine, so I haven't changed it. <laughs> I might need to change up the teams when I get uh, when I get further into the tower and I hit like a wall, but I just hit the auto button. That's what the team they gave me, and I was like, okay. And we've just been going through the tower. Yeah, when I get to the point that I can't auto anymore and I have to start rearranging the team I will but we have not we have not hit that point yet soon because we're at 115 and even on the Elysian tower I'm only at like 120 something and I'm hitting this huge ass wall beep, beep, beep. I'm stuck on uh, every tower at the moment oh no You got this. Oh my god, my entire spine just cracked when I freaking stretched. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to get a grandma model, man. Oh. My entire body is just creaking. Mostly just in our pushing non Elysia towers and hard mode again. Yeah, I was getting back into hard mode a little bit. <clears throat> to see if I can get I need you to hit this this thing here. Hit that. Cool. Artabelle. Give me some treats. Uh I need to hit up a chiropractor, get them to crack everything in your no, see, I'm scared because uh, my dad went to a chiropractor and they fucked up his back. Like, fucked up his back. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to go to a chiropractor anymore because I feel like it might feel nice at first. But when you constantly go to a chiropractor, like, you're also just destroying your body at the same time. So. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's why I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to go to a chiropractor. I'll, yes. They fucked up my shoulder. Do physical therapy. Oh no, I do physical therapy for my shoulders because my shoulders actually are legitimately fucked up. Like I mentioned earlier, I have three lidocaine patches on each of my shoulders and like on my arm. Um, just so that like it can alleviate some pain. And then once I have to take the lidocaine patches off because you can only weld them, wear them for up to 12 hours, I have like another thing of medication that I can take in the next 12 hours. And then, <clears throat> and then I can wear lidocaine patches again. I, mm. Are you planning on attending class, Commander? Why? Why do they insist are they saying that my Marciana is not good enough? Are they saying that their Marciana is better? What are they trying to say? I'll stick closer to you, Command. I mean, teacher. Are you planning Actually, she is better. Class, Fuck. Commander? Okay, never mind. Um, probably because she has gear and she has all of the stuff, and my Marciana doesn't. I sorry, Marciana. Sorry. I'll be treating this no one wrong move at the chiropractor and I'm burning uh and I'm burning downstairs. What? Acupuncture? I did. Okay. So my grandma actually did uh a lot of like uh hand acupuncture. Um where they will put like these different like pressure pads like on your fingertips. Hold on a moment. Uh Oh. Um, that acupuncture was actually really, really nice. Oh, little guys. I don't like that they're being targeted. Uh-oh. 
Wife! No! My wife! They have no protection. Time for class to begin. And I also only have one, uh... Pay attention in class. Can this thing stop hopping around and also be so far away? Diesel, no. No! Dude, these guys hurt. I forgot these guys hurt, like, a lot. Oh, there's the boss. No! Oh, time's up! Oh, shit. Because of time? Hmm. I mean, that's fair. I don't really have a lot of options. Because even though I have all of these guys, they're not going to have anything. They're not going to have skills. They're not going to have gear. But that's all I got. I mean, that's the problem with all of these, to be honest. Like, all of these units, they're not going to have gear and they're not going to have books. Because I've been feeding all of that stuff into my... My squad that I've been using for a story. But... <sighs> yeah... And then I got uh, Aquamarine Helm, a Poly Guillotine that's behind my model. And then Signal, Grid, and Query as well. I do not have a Vesti. I do not. Unfortunately. I don't have a Vesti. But yeah. Miranda, Helm, Aquamarine, and Poly or Guillotine are behind my head. And then these are the other ones that I have. So yeah, that's something that I'm going to have to work on, though. Uh, Marciana Guillotine May Prudy is probably your best bet, I think. You know, putting Pulley as your burst, you might help. She has good attack buff as her burst. Uh, over Marciana or over Diesel? Marciana, Guillotine, Maiden, and Privity. I mean, is it useful to put those guys in even though they don't have any skills leveled up? Or if they don't have gear? Yeah, I need to get her favorite item. I would like to. She just needs more copies. But yeah, that's my that's my only concern is like with those recommendations, would they even be viable to use because they don't have the CP for it, because they don't have gear, they don't have skills, but um Fusion Tower is always terrible regardless anyway. Yeah, we were we were mentioning that too. We were looking at the uh whatchamacallit? The rankings? And where was it? Uh, manufactured tower ranking. So yeah, we were looking at this one and we saw like it wasn't very high So like there's the Elysian one and then for like, where's the other one? Missilis. Yeah, 198. They're pushing 198 on that one 193 Pilgrim 213 and then you have a Elysian here. That's like 140 <laughs> It's just like, what the fuck? Even the whales here are only pushing like 140 something, but. Oh, Tyler! Yo, what's going on? Thank you so much for the follow. How you doing? That's why I could have saved them, but no. But no. Yeah, that's so, that's so unfortunate. Like, there's that big ass difference. They have top eight though? That's true, I have top eight. If only I could get past 26, then I could maybe be close to like top five though. I'm doing amazing. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just streaming some games, hanging out with chat. You know, it's always a good time when we do that. I have missile list at 313 and Elysian only at 258 and then I'm first on my server for both. I feel like my server is very baby. It's like if this is as far as we're getting, I feel like we're very baby. 
Legion, you just sucked so much that I was struggling with 100k over this recommended CP in one of the stages. Over? That's crazy. Let me just slap in a Legion logo on Red Hood. <laughs> in disguise. It's in disguise. Red doesn't need to be in Pilgrims. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so yeah, Elysia Tower is gonna be a work in progress. What's your normal uh, tribe tower for your rankings? Oh, um, not good because I haven't done normal in a long time. Only 30. I haven't worked on normal at all. I've only been doing the manufacturer ones. I haven't been working on the normal tribe tower. I'm actually curious to see. I'm only on stage 91. Like I haven't pushed tribe. <laughs> Look at my freaking CP compared to the recommended. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I know I haven't pushed tower in such a long time. I should. I really should. <laughs> Guys, I know it's free gems, but I'm not hurting for gems though. Look, we're already sitting at 42k and I still have an entire month to save up. But I should push it though. I should. I really should. I, I will add that to the list of things to do when I do my dailies. Maybe I'll do like 10 stages or something for my dailies, but yeah, I've only been doing the manufacturer ones though, because I was like, I just, that's all I want to do today. I'm just, I've been sitting at 91 for a long time. <laughs> You need to eat your greens and do your tower. No, no, I don't want to eat my greens. I got addicted to a new gacha game. <gasps> Wait, a new gacha game? What is the new gacha game? Is it this one? Is it another one? I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, Let me make sure that I got everything over here. Ah, oh, you got addicted to triple Z? I've been trying my best to not pick up another gacha game because I don't need another gacha game to play. I'm not gonna be able to keep up with it. I just caught up with Wuthering Waves and I did the new event to get my free character. Um, HSR, we're doing 2.5 tomorrow. I'm doing this game. I'm doing dailies and Final Fantasy. I'm doing, uh, what else was I doing? I was doing something else too. There's too many fucking games. <laughs> Speaking of gacha games, have you ever tried the slime one? I have not. I have not. I honestly don't think I'm gonna have time. Um, the tops of my server are 298, 215, 211, and 249, 240 or 271. Nice. Uh, same. I've not played Triple Z because there's too many gachas. Can't sink more time. I mean, I stopped playing Genshin, and I don't think. I don't think I could pick up a new game. I don't think I could. I didn't want to start Triple Z, but the Jane trailer got me. See, I can appreciate and admire the Jane trailer and Jane herself without having to play the game. That's how I see it. Glad I picked up Triple Z. I can't, I can't, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I think three, I think three is good. I think three is good. Wait, we missed out on a Jane trailer reaction? No, I just watched it in the Discord because I don't actually play the game, but I did watch it. I dropped Triple Z because of time. Yeah, I just, I don't. And it takes so long to do dailies in 14 as it is, like way more so than these, uh, these freaking gacha games. So that's even a bigger time sink of when I'm trying to keep up with those dailies because I'm raiding on that game. I have classes that I have to level up. I have my crafters and gatherers that I have to level up. Like I have so much that I have to do. I have so much. I'm trying to clear the last fight of this tier. I'm on the last mechanic. I'm really close. I actually might be able to clear on Monday. There's a possibility. Um, but I am trying to clear the tier so that when the new ultimate comes out, I can start uh, progging the new ultimate. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot. <clears throat> Let's be honest, Hoyo games really don't respect your time. Well, I will say the only caveat to that is Star Rail because it's the turn-based one. It's so easy to put things on auto, let it run, and I'll be done with my dailies. It's so easy. I can actually do Nikkei and Star Rail at the same time. 
And I have done that before. I've had both games up on my monitor so that I could do my freaking dailies for both games. I've heard Jane, I have Jane and gameplay is just the low tier enemies just busting. I don't know how I can juggle Nike, HSR, Booba, and Slime. Yeah, that's why I don't pick up any other games. Oh, you're an ultimate raider? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I only have two ultimates under my belt because I didn't have time to do like DSR and top. Um, but I would like to do Eden. I would like to do the new one that comes out. I love to drop Genshin, but I made a deal with a friend to play if they play Nike. Um, wait, I'd love to drop Genshin. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Genshin I haven't touched for a hot second. I think the last thing that we did was like when Arlequino came out, like I pulled on her banner because I had some stuff left. I didn't spend any money, but I was able to get her. And like, I think that was it. I was like, okay, we did it. We did the thing, but uh, Kuzum, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Last thing I touched on Genshin was Nahida. Like original banner Nahida or like a rerun banner Nahida? Because that was that could that was a long that was a long time ago. That was a long, long time ago. Wait, that came out wrong when Nahida came out. <laughs> Too many gadgets, not enough time. There isn't enough time. Sit down games with dailies and grinding are just difficult for my temperament. Um, I will say, okay, and I know it's not gonna happen though, but if I ever was like a full-time content creator, I think I would play more games and I would have time for more games, but I don't because having a full-time job and teaching and trying to do all this other stuff, I'm like, I just don't have time for any of that, but. Hola, como esta are you doing? My strat for Genshin right now is uh, not play it for 40 days, start and do Stellar Reunion, and then ignore it for another 40 days. <laughs> Last time I played Genshin was Eula's second rerun. I was around for that. I was around for Eula's second rerun. I was able to get her, and then I did nothing. <laughs> I was bitching so much. I was bitching so much about getting Eula, and then I never did, I never built her. I think she's still level one. I was like, what a waste. I complained about it so much and I was like, damn, I did nothing. <laughs> you did the same. <laughs> God, we're so bad. We're so bad. You stream more than some full-time streamers. Do I stream more as more as in like time-wise? Because I only stream three days a week. Well, this week being the exception because we have like the celebration thing going on, but I feel like three days a week is not not a lot. I feel like that's a normal amount, but I do stream for pretty long. I know a lot of streamers don't usually stream for like nine plus hours, but I'm surprised you can do six hour streams nearly on the daily and not be a full time streamer. Honestly, what kind of godlike time management do you have? I compromise a lot of sleep. Um. Because usually after stream, I'm generating thumbnails for YouTube. I'm generating timestamps for YouTube. I'm having to work behind the scenes with a lot of stuff too. And try to keep up with the Discord. Trying to keep up with community things. Like we're trying to set up another Minecraft server for people. I mean, I try to space it out so that I'm not like completely overwhelmed, but I've, I've gotten to a point where I have a good schedule, where I can do my full-time job, I can do my teaching stuff, which is Monday through Wednesday, which is why I don't stream those days. And then Thursday through Saturday, I can do my streaming and full-time job. And then Sunday is like my rest day-ish. I still have to teach on Sundays, but like th that's the only thing that I'm doing. But that's, that's, I finally, I finally hashed it out of where I can make it work type of thing. It took a while, but I, I, yeah, I, I try to make it work. And so far it's working. It's working just fine. Already compromises touching grass. False, because I touch grass at least three times a day when I take the doggo out. <laughs> I do touch grass when I have to pick up my dog shit. <laughs> you're basically working two full-time jobs with how you're doing stuff, Artie. That's okay. 
I haven't burned out yet. I have, that's why I cut out Sundays so I don't actually burn out. Because if I were to continue doing Sundays on top of teaching, I think I really would have burned myself out. But I think having that off day on Sunday has been really, really nice because I can catch up on just myself. If I need to do chores, if I need to do grocery shopping, if I need to do any of this extra stuff, give Doggo a bath, take him out for a walk, get him a pup cup at like Starbucks or something. Like, like I can do that on Sunday because that's like my rest day. And I think compromising, I wouldn't say compromising, but cutting out that extra day of streaming has really, really helped with that. And three days a week, I think it's perfect. We, we still get a lot of stuff done. And if there are days where I do extra stuff, then we do extra stuff, right? But yeah, I think we've, I think we finally hit like a good schedule for it. Um, streamer spoils us too much, not worthy. Aww. Excluding stream times, you're racking up time off stream too. 30 hours a week is considered full time here, at least. But you're not actually touching grass, your hand is inside a bag. It's close enough. It's close enough. <laughs> I'm just glad you're able to have some time for a rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, that's why I realized that if I didn't take my Sundays off, that I probably would have burned out. But I think I'm now in a, in a good headspace of where I'm like, okay, we have a good balance. We have a good IRL balance and we have a good stream balance. I can do my teaching stuff. That's a lot of fun. That brings me a lot of joy. Streaming brings me a lot of joy. Work does not bring me a lot of joy, but it pays the bills. So I guess it brings me joy that I can do that. <laughs> um, as long as you're still enjoying yourself streaming, that's really great. Yeah. Let's talk about sleep has made me sleepy. I think it's time to head to bed. Yeah, it's all good. All good. Ever played Indivisible? That sounds familiar. Indivisible game. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of something else. I have not even... Okay, I have not even seen this game before. Oh yeah, I was thinking of something else. That's not what I was thinking. Work does not bring joy, but it does uh, provide fuel for joy. Does Marie Kondo work? I can't Marie Kondo because it's literally... You do not bring me joy. I walk into the office, I go sit down at my desk, and literally... All of my coworkers will just like come to my desk and be like, so how was your weekend? What'd you do? Do you want to hear about my weekend? And then they start talking and I'm like, bro, let me just sit down and enjoy my coffee, check some of my emails and let me just get settled in. I don't want to talk to you first thing in the morning, please. Like I just don't. <laughs> But I must have some sort of like beacon attached to me because they literally all crowd my desk and they're like, so what'd you do? Did you do anything fun? You want to hear about what I did? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Indivisible is a very good game and one of my favorites. It's a fighting game, turn-based RPG. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I saw from the pictures that it looked like it was turn-based. Um... Um, let me see. What is the, um, um, num, 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 num. What is the, what is the one RPG? Is it action RPG, but it's like turn-based that's like coming out? Oh my God. What is the name of it? <clears throat> I don't remember. There is a game that's coming out, but the guy that voiced uh, Clive in Final Fantasy 16 is also voicing in that game too. But it's a turn-based game, but it's like an action RPG like turn-based game. And I can't remember the title of it, but I think it's coming out next year and I really want to give that a shot too. I do like turn-based stuff. Uh, th those are the types of games that I enjoy. Uh, yes, Expedition 33. Yes, thank you. Thank you for remembering that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like a fighting game crossed with a Metroidvania. Oh. Yeah, maybe we'll give that a try. You know you can always put those recommendations in the Discord too. Because you know I'm going to forget. I got the, the brain of a goldfish. Good night, Kyos. Good night, character says. Good night, good night. Yeah, Expedition 33 looks really, really cool. Uh, that's something that I would 100% play. Um, okay. Actually... I'm not gonna lie, this is probably a good point to stop. 
Uh, we did a lot of side story stuff, and then we did like some dailies, and we yapped a lot. Got to see the new announcement for for Rouge, so that's that's exciting. I hope they. I wonder if they're gonna do another announcement soon or something. Uh, I recommended a spoopy game for Halloween. Awesome. The entire month of October is gonna be half spoopy and probably half Nikkei or any other games. Like, I love spoopy games, so give me all of your recommendations, please. All of them. And if you guys have never seen me play a spoopy game, just understand that I do scream a lot. Um, so I apologize if I ever freaking like peek my mic. <clears throat> um, and you can always go check out my YouTubes. I have the VODs from other previous spoopy games. Holy shit. Um, but have you played Soma? I, hmm. Soma was on the list, but I never got around to playing it though. Uh, I do have it in my Steam library. Put already on loudspeakers. Oh my god, don't do that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Jean, which is a coin Russian play named Jean, which is yellow. Uh, I wonder if they would ever. Well, have we? We've never seen her though, right? <laughs> Why does Soma sound like a Ligma joke starter? I don't know. I wish I hadn't watched it as well myself, but Soma is really good. If Soma, hold on, hold, let's see. What was the one game that we played that I did not enjoy though? Soma game. Oh yeah, we never got around to it. it there was another, a bunch of spoopy games that I didn't actually really like. There was one that had like the bunker. God, why do I can't remember the name? The bunker. Was it the bunker? I don't remember. It was something. But yeah, if you have any game recommendations, uh, go ahead and put them in the Discord. Um, if you aren't in the Discord, there are the links for that. Um, also, new YouTube video is out, so give it a like and uh, a comment. Um, and starting next week on Monday, I believe, every other day, there's going to be a VOD posted from my previous Nikkei stream. So if you ever missed out on chapter story stuff, if you missed out on a mind map, if you missed out on any of that, I will be uh, scheduling those VODs because I will be away at TwitchCon. So in lieu of streams, I will have every other day VODs for you guys to watch. Um, <clears throat> and I might also post my Astrobot and my playthrough of Space Marines too. So we got a lot of stuff that I'll be scheduling. That does mean I have to make more thumbnails though. So fuck. Um, but yeah, so last stream before I leave for TwitchCon is tomorrow and I am starting at noon. I am starting it a lot earlier. Um, I need to go through two games is this one and I need to go through Star Rail 2.5. So we got a lot of story stuff to do in that game. Uh, we got banner pulls to do in that game. And uh, we need to do a lot more catching up stuff with side stories in Nikkei, so. Um, so yeah, expect stream to be a lot earlier. Um, and I will try to go probably until like eight o'clock because I do have something at nine that I am running with some Final Fantasy folks, so. Um, but yeah, stream tomorrow will be my last one. So if you are able to swing by, say hi before I leave for an entire week. Um, and then we'll be back to our normal schedule of, uh, hopefully we can jump into 27 when I get back. I downloaded Nikkei on my phone so I can do my dailies while I'm away because I ain't missing that stuff. I gotta do my dailies, guys. <laughs> um, so I will do my dailies while I'm away. I had to remove Honkai Star Rail from my phone so I had space for Nikkei. So Nikkei now has taken over my phone. Yeah, I was stealing your chat. I was such a thing already. I almost forgot, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take a look at that, but... Um, yeah, let me go send you off to... Let me go send you off to a friendo. Uh, I wonder... If they're still streaming. I saw... I wanted a raid to Revity, but... I don't think they're streaming anymore. Um... <clears throat> Oh, let's go raid over to um, Pyrrhix, though. They're streaming still, so we can go do that. <laughs> my phone is so old, it struggles to even launch Nikkei. I'm hoping my phone doesn't die, but we'll see what happens. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and end stream there. If you guys would be so kind as to copy the raid message. Um, again, I will be streaming tomorrow. It will be earlier. So if you're able to stop by, I would love to see you before I leave for an entire week. Um, but yeah, let's go say, let's go say hi to another uh, Nikkei friendo. I think they're checking out a different gacha game or something like that. But um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to drink some more water. But all right, guys, good night, good night. And also good morning and afternoon if you're a future dweller. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me in stream today. I appreciate you. Um, and thank you for getting us to these goals. We hit the Nikkei cosplay. Um, maybe we can keep the timer going. I don't know. Maybe we can get it to run out tomorrow. I don't know. We'll find out. But, um, all right, guys. You have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.